Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another Nerd Theory Monday. Hope you're all doing great. Josh, how you doing? Good, brother. How are you? I'm good. Chilling. Yeah. Uh, so last night I was playing Call of Duty and all of you guys on the gaming channel subscribed to Theories Arcade. And a lot of you were just raiding the chat. Well, not a lot, but there were, there were like a fair amount of you of the people that were there where that were like talking about. Did you hear about the Kenobi leak? Blah, blah, blah. The ending. And I'm like, what? Yeah. what are you talking about? And um, so me and Josh were talking, and he knows the leak of yep. the ending. Who knows if it's true? I don't want to know. Uh, but I know you, a lot of you guys already saw in chat were wanting to know. Um, but I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to spoil it for people. I don't want to spoil it for myself. I already got a hint of what it is about, and I just mm. don't really want to dive more into it. Yeah. That being said, I want to know what you guys think. If you guys really want us to talk about it, I mean, I can like leave the room or something, or I don't know, Josh. Like, what do you help me I out mean, here? What do you? Think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, like, here's the thing. So, you already I'll made a video. Say, yes, I made a video about. I didn't it. watch your video. Um, yes, and I think that uh, a couple other people have talked about it in videos and streams and stuff. And look. Um, all I can say, I guess, without talking directly about it, is that I'm personally just, um, yeah, I really don't like it. Like, I don't know how else to say it. I really don't like it. I'm hoping that maybe when I watch it, it'll hit me a little differently. Like, there's a chance that um, it'll feel earned and I'll be like, okay, and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm trying to keep an open mind, uh, but it has me super triggered uh to the point where like at first when i thought we weren't going to talk about it at all tonight we're, and i was like okay good you know because i was like i actually don't want to i don't really like being uh toxic you know what i mean like about star wars dude, 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 having an opinion doesn't make you toxic oh no 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 but i can't help but get toxic like about this particular leak like it may it it you know it okay. it just really well let me tell you it's uh okay it's a tough one for me, but again, I'm trying to be um, as open minded as I can be. I'm going to watch the show. I mean, I still think. Yeah. yeah, for sure. And I was thinking about this, too. I was like, look, there's going to be a ton of awesome stuff in the show. You know, what I mean, regardless of any maybe things that happen or beats that happen that I don't agree with as a fan there, it's the Kenobi show. So like they're like, come on, man, like Kenobi, Vader fighting, you know, a lot of the stuff that we've heard about. We've been reporting on all the different things that are happening or that we've heard are happening. Um, and it all sounds awesome. You know what I mean? It's just unfortunately, there's this one aspect to the end of the series that uh, I, I just I really, really don't like. And that's that's the best I can do. It's the best I can do. You know what I mean? Uh, as far as talking about it. So. All right, well. I say let's uh, let's move on. Yeah, uh, <laughs> thank God. And we can talk about some other stuff. Yeah. So Ahsoka has begun production. Yes. Yeah. They dope. had a they had a photo with Dave's cowboy hat mm -hmm. on the back of the Ahsoka thing. I think one of the things that people were pointing out online is it doesn't say limited series. So a lot of people are hopeful that uh, multiple mm -hmm. seat bro. I would be I'd be pretty down for multiple seasons of. Uh, of ahsoka so yeah exciting that that was definitely a, a lift to the old star wars spirits for me when i saw that i was like reminded i was like dave's still doing ahsoka you know like we're we're good here it's yeah it's yeah it's fine um yep. what are you looking forward to do we have anything else going on after that we do we like do celebration coming up with like the crazy amount of news we're about to get hit with yes yeah so celebration is uh at this point just a few weeks away and, uh, you know, we're all really looking forward to a ton of hopefully dope news and uh, cool things to look forward to. But the only other thing that happened out there is that I found a way to sneak in talking about Kevin Feige on Nerd Theory. Yet oh, again. no. Yep. Again, here we go. So, first of all, did you see Doctor Strange yet? No. Okay. You got to see it. It's freaking awesome. Okay. Uh, I really, really love it. And the guy that wrote that movie, he also wrote the Loki show, right? The first season okay. of Loki. He was tapped to write uh, Kevin Feige's Star Wars movie. And for a long time, like, I hadn't heard anything about that. He recently, because while well, the press of Doctor Strange uh, was on the press tour and all that, and they asked him about Loki season two, and he revealed that the reason he's not writing Loki season two is because he is busy writing his Star Wars movie for kevin feige still 
uh, which was another like lifter, man. I was like, let's go. Uh, yeah. And that, that's just in and of itself freaking awesome because mm -hmm. in a world of, uh, I mean, honestly, like, you know, we'll see, we'll see, but in a world of, uh, you know, me being pretty divided on star Wars right now, that's a, that's another shining moment for me. So there's still plenty of good stuff coming. Damn, bro. I'm, I'm, I hope I'm not going to be at like the finale of the show and just be like, oh, this is what Josh is talking about. Yeah. Now I get it. I mean, maybe, honestly, like what I'm hoping is maybe I'll have grieved enough <laughs> by the time it comes out that it won't hit me the same way. That's kind of what happened with Rise, right? Because I read okay, the Least so of Rise way from what out. You've, from what you've told me, and I like, do you think when I see it, I'm going to be really pissed? I don't know. Like, here's the thing I kind of told you a little bit about it when we were texting. You didn't seem to have a I problem with it. I still don't really get it. But I think that you, I think you misunderstood maybe what I said or maybe didn't. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So, but that's okay because I'm actually, look, I would love for you not to hate it, frankly, because if you didn't hate it, I would probably somehow see like a, like I could, I could, it's, that's like a life raft to me, basically. Okay. If you don't hate it, it's like, okay maybe i can find a way to not hating it myself or at least seeing that another hardcore star wars fan doesn't hate it you know what i mean right so well i guess we'll see yeah yeah we'll, see. we'll see yeah and i was hit chats already be like the leak is triggering oh it's really bad so i'm just, not even looking at right josh now, isn't overreacting at all no i might be I, um look a lot of people too they're gonna hate it please talk about the leak yeah. oh man i don't I don't know. You might not hate it. Like there were a lot of people in the comment section of my video that didn't hate it. That thought I was way overreacting. And I know sometimes that like when you go there with that energy, sometimes that just draws that kind of a response out of people. But at the same time, it is totally fair to say like a lot of people disagree, yeah. you know, and thought that, nah, man, like I don't really see the problem or whatever. So hmm. yeah. Yeah. Well, um, I put up a poll and I want you guys to go and vote. It says talk about the leak, yes or no. Even if it's like a million percent yes, I still might not. I just want to see where you guys are at with it. Um, that being said, if you refresh the stream and you go to the uh, description, my new channel that I was talking about last week is up and running with the first Ooh, video. Nice. It's called Quote Theory, and I'm going to bring it up so you guys can see. Um, I actually had a really nice time. Uh, making the video for that one it's actually quite fun that's awesome dude. so here we go there you go there's quote theory <laughs> nice <laughs> yo i love it yeah so i mean it's gonna have like all fictional characters um all their like so can i get wait can i guess all the name of the philosopher dude so it's obviously einstein tesla is that da vinci no, that's yeah, that's Galileo da Vinci. Galileo, okay. And then is that Sun Tzu? Sun Tzu, nice. Yeah. So it's yeah. just gonna have like a bunch of different, obviously fictional and non-fictional characters, um, people, and some of their best quotes. I think that's gonna just make for a fun side channel, and you know, I think it's it's really important stuff like that, learning about different, hearing different quotes just for your, like daily ritual kind of thing. Because I really enjoy this one channel called Quotes. And they have uh, it's all like serious stuff. So I figured like, oh, you know, if I took a spin on that and I made like fictional characters like Vader's favorite quotes or Maximus Decimus Meridius's quotes, Neo, yeah. Iron Man, whatever, you know, Blade, whatever. That's great, dude. And you did the yeah. Qui-Gon one. Thanos. Yeah, Th yeah Qui-Gon's the first one. Starting That's off. great, dude. Yeah. That's a great Qui pick. Yeah. yeah. So go subscribe if you're into that stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on there. That's sick, dude. What else we got in Star Wars news? Honestly, that's kind of it. I mean, let me peek. Uh, calm before the storm, man. I mean, this celebration. This is the calm before the storm. Let me peek so while, while you're peeking, I'm going to give a shout out to uh, this company that sent me these beautiful bottles. And I'll, I'll do a post on Instagram, too. And they didn't ask me to do a, a shout out or anything, but I really like their bottles. It's uh, they're all Star Wars stuff and they're called it's called Awala. They were like, we li really like your content and we just want to send you some cool bottles. And um they did. That's sweet. Yeah, dude. It's like a little sippy cup. Noise. 
<laughs> nice. So shout that's out to awesome. Owla. Thanks, man. Shout out to Owla. Yeah, they got Boba. They got Vader yeah. and everything. So that's cool, it's man. Pretty cool. Yeah, I love it. They're like Bar. the Vader ones, like all black. All black. Yeah. Yeah. It's that's dope. Cool. And it's got like like they got like little uh, messages on there. So like mm-hmm. this one says, um, "Stronger than you think." Or as you can see. Yeah, that's cool, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's brother. I gotta be honest. I think that's kind of it. The only other thing is, did you see the? There's a new excerpt from that book with Luke where he's looking for Exegol. I didn't read it. There's a new uh, enemy of his. Yeah. Well, there's a Sith kind of enemy that apparently he's going to be fighting in the book. Um, and all they say about it is that it's actually somebody that you know, somebody familiar, and it seems like it's a female to me. It's probably Ventress. Interesting. Yeah. Well, she's dead. But is she, though? Yes. <laughs> Very much so. But is she, though? I mean, it's Star Wars, right? Somehow. Dude, she got zapped by Dooku. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And died in Quentin Moss's arms. Well, let me bring up the picture. You don't think this could be her? Who do you think this is, then? Who are we looking at? The new Sith for the book. No. Why would that be her? Because of the armbands and the fingers, the pointy fingers and the blue there. You don't think? I guess the hair would kind of make it not Ventress, huh? Well, no, she had blue hair later on. Really? Like whitish. Hmm. I don't think that's Ventress. I think that's probably just like some new thing that they created. I think it says it's a familiar person. Yeah, familiar for the sequel. Uh, maybe well who would it be from the sequels then probably kylo <laughs> <laughs> why not dude why not it's probably snoke bro <laughs> that'd be wild probably uh confirm with me so was the true identity mass figure will be a familiar face to you that's what they say will be a familiar face to you oh well, but barris maybe that'd be kind of fun but yeah other than that brother dry over here dry, dry, over dry, here. dry but we're close to the floodgates we're close to kenobi i'm loving this i don't have to freaking tilt my head back oh but i could if i want <laughs> dude that's mm. so crazy you are literally getting one of the best promotions i've ever seen for a product and you're doing it for free and i'm doing it for free man yeah that's crazy take note take note other companies damn yeah yeah chat i get hit up with uh thousands and thousands of different advertisers every week i just say no for a lot of money i don't want to sell out man i I only advertise the stuff that i use like audible lego seagate (coughs) like blender bottle yeah um yeah i haven't done an ad in a while there's a couple really good companies that have reached out to me recently though and uh I do want to work with some of them, but uh, yeah, dude, I don't know. There's some, some YouTubers will take anything like raid shadow legend money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like that raid money, bro. How many times does raid hit you up? Cause every they week. hit me up all the time. Every week, every week. That's crazy. Yeah. They're yeah. crazy. huh? Yeah. I either ignore them or I'll just give them like some exorbitant amount of money. So they just leave me alone and be like, who the hell does this guy think he is? But they just keep coming back. Mm. I'm like, I'll do it for 50 K. Yeah. Then they just like send another email and I'm like, What's wrong with you? You guys? should tell them for 50k, you'll do a whole fan film for, for no, there. you know, even if they said sure, we'll do it. I'd be like, no, I don't, yeah, but you could, I don't play do your like, game, I don't want to play your shit game. You could, Raid, if you're watching this, I don't play your shit game, it's garbage. <laughs> yeah, it's it is garbage. garbage. It's probably garbage. Okay. I've never really checked it out, but uh, I don't like it. Apparently, a lot of people play it, they must play it. Let's just stop talking about them because you're giving them free airtime. <laughs> All right. All right, but it's You're bad right. press. I don't. You're like right, it. dude. No, they figured it out. They figured it out. They're getting a ton of earned media. That's yeah. crazy. Oh. They just got a free ad. Damn. Not God. really, because I'm dogging on it. But no, nah, some people will go check it out now. Wow, well, good for them. They broke the system, and, and they'll see it. how shitty it is. Yeah. Yeah. Fair. Anyway, fair point. Fair point. <laughs> um, I got the uh. What else are we talking about? I got the uh, July. I'm working on July 4th merch right now. That's a little bit early, but I like to be mm-hmm. early to the punch. So, um, 
chat which one do you like more i mean i'm probably going to launch both of them this will be just for 2022 but all for for my american bros and broettes oh you like that send one my way bro and then there's another one that's just like regular no that looks really cool yeah yeah i like both of those dude yeah i really like this one yeah that's right yeah that one's clean patriotism indeed sir yeah so you know the i have viewers all over the world but the majority of you guys are american and uh you know i want to do something special for you guys for july 4th and to make some cool merch so oh, yeah i'll grab one of those for sure yeah <coughs> I see still, still, the beard, tweaking. Uh, still tweaking yeah I'm letting the beard. beard go yeah let the beard go nice dude looks good It looks really good next to that baby Yoda bottle. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> man. The baby Yoda bottle. I just I love this bottle though. It's like yeah. my new favorite thing. <laughs> like a little baby, just like just like, yeah. The convenience. The convenience is amazing. And yeah, now in watch parties, I don't have to like take my eye off me. Like, just suck it from here. Yo. What are you gonna do if you don't like this Kenobi show, bro? Who um if I don't like it. And I and I'm really like okay, let's see what the poll is. Oh my god, the polls guys, the polls sixty six percent say yes. Isn't that funny? <gasps> that is kind of funny. It's like sixty six just rules my life. Did they do that on purpose? I don't know. Don't like were they, they like coordinating or something? I don't think they tried. Hmm. True. Yeah, yeah the lazy. poll says sixty six percent say yes, thirty four percent say no. I still don't want to talk about it. I don't want to dive into it. I don't want to know. I like going into the show like that, just kind of open minded as much as I can. Well, plus it's a really big one. It's the end you know what i mean so yeah i think it's uh I, i've been careful to try to like i don't talk about it in my streams you know what i mean i i just did the video on it so i'll talk about how i feel about it you know but i you yeah. know I, I sort of want to just keep that for as many people that want to just go into it open and i know a lot of people do um yeah for sure keep it keep it uh keep it a secret yeah if i can you know i'd rather go into that just fresh and i know a lot of people mm -hmm. want to go into it fresh but i know a lot of people also want to know but you know the information is out there if you want to go see it you can find it yourself yeah and like so i love leaks like if we've established this before right like i love leaks but for me it's different it's always different from reading a leak or being disappointed by a leak or being excited about a leak and what happens when you actually watch the movie like i just watched dr strange mm -hmm. and we we went we were talking about leaks for that movie on my channel like forever and some of them happened some of them didn't and I still love the movie, dude. I was still like, this is freaking awesome uh, because I thought the movie was awesome. Like the way it's all put together, mm -hmm. <clears throat> you can't read something and have it translate to what it's like to watch cinema, to have like, you know, the sound and the performances and all of that stuff that goes into it. It's not the same. It, you can never replicate it by reading what happens, in my opinion. Um, and so I'm going to give Kenobi a fair shot. I'm going to let it do its thing in front of my eye holes. And uh, we'll just see, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to try to be as open-minded as I possibly can. Yeah, well, I feel like when you go into something fresh, you know, without any leaks or any thoughts about anything, you you kind of see it from a different angle. I think theories are totally fine because it makes you think about it more, but mm -hmm. nothing that actually gives you, like, a confirmation or a slight confirmation that this is what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. For me, it's well, just like when I... Man. When I sit down to watch something, I almost go into, and this is, I think, why I love movies and TV so much, is it's almost like being, for me, being transported to, like, a totally different way of existing. Like, um, to to watch a movie, like, I'm not thinking about anything when I'm yeah, watching a movie. Right. I'm, like, I'm absorbing the movie, you know, like, in real time. It's, like, it's one of the most present things that I think we do in our society still. Because uh, it's not like you're thinking about, like, oh, I wonder if I tipped enough at dinner and shit like that like no none of that shit's going on so i find it really difficult to even process leaks while i'm watching something you know yeah. what i mean right. i don't like even necessarily think about that um and by the way if i am thinking about that then the movie probably sucks because mm -hmm. you know if the movie's not capturing me or like taking me on a ride then yeah like i find myself sort of checked out or disconnected from it or whatever yeah but um you know hopefully kenobi's just straight up amazing and uh just takes us on an adventure you know yeah i'm really hopeful that the show is going to just evolve the characters as they are yeah and really because no matter what this show will change revenge of the sith 
that's yeah, and... the only kind of concern I have because revenge is so perfect mm -hmm. and it's been perfect for 15, 17 years that this could, that's all I'm afraid of, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, well, it also changes the new hope a little it bit. It changes and, the originals too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think for some people that's just as much of a concern, but I, here's the thing is like, I always viewed it as it doesn't need to, change anything that happens in the movies what it needs to do is change the perception we have based on the movies of a time period we never saw right but therein lies sort of the balance because certain amount of um extravagance or a certain amount of spectacle in between two moments that was perceived whether or not the film like clearly states it or not but was yeah. perceived to be absent of all that it it messes with your feelings towards that thing you know what i mean yeah. so it's a delicate balance now they've said over and over again like we understand that we're taking very special care and in some ways some of the things we hear in the leaks it's it seems like they are uh my just concern is that like just this one thing that maybe a lot of people just didn't see it as a problem or whatever um it to me is like a massive uh super big deal uh and it's a total fanboy yeah. whiny thing to be upset about but at the same time, like, dude, I'm an adult on a podcast talking about Star Wars. Like, what do you want from me? Yeah. I love this shit. Like, I'm yeah. going to feel about it in a well, passionate it's important way. To us. You know, we, we grew up yeah. with this. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know, brother. I, I'm excited for the show regardless. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't lie to you, though. It definitely has put a damper in my uh, sort of hype train. Step i'm missing a spring bro <laughs> i'm missing a spring and um i'm i'm trying maybe by uh the time that the first two episodes roll around that you know i'll be able to kind of get super excited for it again and obviously we're still getting some awesome beta versus kenobi stuff so yeah shouldn't let one little thing ruin a whole show for us yeah i'm very curious to dive deeper into it and actually because i think when you told me i just didn't understand and like, I well, read it you, back and I'm like, I, I don't. Yeah. Well, if you just watch it, like going into it, we can obviously talk about it when, when it happens. And then, you know, maybe it'll happen slightly differently than was described or maybe in a way that like makes sense to me. And I'm like, oh, no, no, no. Now I get it. Or maybe there's some stuff in the show because like, look, my opinion of it is that it's a cool idea. Just don't put it there. You know, it's kind of the thing. So maybe it's yeah. a cool enough idea that we don't necessarily mind it being there. And we're like, yeah, no, it's like dope, you know, whatever. I don't know. I guess we'll see, man. So, yeah. Um, uh, someone says, Greedo says, one little thing. This leak is way more than just one thing. Hmm. I don't know if I agree with that in the sense that it's just one part of the episode is what I mean. I don't want to. Okay, so. Anymore. So, chat, I want to ask you guys one thing. What is one thing in this show that would really turn you off that you, you are hoping that won't happen? Because for me, like, I mean, we're all excited we get to see Hayden again. We're all excited we get to see Ewan. I mean, for me, I was 12 years old when Attack of the Clones came out, and Hayden was, like, my favorite being on the planet Earth. And, like, I wanted to marry Padme. Like, Natalie Portman was, like, my biggest crush. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I remember once crying because I was like, <laughs> I was like, I'll never meet her. It'll never happen. <laughs> I thought I was Anakin. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, so these characters obviously and actors are very important to us. So I'm just hoping, you know, I'm, I'm excited for them to come back, but I'm just hoping that it doesn't skew my perception of Revenge of the Sith or the original trilogy. Because it has the power to do that. And as we're getting closer and closer to the show, I'm like, oh, okay, this actually is a very much more sensitive show than I thought. Cause it could actually skew my perception. It can't change anything, but it can actually skew the actual perception of these characters to where they end up and then where they're about to go. Well, so I kind of think that you'll actually be able to separate this. Like, I think ultimately if you don't like this one particular element, you might just be like, well, yeah, it's Disney star Wars. And you might just say like, yeah, but like George's stuff was with the right. Sequels, yeah. yeah. Which like is but, fair. The problem with this one is that we're having Hayden and Ewan back, which is like mm. impossible to separate that. Like at least with with Luke in the sequel trilogy, he looks so much older than he did in the originals, mm -hmm. and he acts so much different, right, yeah. than he did in the original. So it's like, mm -hmm. okay, I can kind of separate things. That's fair. But with this one, I mean, they still pretty much look the same. 
Yeah. Like, yeah. It's like, for sure. what the hell? Mm hmm. Yeah. No, I think that's fair. That's fair. So it'll be a little closer to home, basically, like to the to your um, sort of like images of. Well, yeah. And I, I think the problem with Star Wars, not the problem, but um, the level of sensitivity of Star Wars is so high because it's something that is so sacred and perfect to us that we have this very solid expectation that needs to be like this one way. And if it deviates in any certain sort of way, we are unhappy. And that's the power of Star Wars. That's how big this franchise is. So I can I can see the pressure that a lot of the producers will have. But that yeah. being said, they got to make sure that they get everything as close to George's vision as much as they can. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, it's just going to feel weird. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's weird because like I totally agree with you. And I, I it's almost like I don't envy people making uh, Star Wars, especially Star Wars like this. That's so sacred. Like it's and look, no, I do I envy them. Well, so I cool. I don't envy them right now with where Lucasfilm is at. Do you know what I mean? Like I just I think that it would it would be, and maybe people can separate it out, but I think it would be a pretty crazy task because you're essentially left with the baggage of things you had nothing to do with. Like it's all about the sequel trilogy. It's all about Luke. It's all about Rise, and you know most of these people had nothing to do with that. Most of these people probably didn't even like it, but. They're now, you know, called up to bat to make incredible uh, Star Wars content. That, yeah, in a lot of ways, they probably dreamed of doing, but also carries all of that weight, all of that expectations because of those other projects. Yeah. It's just, it's it's weird. Um, but I guess I would say, like, on the other side of that, that, that changes nothing for the fans. Like, I can have all of the empathy in the world for people like that. It doesn't change what I expect of the content, you know? And... Um, I think that when you're at a position that Lucasfilm is at as a brand, you need to be hyper sensitive of what you're putting into this content, what you're doing with this content, how you're handling these characters. And uh, maybe I'm just an old grouch, dude, but uh, don't say that. Well, I just feel like for me, it's not, they're not doing that, you know, with like a, with this specifically. So, you know. It'd be funny if I end up loving it and we like switch our our I know right for the sequels. You're, and... you're like pumped about it and pumped about Star Wars, and I'm like, bro, no. You you're like me for the last several years. Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just I think that uh, at the end of the day, I'm gonna, happens, I'll try to be I'll try to be chill about it though. You know, like I'll try to um because I guarantee you there's gonna be dope stuff in the show. We've heard about dope stuff sure, that's gonna be in the show. Yeah. You know, so yeah. I'll try to do um my best to focus on what I love not destroy what i hate yeah we will we, roast, we will roast. we will discuss it a lot and we will definitely uh gauge it fairly tomorrow i think the brotherhood book comes out if i'm not mistaken is that right let's double check that brotherhood by mike chen i don't know my guy but tomorrow on the 10th Oh, what? Oh, no, wait. That was it's the wrong novel. Is that right, chat? Tomorrow the 10th, right? Um, let me see. If I kind of find the freaking... Yeah, May 10th. Dude, nice. Nice. So I already pre-ordered it. Nice. That'd be great. Do you yeah. just... Does that pop up for you on Audible then? Uh, yeah, pops up on Audible, but I also ordered a hardcover and I ordered a Kindle. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, they used to send me the books, but they don't anymore. Sadness. Well, maybe if you love the send of Kenobi, they'll start sending you books again. <laughs> no. Maybe That's if we go back we'll in know, time. Chat. chat will know. Disney got them. Mm -hmm. If I start, yeah, if I start getting books again. Yep. That's okay. I can buy my own books. I don't need to. <laughs> right. Yeah. I think, uh, I think you can afford a book, you know? Yeah. But it was just cool because I used to get them early. So I'd like having like Chaco, what did he say? A couple weeks ago, he was like, dude, you're going to love Brotherhood. Mm, I was like, really? Yeah. Oh, that's son of a gun. Yeah. That's cool, though. At least yeah. he's hit, hitting you up about it and saying you'll love it. So 
Yeah, no, yeah. He didn't tell me anything about it. He was just like, he's like, I think you're really going to like it. Cool. That's cool. That's great. That's cool. I want to check it out. It's probably the first Star Wars book I've wanted to check out in a long time. So, yeah. And I like Mike Chen's writing. He's the one who wrote uh, that excerpt in, from a certain point of view, I believe it was, where uh, I think it was Vader has a dream that he is Anakin again and he barges in there with Luke, or was it Sidious had the dream? Someone had the dream. And I made a video on it where Anakin and Luke team up and kill Sidious. And it was kind of cool. Effing badass. It was so cool. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it was narrated by Sam Witwer, too. <laughs> That's pretty dope. Yeah, it's really neat. Hmm. I have yeah, to check that out on Audible. So, I, I have it, but uh, I've never listened to it on Audible. Yeah. Audible.com slash Star Wars Theory or text Star Wars Theory to 500 500. Get your free month. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, so we'll see how that, that goes. Um, I'm going to try to speed read the book. I guess it comes out tonight at midnight. Well, that's pretty sick. Or, uh, But I probably won't get the hard copy till tomorrow, most likely. Hmm. What else we got going on before we read Soupies? Um, honestly, in Star Wars it, land, I think that's kind of it. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, I'm not seeing much. Not seeing much except for Cowboy Dave's hat on the back of that chair, which is pretty chill. <laughs> yeah, that's like my whole feed. Everyone just yep. posting the photo of his hat. Yep. So I'm just like, I'm not posting this. Everyone's mm -hmm. posting the same thing. I'm not, I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be a clone. Yeah, I should probably post. It. <clears throat> okay, chat. Well, I guess we will get to your soups now. Anything else you want to talk about, Josh, before we head into there? No, not really, man. I mean, uh there's a ton of there's a ton of Marvel stuff going on, but not necessarily relevant. And uh yeah, I'm I'm hoping for plenty of goodness coming out of celebration. That's it. Oh That's dude, I can't up. wait to see that Fallen Order 2 trailer. Mm. You heard anything about it? Nope. Mm. Not a Nothing. did you uh notice the new purge troopers in the Kenobi trailer? I did, yeah. yeah did, hey, did you, know? you see Cad Bane? People were saying that's Cad Bane. You think that's Cad Bane? I think it's Cad Bane. That would be sick, dude. I think it's Cad Bane, dude. I mean, why pay all that money to make him and not use him again? You know? Let's dude, that, why have that tweet. line about Cad telling Boba that I, it's not the first time I beat you out on a job? Oh, so you think maybe Boba could be as I think well? Boba is definitely coming in there. Yeah. <laughs> what? I think they're both going to go after Kenobi. And I'll Cad gets what, it first. I'm liking the sound of that. I'm liking the sound of that. I'm here that's for where that. My head's going. Yeah. Hey, man, if that's if that happens, I'll be pumped, and that's where my head's going and that's staying. Where my head's going. Yeah. Chat. What do you think? Anyways, Angel Starks is Scarlet Witch versus Sidious, and also why would Wanda wreck him? Much love. <laughs> Just stirring the pot. Seriously, though, thoughts on M O M Mister Theory? I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, he hasn't seen it yet. I don't know. <laughs> Do you think Sidious would beat Wanda? No. No. I don't want to ruin the movie for you, though. You got to see it. Wanda's pretty strong, bro. That's all I wish I'll it say. was streamable, man. <clears throat> so Me too. On Disney Plus. Me too, 100%. I would have watched it probably 20 times by now, bro. It's my second favorite MCU movie now. Oh, you like it that much? I. What was the first? Infinity War? It. Infinity War, yeah. Yeah, nothing yeah. beats that, dude. Winter Soldier right behind. Uh, Multiverse of Madness to me. Dude, are they ever going to bring those guys back? Like, that was, like, the best mm -hmm. crew. I think so. Chris is still... Chris is apparently under contract. Cap will be coming back in some way, I think. Some I think they'll probably bring... Yeah, I think they'll probably bring RDJ back, too, at some point. Do they probably. have to, man? Yeah, probably for Secret Wars. They'll do a big... Uh, big so everyone's ensemble, everyone's coming back for Secret Wars? I would say so, yeah. But it's, like, a multiverse version of RDJ. Yeah, or I'd say go bring the original. How? <laughs> it's comics, bro. You, that's literally all you have to say is it's comics. Like you could do so much. Like his, he downloaded his brain into an AI, and then he cloned a body. Like, and he had his body. Which, by the way, the current Tony Stark is actually that. He's his. It's like a regrown of his body, and his AI brain map that's in his brain right now. Um, or they could do uh, like time no, stuff. Him. No, it's him. It's him. It's not Sony. like his soul. No, 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 no. Like he 
Well, I guess not. But you never know. Like in comics, you could explain like, oh, he goes to meet Mephisto. Mephisto says it's actually your soul or some shit. Like they do that all the time. You know what I mean? Like, oh, so shit. Yeah. So he could he yeah he, he could be back, bro. Bro, I want to see you make some videos like this. You know? Oh, bro, I have like bro, I have a Secret Wars video. I'm that's that's what I'm doing is I'm going all in now on like evergreen kind of like lore stuff because like Multiverse of Madness kind of makes it pretty clear that Secret Wars is coming. So I did the first video in a new series I'm making. Uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty sick. I think it's literally one of the coolest thumbnails I've ever made. You cool. Want, you want to see it? You see yeah, it? man. Yeah, yeah. Let me see it. Let me see. It. Let me see. What I'm we still got to do those like Luke first Boba kind of things. Luke first. I know, uh, bro. I know. Those would be sick. I've been, uh, I've been thinking a lot about lore, lore and stuff like that. All right, let me see what pulls Thanks, Indiana. Up. I'm just going to share it for just a little bit and then I'll t shut it off. I don't okay, want cool. I don't want people to get too much. Where's that there, quotes you know? channel? Oh, dude. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll show you again. Oh, it's kind of cool. That's dope. That's kind of cool. That's all, that's all. That's all everybody gets. That's all you get. Someone's going to steal that right now. I know. Like, right? That's my thumbnail and upload a video with it first. And be like, Josh copied me. Holes. God. Yep. Yeah. So everyone go on YouTube, subscribe to quote theory. There's 778 subscribers. I'm gonna cool go if we get that. to a thousand. I'm excited to check that out later. Be cool if we get to a thousand. Can we get to a thousand? <clears> the link is in the description. So just go to the description and just click that link. Yeah, I'm gonna be very active on that channel. The videos are so easy to make, and they're like they're so fun. Like you, you literally just type into Google, and you get like a bunch of quotes of different characters, and then you add some that you really like of these characters that are not in there, and then you just it's like it's that's and it, it's just fun yeah. way to make vids yeah for sure and i think I, that's an enjoyable like side it thing is. for sure yeah, yeah. yeah well, 100 percent keep it fresh man everyone's spamming leak no we're not gonna talk about it nope we're not, we're not talking, talking about, about it. Not talking we said our piece hopefully the scenes where we see vader being assembled in kenobi will look like they came out of a david cronenberg movie hmm. yeah it looks pretty freaky in the trailer so far and you get a very small amount of it so i'm pretty pumped damn everyone's spamming leak holy crap yeah they're wilding for it bro they wow. are wilding. they're wild it's not even it. just like one person it's like everybody yeah it's a huge moment <laughs> like the thing is like look i i i'm glad that we're not talking about it, to be honest with you but if uh i mean it is sort of a big moment for people because i think here's the thing like it sucks for me too because I know there are a lot of people that are just rooting for Kenobi to fail. You know what I mean? Like there's there's people like that for sure. And I'm not like that. Like I want Kenobi to be good, but I'm also like not the type of person to like like I can't hide how I feel about something. You know what I mean? And when I uh hear something or, or think about something and I, I just take it the way I would take it as a fan. And like this one just mm -hmm. this one triggered me for whatever reason. Um but you know like back in the day like so when captain marvel came out like just as an example like a lot of people didn't like that movie when it first came out and i hated it but i hated it for the most weird reason i hated it because they made the scrolls good guys and everybody right. else hated it because of brie and i was like no 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 no. i hate it because of the freaking scrolls i was like you're not gonna do secret invasion you're not gonna have evil scrolls this is crazy you know like i was but i was like that nerd so you're right it's not even necessarily for maybe some of the same reasons other people are butthurt about it, but I hate it. Like, I just. I mean, I'd love to make a video on it, but. Um, but you will make a video of it when it's when it happens. When it if, happens. Yeah. When it, when it happens. Yeah. 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 But um, yeah, I'm going to refrain, you know. Yeah. Other people can have the views. That's fine. I'm just going to. Save your save. You're just not going to talk. To, I'm not going to talk about it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh jeez! Literally everyone in chat. And how many people voted? Nice, six thousand two hundred people, almost sixty-five percent right. say yes. Sixty-five percent is not enough, guys. You should have pushed it to ninety. Damn. Okay, if twenty thousand people join the stream, then we'll talk about it. But oh we all know that's not gonna god. happen. So yeah, that would that, no, 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 no. Because then I'd be like, I'm out. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, you want me to take this one? Sure. Hello, Theory and Josh. Hope you guys are doing well. Imagine rewatching Attack of the Clones on Mother's Day. Poor Annie. I don't want to dive in on Kenobi leak. Much love, guys. May the force be with you. Yeah, that would be sad. Oh, you know who I'm having coffee with tomorrow? Who? Anna? 
Oh my! <laughs> 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 so sad. Yeah, shit. My bad. So sad. I'm sure. Uh, it's no. Yeah. Um. So you know uh, how in the behind the scenes for episode one, how there was Jake Lloyd and there was another boy. Yeah, right? I've seen that documentary or that. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm I'm having coffee with that other boy. Whoa. Yeah, Devin. Bro, that's sick. That's yeah. cool. Hey, Amen. You guys gonna do a vid? No. Hmm. Probably not. Okay. All right. Probably should, but yeah. Yeah, but I don't want to be like going to the, going to the dude for the first time, and be like. Yo, what's up? Yeah, what's going on, guys? Yo, so what's up, guys? Yo, yo, live right here. Yo, what up? Anakin, he was yeah, checking yeah, yeah. in place. Jake Lloyd, what's <laughs> up? Yo, yo so how was it meeting was? George? Yeah. He's gonna be like, dude, what the? F like, I don't. That's yeah, not yeah. Cool. Well, maybe if you guys click though, and you become super good homies, then maybe you know. Ah, uh, maybe yeah. If he, if he wants, but I'm not gonna just like put him on blast like that. Mm. Um, but anyways, that's cool though. Yeah, it's cool. It's fun. I see you used my. SS of the guy pretending to be you. Glad I could rely on your Discord admins to bring awareness to it. Appreciate. Uh, oh, right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Yes. Yeah, someone was using my avatar and like saying, you're the winner of a new blah, blah, blah. And a lot of people are having that right now. That scam. Yeah. So that's not me. So I would never do that because I would never yeah. give anything away. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you guys remember when I did those force effects? Lightsaber your voice in the beer? Which clone armor is cooler, phase one or phase two? I say one. Says Adam. Phase three. Mm. Yeah. Me and the GF watching live from Texas. Much love. Yo, shout out to Texas. Love you guys. Shout out to Texas. Texas is a big old state, bro. American Pride with a $20 holla says, Hey guys, Theory, I love the new rifle and love how you're into guns. I own three AR-15s and I love them. Also, this is... Josh is Josh. Whose cheeks would you clap? Jabba, Kylo Ren, or Anakin? Hmm. Jabba, bro. Probably Jabba, but Kylo Ren is pretty, you know, big man. You know, it's a big boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Probably Jabba, though. Hope I'm wrong, but I feel Kenobi is going to be horrible, and the best we could get is a couple cool Vader scenes. Please tell me I'm crazy and just too blinked up. <laughs> but yeah, I, I hope you're wrong. Yeah, yeah, I, and yeah, yeah. I, I know you hope you're wrong too. I hope we're all. Hoping yeah, I hope you're wrong. I hope you're wrong. And uh, yeah, I think that there's a chance that it's freaking awesome with just maybe one little part that we don't like. Maybe that. Who knows, man? I guess we'll see. But I want to stay. Man, you guys are so relentless low. in the chat. Still going. <laughs> Yo, Indiana Solo says, you guys are peak masculinity. <laughs> okay, thanks, bud. Uh, I've been excited for Mondays because of you guys. Who is the best side character? Wait, what? Who is this best side character? Is KOTOR 1 or 2? Do you understand what he's saying there at the end? Who is the best side character in KOTOR 1 or 2 is probably what he means. Uh, Bastila. Yeah, Bastila or um, Kreia or Treya. Treya. Mm -hmm. They were awesome. Appreciate you, Indiana. Solo. Basil is my crush. Yeah, she was awesome, man. How would the both of you feel about a trilogy outside the Skywalker saga, and what would you want to see? Also, okay, it was obviously Plagueis. Also seeing um, Mom tomorrow. Can't wait. Uh, bro, tell your mom I said hi. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, no, that's awesome, bro. Enjoy Multiverse Madness. And trilogy outside of the Skywalker saga. I'm down. Um, I always say go way ahead, you know, go far beyond uh, the sequels and do something interesting. That would be the mm -hmm. way to do it. But mm -hmm. uh, a Plagueis, of course, would be sick as well. Yeah. Hey, guys, love both of you guys' channels. Shut your mouth and take my money. Have you all <laughs> watched the Behind the Scenes book on... Oh, no, I haven't watched the... Oh, you haven't? It? It's, no. it's decent. I feel like I'm getting gaslit a little bit by John Favreau during part of it. But, uh, really? yeah, but, yeah, a little bit. Just a little Why bit. would Not, you say just about how like they hope basically he's talking about how like the character you don't just want to do a character where the character's just badass shooting people <laughs> and i'm like well i kind of did but that's okay uh he's talking about like character development and how it's cool that, to do new things with the character and stuff like that but mm -hmm. there's a lot of there's a lot of fun stuff in there. there's a lot of stuff i liked yeah yeah both is nice thoughts on how star wars would be if revan played sith He's dead. Oh, stayed Sith. Yeah, 
Oh, stayed sick. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of things would be, definitely have changed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. I mean, he was yeah. a big asset to the Jedi. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. Would have been probably bad. We didn't get his mind wiped or lost his memory. Spoilers on my biggest pet peeve. Multiverse of Madness was ruined for me because of leaks and hype. Josh's videos on it calmed me down. Uh, hope the payoff will be worth it. Oh, okay, right on, bro. And uh, yeah, some people definitely did get a little too hyped to, uh, uh, about the film. Look, I was super hyped for the film. I still loved it, though. So It's all good, bro. Making Star Wars thinks you're completely blowing his leaks out of proportion. Cool, good for him. No, he probably thinks that I'm doing that. Um, and I hope he's right. That's all I'll say. I hope he's right. Josh, it's just a leak. Why are you so certain it's true? Is making Star Wars that right all the time? With this particular that's leak. That's where it's from. That's, yeah. that's the original mm -hmm. guy. With this particular leak, it felt like when I read what he wrote, he put a, in a big warning uh, in it. And I think that it lines up with a lot of other things that he was sort of hinting out before that. And so, uh, yeah, I think it's, I think it's real. I think it's a hundred percent real. Uh, but to be fair, again, you don't know how it's going to hit you in the context nah. of the scenes important context of the scenes important. So we'll see. Nah, <laughs> man, these leakers, bro. Like this, like, as you were saying before we started, like they, all they do is, is like pay people off to try and get information because that's their money. That's their bread and butter. It's not like they're making content. They're just talking about leaks and shit. Mm -hmm. So if there's no new Star Wars to come out, what do they have to talk about? No one's going to give a crap. I mean, no one's going to watch the shit. Fair, but uh, I'm not necessarily here to disparage leakers in general. Like I said, I like the leak game, um, but that I'm just saying there's have... incentive to make shit up or to embellish or to whatever. Mm, like, would... Who knows if it's all real? So I would argue that people and sites that just make shit up get found out pretty quickly these days. Um, and that like Reddit, uh, you know, Twitter, people love to when you're wrong about something like rub it in your face and like hold it against you. So I would actually claim that uh, it would be counterintuitive to most leakers <sighs> to uh, give out fake information. There are a few that do, but um, I think, <laughs> yeah, There's many that do. <laughs> There's so many. Mm -hmm. I would and say they'll keep doing it. So there are definitely plenty of leakers that do that. But if you really follow it and you understand like who are the reliable people, that group of people very rarely does, in my opinion. You know, like you can definitely get stuff wrong. But I would say that like the sort of aggregate of leakers and scoopers that I follow are right literally 90% of the time, if not more. You know, but there are definitely times when they're wrong. And sometimes, like, they'll think something and then say a little bit closer to a project, ah, oh, that's not in it anymore. And you could view that as them being like, ah, oh, they never know anything. But ultimately, when they report that, they're still right, usually, because it's not in there. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. So, I don't know, man. Uh, like I said, I like that game. You know what I mean? And I... Uh, yeah, it's fun. It's... um, I just... Yeah, with this one particular show, I just want to try to go in as fresh as I can, even with the stuff I already know. But yeah, that's totally fair. You're right to do so. And um, everyone's right to do whatever they want, man. Like, yeah, if leaks are your thing, like, there's a reason why a lot of these um, articles are so successful is because people would love to know leaks. There's, there's a lot of like regular Star Wars fans, a lot of diehard, there's a lot of very casual Star Wars fans. Mm -hmm. um and there's people who just like don't care about star wars but they wouldn't mind to know and yeah so they'll, i think they'll read the leaks you know yeah well that's like me and dragon ball right so like i follow the leaks in dragon ball because i'm not on it like that like i don't actually necessarily care to Same. actually read yeah. the whole manga um i want to just know what's happening i just want to be like yo what's up with vegeta these days what's up with mm -hmm. Goku these days so i'll watch the leak videos or whatever there's probably a lot of people that absorb star wars that way that absorb marvel that way right um so yeah it's different strokes different folks um mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, as for the sort of question from this guy, like, dude, this is, I'm telling you right now, I will be so happy if this is not true. But do you feel like most of his stuff is legit? Yeah, I think he's batting at almost like a thousand right now. I he's feel like doing... most of the stuff that we've talked about from that guy is just been decently accurate. Yeah, I mean, 
he didn't say too much specifically about Boba and also Star Wars. Well, I think that's because Boba shot. Hmm. I was going to just say Boba shot a lot uh, on the volume, but they shot a lot on location too. I'm trying to think if there's anything um, we've, that you've mentioned from him that didn't happen. I don't know. I know I some article. I get them all mixed up. So some articles are just like f- just complete clickbait garbage, but you mm-hmm. just yeah. kind of got to take everything with a grain of salt. Yeah, well, there's a lot of stuff that like is popular out there that gets shared around a lot, like either on Facebook or mm-hmm. Reddit or whatever. Mm-hmm. That's total bullshit, right? Like, because you put something really exciting out, like not too many people, like people are just headline readers right these days, unfortunately. But within the like sort of really sweaty parts of the Internet, like if you're on that specific Reddit that's dedicated to spoilers with moderators that vet people yeah. like you're going to you're going to get a pretty good look at what's actually going down. And if you are in certain circles where you speak to some of these people, you can bounce different things they say off of other people and you again get a pretty good idea of what's going on, you know. So. Yeah, like. um, Yeah, yeah. It just is what it is, but yeah. See what happens, man. We'll see what happens. See if it's real or not, and um, I guess we'll judge it when it comes Mm -hmm. out. (laughs) That is a spoiler. Highlander. Oh, damn it, dude. You're right. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Rage Cage. Peter B. Parker says, I don't have a problem with the leak if it's true. I think it would be a badass ending. It doesn't take away from Kenobi. Also, Doctor Strange was amazing. Yeah, so I think there's definitely people that don't see it the same way that, that I see it, and I think that's great. Josh thinks the Kenobi ending is bad, but this is coming from a guy who thinks Ma- Multiverse of Madness is good. Yo, Jimmy Neutron, I don't think M- Multiverse of Madness is good. Fat, cool. naked Jimmy Neutron? Let's Sorry, please. you're right. Fat, naked Jimmy Neutron. I don't think it's good. I think it's amazing. I think it's cinema. Beautiful cinema. Big dono from T Love, aka the Silver Lurker. Mm. 50 bucks. Thank you. Yeah. I turned Nerd Theory on and within half a second. Lady Lurker comments on how Theory is a scruffy looking nerf herder. <laughs> Shaking my head. Well, your lady always be complaining. I'm not trying to be a dick, but she is. Yeah, chat. What do you should I keep the beard growing and like grow it out? Or should I uh go back to clean shaving? What do you No, dude, you do should like? keep it going. It looks good right now. It's scruffy right now. It's grown in. It's patchy yeah. right now. Yeah, but it looks good. Keep it going. Push through. Push through to higher ground. I'm Why it. are people even assuming the leak is true? Most non, most none of the. So t- Tony, like, ah, this is such a hard one for me to answer because, like, to people that don't follow it closely, I can see how you would think that. But literally, the week before the movie came out due to leakers we knew literally everything we knew what was in the movie we knew what was not in the movie i knew i lost that bet way before i saw the movie you know what i mean Mm. so it's just i get what you're saying but it's not true man like i'm telling you that all right believe what you want to believe tony how about that how about that i still have to see it so since she dated Jawas and seemed attracted to that Twi'lek guy, would you agree that Pelimoto would get her cheeks clapped by Watto? I say 100%. Yes. Yeah, she's yeah, down dude. a clown. She's down yeah, a clown. For he sure. can fly, so he'll just be in the air the whole time. Oh, God. Hey, don't Great go imagery. there if you don't. Great imagery. Oh, Mandalore says, uh, greetings, Theory and Meh. Uh, question for you, Theory. Dooku as Tyrannus was a Sith, correct? Why did his eyes never change to Sith eyes? And meh, you touched on this earlier, but what are Man Wolf's powers? Uh, Man Wolf is like, he's got crazy cosmic powers. He can, su- I believe he can summon like this cosmic powered weapon, this like sword. Um, yeah, he's he's ridiculous. So yeah, Tyrannus was, I wouldn't call him a true Sith, but he was just a, he was a fallen Jedi most properly, I would say, like more seriously than the sith but um why he didn't have sith eyes is because he never actually did anything that evil like even when anakin when he turned to the dark side like he needed to do some real evil shit like the younglings to really have some sith eyes and it wasn't until he went and killed the separatists that like all of that evil doing accumulated and allowed him to tap into the true darkness of the dark side Mm. and that's when he was like full-on evil very powerful but then of course when he saw padme he wasn't as angry anymore and so they 
were turned back to blue. It's like when you're Super Saiyan versus not Super Saiyan. Yeah. And then he was fighting Kenobi. I still feel like he was holding on to a lot of who he once was. And that's why his eyes weren't Sith until he burned up because then he was using every single ounce of midi chlorians that he had left uh, and rage to sustain his life. And so he was fully just in the dark side at that point. But Tyrannus, like, he didn't really do anything bad. He just had his own ideologies of what the, um, what the, what the galaxy should be like. Mm -hmm. And he was just trying to take over with his own um, totalitarianism. In a sense, yeah. But he also felt like the Jedi were very disillusioned with politics, and he was just like, "I've had enough of these." Yeah, he had a point. Senate, like, so. yeah, for sure. Like, he had a point. I think he had decent intentions, but then mm -hmm. he kind of like, Dooku kind of makes a deal with the devil, you know, and the devil betrays him. So, yeah, betrayed him. But I mean, Dooku, like, he thought that it was him. Like in the end, it would be him, Anakin, and Sidious, and they would like have a whole Sith army. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they, that was his way of thinking that this galaxy would be full of peace. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Not with the see. Jedi. You know, get rid of the Jedi because they're just controlling everything and they're just stuck in their own political ways. It would have been interesting to see how that would have played out. But, yeah. Sidious yeah. doesn't care about people, though. No. At all. Wondering if there's an update on reacting to people versus George Lucas on the channel. Big love as always to you guys. I still haven't seen it. I think you can Someone's find here. it on Amazon. I'd like to see it. Yeah, you get super triggered by it, but you know, you just try to just give it a. Would I? Would I be pissed? I think so. I don't know. There's a lot of people that defend George in the movie, and it ultimately it lands on a nice place. But uh, yeah, they go at him hard. Really? They go at him hard. Uh, Y'all are awesome. Hope you guys accomplish everything you want in your careers. What are some things you want to see in the upcoming Acolyte show? Um, what do you think? Acolyte, what would you like to see? I want to see more of the training of dark side users. That's yes. what I want to see. Yeah, 100%. I'd like to see a little bit of maybe what you were just talking about, like some dark side users that uh, aren't necessarily even pure evil, that just mm -hmm. see the dark side as a way to peace, really. And mm -hmm. that, you know, sort of like that dark side philosophy. I think that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. I agree with that. I'm a VFX animator, animation major, currently writing my final paper on the, of the semester. Final paper of the semester. This show is helping my procrastination. To, oh, geez. That's not good. Good luck, man. Cheers. Cheers, Hugh. Have you guys read Brotherhood? No, I have no, not. No, it comes out tomorrow. It comes out tomorrow. Bro. I don't even know yet. We We're don't get fancy. privileges like you guys. Oh, I'm definitely not getting any privileges after, you know. Uh, Rage Cage says, just finishing Thrawn for the first time. Any audio books you guys could recommend in preparation for Kenobi? Love the show and content, guys. Much love for Michigan. Shout out to Michigan. Um, for Kenobi. Maybe... Bro, I've been setting you guys up since like the last three months now for Kenobi. So I would read Revenge of the Sith, Labyrinth of Evil. So Labyrinth of Evil, Revenge of the Sith. Um, I'd read Kenobi. You don't need to, but it'd be good. Um, I would say the uh, the Rise, Dark, Dark Lord, The Rise of Darth Vader. I think What's the one I'm blanking on, yo? I'm blanking on the one with Kenobi and Qui-Gon. That's Cloudy Dark Gray. Lord. The Dark Lord, The Rise of Darth Oh, you mean um, Master and oh, Apprentice? Yes, I like that book. That'd be a fun one too. Yeah, get in the mindset of Kenobi a little bit. How would you two feel if at the end of the show Reva finds Luke and she realizes that the boy was using the Force on Ahsoka's cheeks? Better than the leaks. Please consider having Thor Skywalker and be fire. I would be down. Seems like a chill dude. I've never talked to him. Dave Filoni brought up an interesting statement about Luke and Obi-Wan. Well, you didn't tell us what it was, so thanks. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Come on, man. I've seen the leak. I think it's awesome, Josh. No offense. I think you're overreacting. Also, we need a long show, please. Yo, I'm down. I'm down for me overreacting. I'd love to be overreacting, and I'd love for no... I mean, I want to see it and it'd be like, guys, I told you it was going to be chill. I told you it was fine, you know, and it's all good. So maybe that's the way that it is. Captain Rex, we'll see. 
Hey guys, my birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday. And I spent it at Galaxy's Edge. I built a lightsaber. And as a 27 year old man, I still got goosebumps. I appreciate nice. both of y'all for your hard work and thank you for being real with us. Love y'all. Hey, happy birthday, Alex. That's awesome. We had a great time at GE. And uh, yeah, I wonder what lightsaber you made. Yeah, for sure. Probably was sick. Guna says Avatar teaser trailer before Multiverse Madness was beautiful. True. Shame we didn't get to see Josh shave his mane. It's true. And no spoilers for Kenobi ending, please. Hope you both had an awesome weekend. Thank you. Okay. If the leaks are true, I shave my head. <laughs> if the leaks are not true, you shave your head. Okay. I mean, I'd be bald but really happy. So that's kind of an interesting trade-off. I'd be bald and I'm, I don't know, happy or unhappy. I don't know. Not enough people. The, the thing is, man, with Star Wars, I don't know if I'm ready to make to make that bet. Let me think about it. Ooh. Let me think Ooh, about it. So maybe the leaks aren't true. Well, because here's the thing. There's definitely a chance. And it, bro, what am I talking about? It's, it's, it's true. I know it is. Oh, God. Do you? Well, then you I mean, no I don't know. You have no, no problem betting. You have no problem betting then. Betting your hair. I told my fiance. At least you're going to wake up next hair. to a bald man. I told her I wasn't betting with the don't hair. Don't knock until you try it. Oh! <laughs> I don't know, man. Does chat want me to make that bet? Just saying, you wake up to a you know Vin Diesel next to you. Why not? Chat, do you want me to make that bet? The uh, oxygen receptors in your skin on your scalp want you to make that that bet. Oh yeah, for real. Probably, dude. Probably. Did you Let know? Let us breathe. There's too much air. You breathe. Uh, you your eyes take oxygen right out of the air. They don't yeah, no, no. use your blood to get oxygen. They just take it right out of the air. Hmm. That's not read wild. The, read the chat. Chat says, "Don't do it." Nah, that's not chill. I wouldn't. Literally, uh, ninety-nine percent are saying do it, and one guy says, "Ah, man, care. sorry, something wrong with my glasses." Then, so I'm seeing. Shit. Shit. Are oh, they calling you no balls? <laughs> <laughs> if I'm a bullies, chat, you guys are bullies, man. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Uh, I guess you're not certain about those leaks, then. I guess. Uh... Yeah, no, I'm not. Oh well. You just gotta, says don't do it. Put your money where your mouth is. I mean, I'm down it putting did. money where my mouth is. I'm not down <laughs> putting the hair, bro. <laughs> uh, like I lost the 500, and I was like, "That's lame." But then I looked in the mirror, and I was like, and "I was oh, like, I still, still have... got it." You know. Yeah. Hey, anyway, well. What's it gonna be? You decline? You gonna be a chicken? Oh jeez. Are you gonna pull through and maybe lose your locks? Oh jeez. Look, everybody's pressuring me. Everyone's pressuring you, bro. You can easily just say no, man. <laughs> Nothing wrong with saying no. Can't do it. I can't do it, chat. Mm. I can't do it. Mm. <laughs> you put me in a box. You put mm. me in a box. I didn't want to do my hair again. Look how old you've become. <laughs> Guess the leaks aren't that true then. Hey, maybe the leaks are fake. Maybe I know they're fake and I brought it all up just to stir the pot. And maybe that's what the leakers do. Mm, maybe. Maybe. Oh, well. Let me think about it. Maybe I'll change my mind by the end of the stream, but for now, nah. Well, nah. I suspect May has already shaved his dome, but won't reveal it because until a subsequent stream down the line. Wait, what? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Mandalore, you do make my head look pretty good bald, so it's pretty tempting. It's pretty tempting. Glad to catch you guys live again. Much love. Hey, we love you too, Jim and him. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Jim and him. Jim and him and him and him. Jim and him and him. Uh, let's see here. Opinion on fan-led collect did star wars fan film universe whoa uh that's kind of fun i don't have the platform to unite such a thing but y'all do we don't need disney anymore disney really puts the d in d degradation it's sour time um 
look, that is just such a complicated, <laughs> crazy endeavor, bro. Like, look, would I love to do that? Mm. Yes. But, um, yeah, sorry, man. I, I, <laughs> Not gonna be able to, not gonna be able to do that, brother. It's a good idea, though. It's a good idea, and I think independent art is great, and I think that people should go out and make it independent art. And I think there have been times before, in the history of commercial art, where a bunch of people got like sidelined or got fed up with corpos and did their own thing, like the image dudes in the '90s and stuff. Like, there's all sorts of examples of that, and yeah, in some ways that's happening right now. But uh, to tell us to like help try to shepherd it and all that, I don't know, man. It's not really my, it's not really my thing. I'm more the get on the microphone, act goofy, and talk shit kind of guy. So thanks, Elijah. Yep. Might be a weird question: What character profile icon do you guys use for Disney Plus? Luke and Ahsoka are my two favorite characters. Hmm. How about that? The double uh, shift. That's crazy. Um, I don't know what mine is actually. Do you know what yours is? Maul. Nice. It's not even that big of a leak. It's something we all kind of predicted on one hand, but with Disney woke controversy sprinkled in, upset me to be honest. There's yeah. woke there's woke shit in there. I don't know. I mean, I I guess you could describe it as woke for sure, but that's not even necessarily like the crux of why I don't like it. It's, it's hard to explain. Oh, dude, but, I want to know. I want to like dive into this so badly, but I I also do not mm, at the same mm, time. Mm, so, mm, 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 well, eighty five hundred mm, people mm, say mm. do it. I really like. In some ways, I, you could see that yes, it's woke, but that's not even why. That's not even why we'll it's a problem. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll see in six weeks. Yeah, Kenobi and Stranger Things are coming out the same day. Thoughts? Oh, okay. I guess we'll, well be I'm, watching two shows. Yeah, I'll probably do uh, Stranger Things over the course of the weekend. But then again, I won't because we'll be covering Celebration. Man, right. that's interesting. That's, yeah, we're not going to sleep much. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I'll do a 24-hour stream and sleep back there next to the wall. With Unreal Engine and short throw projects, we don't need D no more. Am I wrong? I'm tired of watching my heroes get spat on Luke forever. Well, no one really needs any company, but uh, yeah, when we, with the way fan films are going, I think you know. Yeah, I'm not. Better, uh, better. Look, I'm not on that train, bro. Like, I'm not in that. Like, screw these companies totally and wholly. Like, I'm sorry, that's just not me. I am taking it a case by case basis here. In the case of the Kenobi League, it's just I, I really don't like it. So it's it, it ain't that deep for me, Elijah. You know, much love to you and and your perspective, but uh, that's that's not it for me. How one of you has no hair, the other has no balls. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do the fusion dance. Uh, Yo, Theory and Josh, the reason Theory won't like the Kenobi leak is because Kenobi leaves Tatooine after he sees Luke's playing Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> Stop giving them air time, Josh. You're still going to I didn't want to... Am I still going to shave my head? Uh, yes. Uh, John January says, Theory, you have to check out Battlefront 2022. The game is far from dead. It would definitely be worth a stream. It's Battlefront plus thing, Josh XX. Wait, what's that mean? I don't you add another X in there. No, no, no. I know what that means. But what is the Battlefront? What's he talking about? I'm, I have no idea. Hmm. I don't know. Can we get Lego P2 Cody hype? Oh, hell yeah. Josh is overacting to the finale. Jar Jar in the final battle doesn't ruin anything. <laughs> My man, yo, well done there. Steve gonna lip, lip sync you. Uh... Kenobi opens up the multiverse in the end. Oh, that would be sick, dude. That'd be wild. And then he freaking boots Rava into a portal and <laughs> closes it. Are your thoughts regarding the finale leaks positive or negative? I don't know. I can't comment. Well, apparently the person that actually did the report says I'm overreacting to it. I that highly I'm, doubt they know we're even talking about this. I'm blowing it out of proportion, they say. But I'll tell you. Well, how would he know that? A lot of people just say things wrong. I think it's worse than bullcrap. Like, 
dishwash soap diarrhea. Horrible. Mm. But that's just me. I doubt the leak is real. Lucasfilm usually does a good job at keeping stuff from leaking out, like Luke being in Mando season two, but who knows? Mm, yeah. Yeah, that's maybe. why I don't I don't really give much credibility to leaks. I mean, they're fun to talk about, but for this one to be the end of Kenobi, I think that's that's kind of it's just too big for me to want to even dive into. True. I don't true, true, true. This was inevitable. Leaks or no leaks, inquisitors will take too much screen time. Why would we give a F uh about Revan the Obi-Wan show? Yeah, I mean, that's the show's job is to make us care. So we'll see. For some sending message, what's up, boys? What's up, Tyler? What's up, Tyler? How you doing? Nice photo, man. Nice photo. Dion says, if you read slash report on leaks and end up being disappointed with the final product, it's your own fault. Sure. Mm, I disagree with that. Yeah. yeah. I disagree with that. I think it's the product's fault. No, it's... It's my fault. He's right. No, it's I've never changed, the consumer's I've changed, fault. I've changed how I feel about it now. Keeping it vague, why don't you think the leading, uh, the leaked ending fits Kenobi? I really don't know how they would fit the story beat in any other show. They could, well, you're talking about the end beat? Yeah, they definitely wouldn't, and that's the whole idea. Get that beat out of the show. But as for the character and the things about the character, the things about the character are interesting. Some of the things we've heard, um, that she'll think about and that sh that will have done been done to her in the past that's interesting that's compelling i just think that there's no reason to have that last scene it, it just makes it makes this new character way too important like and it feels super artificial like it, it feels um uh, yeah if these things are true i'll be done with all the star wars going forwards oh, i'm not there uh, which I, I'll be honest with you, I might have been there Saturday when I recorded that video. I was pretty fired up. I actually went to dinner with uh, another couple and uh, complained about it to them the whole time. They're not even into Star Wars like that. So I complained, like, dude, like, what, what, yeah, yeah, they were like, what? What is Star Wars? Yeah. Oh. You know, it's bad when people are like, I'd rather talk about politics. I'm like, oh, shit, okay, oh, but uh, oh, yeah, please. I was, I was just freaking out about it, but I feel a little bit better about it today, so. I don't want nerf to Vader and Obi Wan like Boba. Look, when they put the slot machine slot machine into uh, Vader's chest, it, it is a little weird. Why? But, um, really? You gotta gotta make that money, you know. Empire How is that weird? How is that a slot weird? machine? Yeah. You pull the lever, and the three things come up. And if it's banana, 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 you win the jackpot. Oh, you're you're oh, you're joking around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought you meant like the his central console when No, the center console is sick. I can never tell with you. As long as I know, I'm I know. I have such a weird sense of humor. As long as Reva doesn't become the main focus of the show, I'm happy. I'm only here for Obi Wan Invader. This is true, and I agree. Yeah, I don't care about anybody else. I hope the father, daughter, son, Mortis are rules in the universe that get handed down. Ahsoka could live longer in an immortal state as the daughter. True. True. But uh, I think I'm if we that. get several seasons of Ahsoka, I think she might do a lot just right then and there, like in that timeline uh, around Mando. So I'd be there for that as well. But uh, the Mortis stuff's cool. So, Hey, chat. So we're at 921 subscribers on Quote Theory. Ooh. If you click the link and get to 1,000... I will go pee. Because I really have to pee. Dang. Finn is the son, not on camera, is the son of Kenobi and <laughs> Reva. The Finn series focuses on him exploring that while becoming a Jedi. That's the reason Reva keeps Kenobi a secret. What the hell? Yeah, maybe, Oscar. Wouldn't that be wild? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing saving grace for this would be if Vader kills Reva. I mean, that'd be cool. Bros, I think Disney forgot what George's vision was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Revenge of the Six says, Josh, you're toxic. <laughs> Vader is his own worst enemy. He can't control his temper. Vader uh, still has good in him. Like Reva, he was never 100%. <laughs> Yo, I think he's being dead ass right now. Uh, like Reva, he was never 100% dark side. Obi-Wan is playing 4D chess in the series. Vader and Reva. Reva are playing checkers. Right on, bro. 
Yeah, I don't think Vader was ever 100%. I think he was like 99.9% dark side. I think there's that 0.001% Anakin light side in there. Fair point. Fair. They really need to fix the Grand Inquisitor's thick face and normal <laughs> eyes before the show releases. <laughs> ben, we're running out of time, thick brother. Face and... Ben, we are running out of time. It's three weeks. You're going to fix friggin'. Kathleen Kennedy dies while giving birth to Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> <laughs> Jar Jar to the dark side. So Jar Jar Binks. Oh, no. what the, where do you get? You guys come oh, up with better no. fan fictions than anybody else. Yeah, dude. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was great. Got the LE limited edition Ahsoka Saber set on May 4th. Nice, man. That's sick. It's really nice. That's cool. Yep. Josh, that is way too much hair on that head after MOM. What are you talking about, Kiwi? The bet was if Wanda was the villain of the movie. And I, look, I'm not trying to say spoilers, but obviously she was the villain of the movie. Wait. Yeah, Hold head. on a second here. Alicia, you might get mad at me. You're going to get mad at me. But. At the end of the movie, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what was her stance? Was she still the villain? She makes an attempt to possibly right her wrongs, but without going into full detail, she is so clearly the she villain. She is still not the villain. Then, if you oh, redeem, no, no, no. if you redeem no. yourself at the end of the film, you are not the villain. There is no redeeming. There's absolutely no redemption for what she did. It was horrifying. But amazing. Oh, really? Bro, is it like R-rated stuff? It's not necessarily R, but let's just say like horror I'm stuff? a little shocked that some of it's in there. And I went and saw it the second time we saw it with kids. Like there was like kids in the theater and stuff. And when this one thing happens, dude, like I could feel the parents like, mm -mm. <laughs> like they pushed it. They pushed it. And it was great. Oh, wow. Cool. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So but it, but thereby Wanda is absolutely not redeemed. Like she is. Hmm. It's, it's in fact there's actually controversy out there about how much people don't like how far she went in the movie there's certain camps out there that are pretty upset that she went basically full vader hmm. yeah but it's amazing dude well i'm glad you liked it uh, i loved it you have been watching this since 2020. Hyped for Kenobi Revenge of the Sith. It was the first Star Wars I watched. You inspired me to start a channel called Star Wars Archive. Love you guys. Awesome, man. Well, I wish you great luck with your channel and have a lot of fun making content. And yeah, enjoy the process, bro. Yeah, and the Star Wars uh, Archive. Cool. That image looks pretty dope, too, whatever it is. It's him and cosplay, probably. Well, it looks good. Kalisto <laughs> says Qui Gon was the perfect way to, to start quote theory. I agree. Uh, I have a notebook for quotes that I started three years ago. Can't wait to add more uh, from your channel. Thank you for always giving us more content. That's awesome. Well, let's see if uh, let's see if we're at a thousand now. Nine eighty one. Okay, we need nineteen more subs. There's three thousand sixty five people here. Can we get nineteen more subs, please? Please, please, please. Thank you. Yeah, do it. Please. Do it now. Theory, thank you for getting me into Star Wars. Oh, thank you for staying into Star Wars. Yeah. Appreciate that, man. Thanks for having an open mind for it. Feel like this will make or break Disney Star Wars. <sighs> Maybe, yeah. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe. Uh, so, I saw people saying woke in the chat regarding the leak, but as a black female who loves Star Wars for the show, I want to focus on Obi-Wan and Vader. Yeah, I think that's fair. I, th I think it doesn't have much to do with her race, but I do think that some people are just pointing out that it seems like they sort of were trying to check boxes and give this character that checked boxes like major spotlight. Like basically like the, the way I could describe it is like if you've ever played Dungeons and Dragons, there's a thing called the spotlight where the dungeon master essentially is giving one of the players at the table a lot, like a lot's going on with them. Uh, characters are interacting with them the story seems to be pushing some of like their past etc cetera, etc cetera. it's called the spotlight and a good dm shares the spotlight with all the different players in the party the only thing is 
in this situation, the spotlight should really only be shared by Kenobi and by the, the uh, or by Vader. And so by having these other characters get the spotlight in super crucial moments, it just feels weird to me. Uh, but yeah, I, I tend to agree with her take. Do you think a lot of people are saying it's woke because Rev is black? Do you think they would be oh, saying course, the same thing that's... if Rev is white? Maybe. Kind of depends. I mean, the thing is, so... Do you I think, think that's what makes something... I don't think that's what makes something woke. What do you think makes something woke? Like, what do you think is woke, exactly? Because I, I'm not, not, not going to get into that. But I don't, I don't okay. necessarily think it has anything to do with skin color. Okay. Well, um, I guess I guess it does in the sense with what they did with John with the with the posters. So you China. think that's woke? Well, no, but I think they were definitely trying to I just I actually think that's kind of racist, the fact that Yeah, they, it is. Yeah. And the thing is the not, hypocrisy that's like beyond woke, dude. That's not woke. That's like No, it's not woke. Fucked up. I think that what some people bring up is the fact that Disney plays like woke in a lot of their messaging but that's then they what i think do something like that's that. what i think they they pander to certain groups or sides just so that they can look like they're inclusive so that they can make more money yeah totally of course of course yeah. but i mean pretty much everything they do is to make more money that's not necessarily like a judgment yeah. on it you know so yeah no i agree so i think that like in this uh I think this is what it is. Man. I just don't think it has anything to do with being inclusive because I actually like that shit. I actually like when mm -hmm. I like when I'm watching a movie and not everyone's white. Yeah. Or like, you know, like, but I feel like if if they are pushing the narrative so much that it's like. I, I don't know, it, I, I would need a proper definition of woke. I don't really I just feel like when something feels forced, it just doesn't feel like an like, organic storytelling anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah yeah so like to me like woke or woke isms or whatever is never my like primary concern it's not something i'm looking for in a film it's not something that necessarily always stands out to me in a film to me it's all about execution now obviously people want to put certain lessons and lessons dictated by the, their ideologies into fiction this has always been a thing though like this is one of the things that i get a little bit frustrated with like sort of the anti-woke crowd is that bro Hollywood has always done stuff like that and always pushed things and lessons that seemingly are like about um, uh, equality and, and things of that nature, while also being one of the most disgusting, perverse, uh, backward towns in the history of uh, humanity. So the, the hypocrisy is nothing new. The wokeisms and that kind of stuff is nothing new. I just think that the newness is the sort of outrage and the outrage porn and the way to like get really fired up about it. It's not my thing. I don't really care. I consider it to be part of for the course. You know what I mean? Like is a modern Hollywood movie probably going to want to push female representation more than movies did in the 90s? Yeah, I think they might. Am I going to be butthurt about that? Only if it sucks. And because it sucks, yeah. not because it's a woman you know a woman I mean? or, or black yeah. or, or chinese yeah. or whatever and in like, my opinion matter. and in my opinion this situation is a situation that sucks that also maybe might be woke so i don't know hmm. but we'll see i guess we'll see man i don't know i'm i will solely judge it on whether it sucks or not <laughs> yeah which that's, is yeah for sure all, all, all i care about that's the but, pure uh, that's that pure shit yeah we'll see We'll see what happens. I feel there's a lot they can't cross, so really the only thing they can mess up is Obi-Wan's character and not focusing on him primarily, but you know, but you and K. You mm -hmm. know, right? But you no, dude, they can mess up a lot more than that. They can mess up Anakin, they could mess mess up Vader, they could mess up uh Obi-Wan, they could mess up Luke, they could Owen, yeah, I don't really care. I don't mm -hmm. think they could really mess Owen up because he's just he doesn't really have much character arc at all. Owen no, doesn't have any character arc, bro. He's, he's pretty underdeveloped. Same. He's, he's pretty the same yeah. the whole way through. So uh huh. Yeah. He's just grumpy and like, you can't train the boy. Mm -hmm. You can he's be right. like your father. It's gonna turn into his father. It's like shut up, dude. Shut to be fair though, tattooing seems like it kind of sucks, so I don't blame him necessarily. 
Shorts, what's up with 50 bucks, man? Thank you. Hey, guys, just wanted to say, does the ending of Kenobi really matter all that much? We already know where the story of those characters end. For me, it's all about the interactions between Vader and Kenobi and the retconning of their duel. I think the ending does matter because it definitely can change a lot with where we see them in Revenge of the Sith, where they will end, and then in A New Hope, where they just were 10 years before. So I think endings are very crucial. I think beginnings aren't as important as endings. I think the ending of a story is by far the most important. Like, everything that happened in The Last Jedi could have been different if Luke didn't just become a fart in the wind and die. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, agreed. And turn and uh, vanish into the Force with his mechanical hand. Mm -hmm. like, like, all of that. I mean, mm -hmm. it's just... You know, endings are crucial. Like yeah. how, you, how you end a relationship with somebody, how you say goodbye. You know, it's, these are very important. These are things that people can or cannot live with. So, um, yeah. And just to add into that a little bit, I would say that this ending, if real, um, is specifically designed to make it matter all that much. Like you asked, does the ending of Kenobi really matter all that much? I would argue that this ending is literally to make it matter that much it's like designed to make this moment matter a whole bunch that's partially why i don't like it actually so yeah, yeah. it's a fair question though <laughs> i'm just gonna read the lease and i can get it and then make a video i don't know man i don't want to I just want to go fresh. Go in, PA. As fresh as I can. Josh, since you talk about all the rumors and your sources are pretty legit, how do you get excited since you already know what's going to happen? Well, because I'm gonna knowing... Go on that yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, knowing what's going to happen or knowing some things that are going to happen is not the same thing as watching the movie. So, like, I like here's an example of this. When I watched The Force Awakens for the first time, when Poe died, I was actually shocked that he died. And yet, if I was really like processing in real time, I would have known that that shot from the trailers with Poe coming in hasn't been seen in the movie yet. Therefore, obviously, Poe comes back. Right. So I literally like knew a thing, but didn't process it in the moment because I was watching a movie. The movie itself creates sort of a, a different kind of experience i'm not like going through a checklist or have reddit pulled up and i'm like this was real this was not real this was real that's stuff that i enjoy outside of the movie before the movie and after the movie when i'm watching the movie i'm watching the movie so yeah how can i enjoy it because i enjoy movies dude you know like i love movies and i love uh good story good good cinematography good character good acting you know i love it abraham I love it. Should we talk about the leaks now that he's gone? Should we talk about the leaks? Do you guys think I'm overreacting? Tell me yes or no, chat. Do you think I'm overreacting? Oh, now I'm getting on the yeses to talk about the leaks. Hmm. Everybody's saying yes, I'm overreacting. Well, golly, now everybody's saying no, they don't want me to read the leaks? Sheesh. You guys really can't make up your mind, huh? That's all right. Hello. I have returned. All right, stop talking about it. Stop talking about it. Okay, we're good. We talking about it? Nope. Hmm. <sighs> Hey guys, how are you? I hope all is well. I had a meh day, but I sure did like Doctor Strange. What did you guys think of it? I haven't seen it. I loved it. Loved it. Bro. You're a shoe! You're a Disney shoe! No. <laughs> yeah, for sure. If you like something, that's how it works. Mm -hmm. Hello there. You guys rock. Keep up the great work. You've made Mondays not suck. Right on, Lee. Thanks, man. Thanks for joining in, guys. Right on. Why? Why? Why, why? why are, are you doing, doing that? that? Watch, Watch the leak from the best show. Oh, yeah, thanks, man. Thanks. Thanks for that yellow snow is good. I've never tried it. Maybe I will. Ah Ahsoka finally started production day. Yeah, we talked about it, Mike. We are both pretty dang excited for it. Love the beard. F the uh -huh. last Jedi. 
Yeah, that's funny. While I was playing the Revenge of the Sith game and thought about the 501st invaded the temple, wouldn't Obi-Wan and Yoda have some idea Anakin was behind what happened? What? He's asking, like, wouldn't they know because the 501st are involved that Anakin's involved? But didn't all the clones get turned? They they knew Anakin was involved. What do you mean? Yeah. They did know, bro. Yeah. Did they not in the game? Uh, I'm okay with the leak only because of how it ends. Also, my family and I rented a local theater so we can watch the final two Kenobi episodes on the big screen. Oh, wow. That's crazy. That's sick, Harry. That's sick, man. Have a good time. Have a good time. The I mean, final I two? The final two. Crazy. That's yeah. Wow. That's fun, though. I bet the movie, or the rather the uh, the episodes are going to look great. There's going to be a lot of fun stuff. So uh, I think regardless, we're still in for a lot of different enjoyment uh, of the show. So right on, Harry. Absolutely. Have fun. Yeah. Have fun, Harry. Yeah. Josh, how confident are you that the Obi-Wan Kenobi leaks are real? Any chance they are fake? They're not fake, but they could have been cut. I highly doubt they're cut. You know what, bro? I'm really proud of us, to be honest. It's It's been uh, an hour and a half, and um, you know, the title of the stream is the Kenobi ending has been leaked. We're not going to talk about it, and yeah. we haven't actually talked about the leak. No, I know. We've talked yeah. about the leak, but not the what actually happens. Yeah, yeah. I'm proud of us. That's good. Yeah, no, I think that it's a good, it's a good way to go about it, because some people don't want spoiled, you know? Well, they could just not click. True. Um, when Obi Wan and Yoda look through the tapes of Anakin kneeling to Palp, they wouldn't have seen Mace be killed, and have at least tried locating him to see if he survived. That's true, but they probably would assume maybe he died from. I mean, he's really strong, but a lot of strong Jedi died that day. I'm sure they knew. Yeah, if he's not around, he's probably dead. Mm-hmm. Question, two questions. Why make a poll and then say I'm not talking about it? What has Disney shown you to believe in Kenobi? Has a Alpha Boba in Mando? Had a Alpha Boba in Mando, then did a 180. You guys are in denial. I don't think we're in denial at anything. I don't think we've said anything that uh, <clears throat> goes against anything that we've talked about in the past. Yeah. Um, I can make a poll on whatever I want, and if I don't want to talk about it, I don't have to. And uh, by the way, the my uh, channel. denial is a river in egypt what has disney shown you to believe in kenobi um disney hasn't shown me anything but george lucas showed me hope i mean some of the i'm hopeful cool. man that last trailer I'm, was dope i like that last trailer. i am hopeful i don't think there's anything wrong with that i think it's great to be hopeful and excited for something yeah i will definitely tell you that i am no longer hopeful for kenobi now, does that mean that I'm like, like, I'm going to try, you know, I'm trying, but uh, t- t- took the wind right out of my sails, dog, you know? So, yeah. yeah. Huh. Absolutely do not want to see Bane in Kenobi. Yeah, why, why would we? <laughs> That'd be wild, bro. Watch your Bane vid and had a dream about him. That's pretty sick. <laughs> Iron Man versus Magneto would be sick. It's true, but Iron Man just would use a suit that's Get not magnetized. No, you just use a non-magnetized suit. Yeah, but can't Magneto use the iron that's in your blood? If you have an insane amount of iron in your blood, you'd have to have a very, very high level. Yeah, like what um, uh, Mystique did to that security mm-hmm. guard. Yeah, that scene is sick. Um, I love that scene, dude. He comes yeah. out. Yeah. Um, no, nah, I mean... Tony's pretty smart. I don't think he'd be messing around with any of that. But even without that, Magneto would still be very challenging. You know, like he could, he's very strong. He's very powerful. He pulls the metals from the earth, man. Yeah. Yeah. He's real strong. Yeah. Whether you want to or not, seeing Luke in The Last Jedi subconsciously damages that sacred childhood hero in our brain. What was next? Yep. Images are powerful. Disney won't leave any part of our childhood unscathed. True fans' films will respect that. I mean, look, that's fair, but it also we can't organize all the the fan. You want us to do the the fan cinematic universe or whatever, bro? Like, hmm. I respect the opinion, though. If you have to leave the room, do it. We want the leak, guys. Do you want me to leave the room for like five minutes and then come back? What am I going to say? Just explain you, it. They already yeah, all know it. Yeah, and you can talk about it. 
if but that's they all, what, if that's what they want. The thing. I mean, look, I'm down to do that. But here's the thing. Most of them already know what it is. And most of them probably already know how I feel about it. So I don't know necessarily like I could rant about why I don't like it. But I think what would be more interesting is to talk about how you feel about it and see if I still feel the same once we see it. You know what I mean? Right. But um, yeah. What if I'm just like extremely angry about it? Then we'll probably both be really, really angry about it. Like, I don't, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Everyone in chat says yes. Two people say no. Josh, just stop talking about it, says Andy. Andre. I know, he's really fired up. <laughs> he used all caps. Or maybe Dave was just accidentally on. Who knows? Uh, whether you want to or not. Wait, wait, did I read that one? Yeah, we read that. Right. How about put a poll? Uh, okay, how about this? If you guys want theory to leave and you want me to talk about it briefly. No, uh, you know what? If you want, no, this is a great, great way to siphon them to your channel. If you want Josh to talk about it, go to Josh's channel, The Den of Nerds. Yeah, I mean, I did a video about it. I think I went a little too hard in the video, if I'm being honest. But uh, it's it's real. It's how I feel. Hmm. Um, I just wish I would have worded it maybe a little bit better because I was fired up. But, um, yeah, you can check out that vid. Um, I'm sure a lot of other people are talking about it as well. And, look, we did talk about it a lot. I mean, most of you guys know what it is. You know what I mean? So Keep growing the beard. I'm bald and bearded, too. Nice. Sick. Yo, ciao. What do you think? If the, is anyone here tatted up? Unsubscribe. I want leak. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. yeah, thinking about it. Now. Did you see the new extra for the Star Cruiser? Where another sixty dollars you can get made up as a humanoid alien to elect to Gruta, but you can't wander around Galaxy's Edge in most of the choices. Ew. <laughs> sixty bucks. It's not bad. How good's uh, the yeah. costume? It's probably sick. You think? I hope. Sixty bucks is gonna be like some regular Halloween costume. Man. It's gonna 60 be like bucks, you like yeah. folding over and just slap you. like a thing on your head until you yeah. up. Yeah. 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 Like there's that. no there's like no it's mirror. Straight. They're like, you look great. You look just like a computer. <laughs> no, you can't look at yourself. Can I see it? Then. No. Can I take my phone out? No. No. Yeah. Grand Adderall Thrawn says, Theory, Josh, how are you boys this fine Monday? I'm doing great, man. Great I usual, feel great. Man. Uh, I'm making a trivia ordeal of thing now. In attack, oh, okay. In attack of the clones on Camino, Obi Wan sends a transmission to the council R4, scramble code blank to Coruscant. Can you recall the single genet digit? Sorry, but in attack of the clones, uh, on Camino, Obi Wan sends a transmission to the council R4, scramble the code. Oh, I uh, think, dude, wasn't it like 2114? Oh, no, that was the one in Revenge of the Sith. No, that was 2174. To Coruscant. Can you recall? I'm say it was one? nine. No. Nine. 3114. Nine. What was it? Nine. Yeah, what was it, Chet? No, 31174 was the elevator in Revenge of the Sith. Yeah. I need me some Twi'lek cheeks. I don't know. Okay, right on. I hope we can all be happy Star Wars fans again. That's <laughs> never happening. <laughs> yeah, it's not no, happening. like I want to. Look, for the sake of the fandom, mm. I'm trying. You know, I'm trying. Not that like my opinion should does hold shit for the fandom. But like, you know, I, I'm not trying to be a big bummer about it. It's just that I really do feel the way I feel about it. So uh, You wasted the stream not talking about that. No, no, we wasted the stream. Having fun. Catching yeah. up. Having some laughs because no, we know you. We know you guys are going to be like talk about the leak. Yeah, so we're just making known that we're not going to. I got the Star Wars Theory logo tattooed on my thigh, so when someone kisses up my leg, they must kiss animated Josh and Theory. <laughs> <laughs> right on, dude or gal. But which one do they kiss? Yeah, right. Do they kiss both? Eh. Better lay one on each of our cheeks. Eh. Before you go forward. I wonder if anyone has a nerd theory tattoo. I don't know. We're not at that level. Yeah, probably not. Hey, Josh and Theory. Love your channels. Are either of you looking forward to Stranger Things 4? It drops same day as Kenobi. I'm certainly hyped. Yeah, I'm hyped for it, too. It looks great. Um, looks super fun. So They went balls out for that trailer. That trailer was wild, bro. 
Woman is is Ahsoka more powerful <laughs> after she was brought back to life, or is she just the same? I think she's. I would feel like she's more powerful. She's got the power of the daughter, man. Yeah, it's possible. Something special is going on with her. Are you going to watch Book of Boba Fett? Gallery Filoni talks about Luke more. Um, yeah, that part's great. It's one of the best parts. I shall. How long is it? Forty minutes. Yeah, something like that. In Revenge of the Sith, a dying words, Padme tells Obi-Wan that there's still good in Anakin. Does this mean Kenobi would have known that Anakin had survived the duel? What? Mm -hmm. How would Padme know? She's no, just, she, she just thinks she's delirious, man. She just thinks he's still Yeah, she's chilling. just delirious, bro. Like, come on, man. Yeah. Darth Remus. I don't think she's really separating the fact that there was like probably 30 minutes in between her being uncon unconscious and not being unconscious. It's like Obi-Wan takes her over to Anakin. It's like, there he is. And he's like, Ugh. burnt up. True. Uh, Reva has abilities like Anakin. She can see into the future. And when she sees Luke during Obi-Wan's absence, she can see his downfall the moment he let Grogu go so he can be at peace plowing Ahsoka. That was a work of art. That was like a soliloquy or some shit. Thank you, Derek. The beard looks awesome, my guy. Gosh, much love. I feel your pain now. 100% with you. 100. Thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. You can feel it in the force not to talk about it. Let me feel it. Let's talk about Avatar then. What's up, Jay, Jay? No one wants to talk about Avatar. We're here for Star Wars. Dude, I'll talk about Avatar. Uh, by the way, there's this really good Avatar channel out there. Jay, just go play VR again. I forget what it's called. Let's <coughs> see if I can look it up. May I use your what if Obi-Wan never followed Padme's story for a Lego stop motion video? I'll give you credit for it. Sure. Yeah, man, have fun. She can't re-upload it. Dude, there was this channel. I'm not going to name him. But there was this channel uh, that was taking all my videos, all my thumbnails, and taking the verbatim script and the cadence at which I said things. I actually recorded a, a video of it, all of them side by side. And... He was just re-uploading them with his own voice. Mm -hmm. But my video, my thumbnail, same script, but mm -hmm. he was just recording. There's a lot of channels like that. You know what's been really triggering me lately has been all the channels that are doing like live stream Dave Chappelle talking about his attack. And it's an old interview from like him and they're just playing it live, like on a live stream pre-recorded. And then they've got like, yeah, and they're trying to basically like do crypto scams and get people to like do shit nice. like that. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. I was like, this is ridiculous. So. Yeah, there's a lot of garbage out there. The formula is use George's creations to prop up Disney's creations as better and cooler. Kenobi is just the next victim of this formula. Yeah, that's a theory out there. I think Jay has that theory too, actually. I talked to him a little bit about it. I, I don't know that I necessarily agree, but I can't argue that there's some evidence for it. Feels weird, but um, I honestly think it's more like a, like almost a perfect storm of stupidity. And it, it might come across looking that way, but. Uh, I just can't like say that that's like a whole plan or that's like, like that's not on like a whiteboard somewhere. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, I get it. The only thing I'm worried about with the show is I feel they're trying to put too much into the show. We only have six episodes with Obi-Wan and Vader. Yeah, I think that's fair. We shall see. We shall see. I'd like Reva if she was wearing a helmet. The Inquisitors would probably look cooler if they were in helmets. Maybe they will be in some. They way. were, yeah, they were supposed to be. But... Mm -hmm. Do you want to show us your hate for good guy scrolls was completely justified? And yeah, got any one of them back to gummies. Got any more of them back to gummies? Of course, bro. They're in the tower. Talk to Susan in the lobby. I was watching, I was watching but I had to go take a leak. Have a great night, guys. Yeah, thanks, man. Good night, Star man. Wars mansplain. Star Wars mansplain. So you're not going to take the bet? Shave your head. Look, my feelings. Should we read us next week? Yeah. I mean, look, I actually like it's so controversial and everything. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. We'll see how it plays if out. If you were I'll single, probably... would you do it? Yes. Yes, I would do it. Yeah. I would do it. Disgusting. I, 
I do it in a heartbeat. But because, like, here's the thing: like, your hatred for bald men. <laughs> you know, it's funny. We just like actually talked about that a little bit earlier because you, she's, she got so triggered when you said that. Because she's like, "That's not what I was trying to say." I was like, "I know that's not what you're trying to say." He's joking, <laughs> and she's like, she got like really triggered by it. I just like to troll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. She just doesn't like bald white eyes. <laughs> she's probably like Ugh. freak out. I'm trying to look at the Kenobi series as a new hope, LOL, for Star Wars under the management of Disney. Much love, guys. Oh, man. Um, Damn, look at Lego. That looks wild, yeah. It's crazy. I, yeah. I don't know, Darth. Maybe. Maybe, bro. Maybe it'll be the best thing we've ever seen, and the ending will make sense, and we'll just be like, bro, let's go for Star Wars. I would love that. That's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm rooting, rooting for. Seen a lot of people refer to Reva as Revan. Are you guys worried they might mess up Revan's story with this quota? No. <laughs> Revan's story is there. It's already set up, bro. It's amazing. Oh man. Oh. T3 of sending supers until Theory FaceTimes me. Monday couldn't get here sooner. What's up, Caden? Uh, do you think Vader and Kenobi fight will rival the Anakin and Kenobi fight? No. Hey, it could. Never say never, bro. Just, just no way. Never say never, especially when Reva swings. I mean, in okay, and takes both of them on. That shit's gonna be crazy. I would shut it off and walk away. <laughs> if anything like that happens, oh my god, I will be the most. <laughs> and it's the Indiana Jones theme too. Da, 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 da. <laughs> she just like spins. Just in. toxic. Oh jeez. Just, I will be horrible. But I don't see that happening, so. Let's go. Or if any way she, like, beats Vader or beats Kenobi or something like that. Look, y'all thought just... they were going to wreck on the sequels, and they are. You just didn't realize that it's don't say it. Reva's sequels now. Don't say they're going to wreck on the prequels. The only way I'm worried about with the show, the only thing I'm worried about with the show is I feel they're trying to put too much into the show. Didn't does that, he send that twice? Yeah, we just read that. I've, maybe he sent it twice. She sent it twice. Thanks, man. Jay in the chat. Start a uh, Den of Drunk Theory stream. It's not a bad name. Uh, I like Jay, I, but we're not talking about the leaks, so. I think he did do... I saw a video he did about the leaks, though. He, he did do a video about the leaks. How are you guys? I'm finished with exams. Nice. Uh, super excited for Kenobi. Just bought Brotherhood. Thanks for making Mondays better. Better, you guys are the best. Thanks, man. That's cool. Nice, nice dude. That's cool. That's awesome. When you guys come to Rancho Obi Wan, I will buy pizza. Nice. Bro, are you sure you want us to be eating pizza or walking through like mm, mm, touching all the yeah, stuff? Yeah, because well, we that. get to take one thing. That's what he said. Oh right, yeah. yeah okay. Philip said we could take one item. One thing. From, okay. Yeah. Well, I'm one. gonna choose probably like, you know what I want? I want a life size Watto. <laughs> Considering what you said about Waddle earlier in the stream, I'm a little bit concerned. <laughs> oh no, but no, also no, 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 that's not why. That's not why. No. No. Oh man. No. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. no. Uh, me too. Me too. <laughs> Damn. Oh shit. Moving on. Uh, moving on. Moving on now. Thanks, Philip. Big fan of you both. Do you think Booja? I can't say those <laughs> names, man. Puya. Puya. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course they are. <laughs> They're definitely alive in canon, dude. Yeah. That's all I'll say. Yeah. That's all I'll say. <laughs> Puya and Ryu. Yo. Theory. Fish stick and Chad just said you guys are overreacting. Get a life. And that fish stick, that cuts deep. Coming from you? Think fish stick. Uh, Josh, why aren't you bald? Because he was why raised bald? with with luck. <laughs> yeah. Might be having to get the keep soon, though. Because God Dad, said, Dad's you don't get to be him. sexy. You will have hair. <clears throat> I don't... I mean, my hair is wild, though. It's very hard to... Uh... You can't be masculine like all the other bald men. Yeah, it's true. You go over there and you gather. 
<laughs> while we go out and not get our hair tangled on. Yeah, you guys are out hunting. Like all the bald shit. dudes are out there hunting, <laughs> and uh, all those hair dudes are back playing Xbox. <laughs> yeah, you're all back fucking gathering <laughs> shit. Maybe in uh, Minecraft or something, you know. Hey, Josh, did you see Chandler's crazy KO on TF? Oh, my God, it was box. brutal. On the recent Thug Rose fight, kind of disappointing respect from Birmingham, England. The, th- the Thug Rose fight was literally one of the biggest disappointments that I've ever seen uh, in the UFC. It was absolutely crazy. Mm. I don't understand it. I don't understand her corner. I think there's a lot of weird issues going on there. It's funny because Elisa loves watching Rose fight. We've wa- we watched the UFC together, and she loves watching uh, the, the women fights, and we like Rose. But she fell asleep, actually, before the Rose <laughs> fight. And, bro, I was actually, I told her, I was like, yo, you lucked out because you would have been triggered. Like, it was horrible. Something like seven uh, strikes in the first round total. Like, it was like, it was crazy, dude. They danced around for 25 minutes. It was wild. It was horrible. Also, nice name, Josh. Hey, thanks, Josh. <clears throat> MOM is a good film, but it's flawed. I prefer No Way Home, which is my favorite MCU film. Also, I want games centered around Anakin or Luke. I think that's fair. I, I've been telling people Skywalker that I think No Way Home is a more enjoyable movie. It's it's a better time. Like It feels more fun. Uh, and I love that movie, but from like a straight film perspective, I do think Multiverse of Madness is better and stronger. Uh, the Spider-Man movie has like a sort of whimsical kind of vibe, and it's it, it, it puts a lot into it, and it's kind of uneven. Multiverse of Madness is like a streamlined train. It's beautiful. Beautiful cinema. Question for Josh. Why do you think Lou's film has a high turnover with their writers, directors, examples, Colin Trevorrow, uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, Lord and Miller, can't only be due to creative differences. I think that's fair, actually. So what I would tell you is it's probably a combination of not just creative differences, but also an inability to collaborate, right? So, like, there's a way forward with people, even when you don't see things the same way, but there's also a way to be like really stringent about it in a way that really would turn off a creative person. So it's pretty obvious that Star Wars under Kathy does not have a very good way of working with great talent. Um, and uh, yeah, there's probably several things that go into that, if I'm being honest. Lights out theory. Lights out theory. Oh, wait, did I skip something? No, 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 we got that. <clears throat> Hello there. I was sick all week last week, but now I'm glad to be feeling better and hanging out with you fine gentlemen. Theory, what's your favorite song from Linkin Park and Josh? What's your favorite song from The Doors? Hmm. Um, well, I do like Numb, uh, but I really do like... <laughs> I just really like Crawling, but uh, I'm not really a fan of that one as much anymore. Yeah. I like paper cut. I like nobody's listening. Ooh, uh, I think what was it called? Hit the floor. Hmm. Yeah, there some of their no, later stuff you. was actually kind of cool you. too. With you. They like some of their later albums, they had a couple of like bangers on on there too. Um, as far as the doors, I mean, Break On Through it to the other side is probably my favorite doors song. I know that's kind of like a normie answer, but I just love it. Um, I like Crystal Ship. Um yeah, I mean, dude, I almost love every single Doors song. It's hard to find a Doors song that I don't like. Um, Riders on the Storm, of course. Like, Riders on the Storm gets, like, a lot of radio play, but it's freaking sick, dude. Like, it's a sick song. Celebr- even Celebration of the Lizard, which is really wild, and you can probably only enjoy, like, you're super messed up. But uh, it's pretty crazy, so. I like the Doors. Uh don't you love her madly? Um, oh, dude, I love oh, b- by myself is definitely one that I really like. By myself, myself. Yeah, that's a good one. In my opinion, and it can redeeming Kylo Ren in the Rise of Skywalker would have made more sense than the illusion of Han. Yeah, couldn't agree more, Derek. Couldn't yeah, agree Han showing up doesn't more. Make sense. Told mm-hmm. by where the apprentices. Yup. Darth hey, Broly. Hope you're Sorry. having a great night. No, it's okay. 
Hope you're having a great night. Why in episode four does the part with Obi Wan and Vader's duel? Does Obi's lightsaber hardly look like it's lit up at one point during the duel? Probably because of the technology. Hmm. Yeah, I've never really noticed that. Which version are you looking at? Maybe it's your TV. Got a Maybe it's your TV. eyes. Slap it on the side a couple times. Slap your eyes. Josh, okay. posting a video saying you hate it is a spoiler. A spoiler of what? Uh, never swiped away from a video so fast. Long time member of the channel. Love you. But saying hate basically makes it a spoiler. I disagree um now that all in thinking about which fucking sucks okay so i think what he's saying is that by me saying that i hate it and i did like put a little like arrow to reva in the thumbnail that you could probably surmise that has something to do with reva that i hate but i just really disagree that that's a spoiler like if unless you read the spoiler or you watch the video you have no idea what it is and you have no idea if uh, it's something crazy, if it's something really, really bad, or if it's something that I'm like super overreacting to. Um, so, yeah. Like, I get you, Keaton, but I just disagree, man. I just disagree. Well, they don't want to hear what the leak is, but if either... Wait. But if either of you guys have seen it, does it hint that the show is bad, good, does it line up with canon? I can't explain that. That's like that would be like if I ex answered that question, then I would be absolutely spoiling it, which that would be like what Keaton is talking about if I answered that question. So can't answer it. Yes, yes I'm not gonna do it. Okay. I'm not doing it. You know, Luke Skywalker is building this is my new thing. You know, Luke Skywalker is built. Have you ever seen Shark Tank? Dragon's Den. That's <laughs> yeah. all they do. It's like yeah. you're a very, very success, successful, affluent man with like a very, you're very deep in thought. Mm. Mm. Can mm. Really Sometimes leave. you can do this. It's like the prey. But if you're really having to like think deeply, you go. You gotta put it on your nose. Oh, you, you gotta. You, you expand everything. Mm. And then sometimes you can like do this. Is like your brain's throbbing. It's like trying I to think understand this looks something. Good. I think this looks good. Just kind this of look good. Deep. Yeah, you could also do this. Which means you're like extremely. I think this means you're really, really rich. If you're looking through <laughs> your hand. Yeah. 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 But I mean, if you could do this too and turn it sideways, it's like I'm turning your whole world on the other side. That is pretty you wild. Think, you think this is? You think this is what you're all about? It's like that's kind of intimidating. If I came into a room and somebody was just like this, yeah, I would. I'd be intimidated. You know. <laughs> yeah, I would be too, man. It freaks me out. Like, it's like. It's like it's like, okay, like, oh, dude, I'm making progress. Sweet, this guy's like this. Then he takes this out. Then he starts, like, throbbing. And then I feel like I'm going somewhere a little bit. And then he yeah. just switches it up. Mm -hmm. But he's, like, changing fingers, too. Mm -hmm. I'm just glad we established that. We know Luke Skywalker is building a new temple in Mando Book of Boba Fett. Then we'll see him exploring the sacred temple between... Oh! The Sin Cave. Peace, Peace, brothers. Have either of you seen THX 1138? What do you think about it? I actually think it's brilliant, dude. Uh, it's weird for sure. Um, but no, I, I like it quite a bit. Uh, quite a bit. It's got to, like this really weird, almost like one flew over the cuckoo's nest vibe during part of it when they're all like at that like place, wherever it is. I don't even remember. It feels like a, an institution. We're all just kind of being cared for. And then when he breaks out, like, yeah, it's pretty wild. It's cool. It's got a nice little futuristic car scene too, car chase scene. It's a good flick. They also told us Book of Boba Fett was all killer and no filler, and it, in fact, it turned out to... That's true. That is true. That was a big old L. That's true. That is very true. Neo before Mike Zero. I'd rather not, actually. But thank you. Leak! That's actually why I don't want to stand in front of Mike Zero. I'd rather watch The Last Jedi than have this ending happen. Oh my god, bro. That's brutal. I think many people thought Multiverse of Madness would be more like Civil War, meaning it would bring in way more future heroes. It was a great movie about Strange, but uh, State of 616 Earth is mostly the same. Mm -hmm. You gotta watch the video I'm doing tomorrow, James. I highly disagree. Um, 
things have changed for everybody. Things have changed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The universe is always in motion. What's up, fellas? Hope you're well. Watch Dr. Strange Strategy Saturday and loved it. Reading Illuminati comics now. Nice. nice. Yeah, dude. Those are sick. Nice. This book this book right here is what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. The Secret Wars. 2015 Secret Wars. Oh, man. Is that a comic? Yeah. Trade yeah. paperback. You got the whole thing? Thick boy. Yeah. Actually, somebody won this on the, the thing. I'll ship it out to him soon. Let me see if I can find that one panel where Thanos rips it. Oh, here it is. Where Thanos rips Doctor Doom's, uh, or Doctor Doom rips out Thanos' spine. You see it over there. Wait, Thanos is in Secret Wars. He's coming back. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, but does he... Thanos die from that? Hell yeah, he dies from that. He's gone. Uh, yeah. I mean, when they remake all the universes after it, he comes back again. But yeah, you just ruined it for me. It's comics, dude. <laughs> now I can't watch it. Sorry. If you'd ask George Lucas any question, what would you ask for Super Chat, by the way? What's up, Don? Hmm. No, we saw you last time, I think, right? With the Flamingo, I remember. I think so, yeah. I remember you. I'd say uh, I'd love to know I would love to know a little bit more about like f philosophy and like what he loved about uh, Joseph Campbell's I, I would, work. I would say, do you regret selling? Hmm. I think that's... Do you know what? Do you know? Do you think he actually regrets selling? Probably not. I, I, don't I don't know, bro. Like I don't some think of, some of those does. interviews, he looks very regretful. I don't know. These days, I think he seems pretty chill about it. I think, I he's, think he's adapted. I think he's accepted and moved on. I think there's a difference between being horrified with what they have done and regretting selling. Because I don't think he necessarily wants to be back in there doing any of this. You know what I mean? And he's still yeah. making a ton of money. Now, the stock price tanking probably sucked. Uh, it he's did? Probably, well, it's been... A, dude, everything's tanking right now. What? So the stock market's in the shithole, dude. I don't do stocks. I, well, We're about to be in a recession. I, We're about to be in a recession. Oh, yes. Right. America's GDP was negative in the first quarter. If it's negative again, I think we automatically go into a recession. But, uh, yeah, things things are things are not good in stock market land. But I don't know if that's the same thing as him, like, regretting selling. I'm sure selling has allowed him to focus on his uh, museum, to focus on his family, you know. I bet he's fine. Hello from Scotland. If you could see one moment from the Clone Wars in live action, what would it be? Mm. I don't know. I like season Mortis seven Arc moments. Cool. Mortis um, Arc would be sick, yeah. Or when Yoda think... fights Darth Bane's ghost and shit. And then fights Emperor. That was pretty sick, too. Chat, what do you guys think? Maybe the killing of fives. It's a pretty emotional scene. Very emotional, yeah. Even the end of seven with like Maul and Ahsoka would be sick, honestly. Oh my god, yes, that's what I want to see. That would be sick. Yeah, that's what I want to see. Josh, if Wanda wanted a kid so bad, why didn't she just try Tinder? You know what, Kuvan, you're right. And now that I think about it, that's a crazy plot hole and the movie sucks. So damn. Damn. Wait, those kids are real? You just gotta see the movie, bro. I thought they were a figment of her imagination. Yeah. And where's the white vision? Where is the white vision? It's a good question. Where is he? I mean, I don't know. Why why was he not in the film from what I heard? My buddy was uh, complaining about it. I can't isn't, go he into that. isn't he basically just vision now? Yeah. He has all the memories. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So where the hell is he at? I mean she could have visions. Would... Look, first of all. There's no reason for him to just fly off at the end of WandaVision. It like makes zero sense. Like he becomes like sentient again. And he's like, I am the vision. And then he just leaves. It makes no sense. So, so she made it. I up. don't know. No, he's he's real. I'm just saying, like, that's not the part that, that necessarily bugs me. The part that bugs me is from WandaVision where he just flies away. <laughs> like so weird that he gets his memories. He's back. not in the movie though. No, he's not in the movie. I think there's really good reason that he's not in the movie, actually, though. How come he couldn't take out Thanos? Who, Vision? Yeah. Um, I mean, Thanos at that time already had the Power Stone and the Space Stone. So he's he's very, very powerful. Vision 
has access to use the stone, but he really only um, knows how to like shoot beams out of it. He doesn't know, know how to use it. Like Thanos had a weapon created that was mm -hmm. that gave him the ability to actually harness the powers of the stones. He's also a celestial. He's also or not a celestial, but an eternal. And he's studied like the cosmos. Vision is super smart, eternal. though. Yeah, he's an eternal. He's an, he's eternal. an eternal. Yes, he's an eternal. With the, so he doesn't die. Uh, I think the well, Eternals like can still die. Getting chopped off, kind of killed him. Yeah, I mean, he could probably be brought back. It's comics. Thanos has died and come back many times. Yeah, I just hope he comes back this time, like the way he was, not like the younger version of him in some flashback. Yeah, yeah I want, I want travel. him to come yeah. back and be a badass for sure. And I think there's room for that. It's just, do they want to do that or not? You know, I would love to see him be awesome on Secret Wars and be like messing people up. That'd be sick. Yeah. Well, about the dark side and everyone disrespecting multiverse of madness yeah she loves the movie as well we were trying to watch uh so uh red letter media did the video i thought it was funny like i like red letter media but she she made me turn it off she didn't like them talking shit on it i was like what would you think elisa would accept to shave her head what kind of a bet <laughs> Probably nothing. If you bro. both just shaved your heads, <laughs> I just want you guys to both shave your heads. Yeah, hundred percent. I don't. I don't. And then when your baby comes out, it'll be like three. <laughs> That's true. But watch the baby have like a ton of hair, and then we're both like, yeah, no. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't think that's on the table. Gotta be honest. <laughs> yeah. And what was the origin story of Lelornia? Uh, yeah, hundred percent. I mean. Yeah, Lorona. Yeah, that. Have you never seen that movie? It's a, of course, I have. It's a South American tale. I think there's it just Mexican. No, oh. I think it's all South American. No, of course. It's like what you scare your kids it. with to go to bed and do yeah, things. It's, it's a little scary. Coneheads was a family movie. That's true, actually. Yeah, what do you guys got against Coneheads? Yeah freaking guys if either of you secure the lego star wars large family homestead kitchen that offered during legos may the fourth promo no nope sorry bro i'm not into legos not into legos it's not really my thing it's lego actually oh apologies the plural of lego is lego yeah it is stupid no so no spoilers stupid. but my problem is how much it could f up one event in the ot movies if true I would need season two to clear up a mini mess created in season one. Yes, I think I know what aspect you are referring to. And yes, while I agree that that is weird and possibly canon breaking, I guess it's like it's hard to it's not my big problem with it. But yeah, that does suck. And it also makes it weird. Um, the whole thing it feels weird. You know, I feel like I'm useless tonight. Oh, you're doing great. I'm sorry, yeah. guys. No, it's maybe if I just rope went into it. And did what everyone told me to do. Mm. I know what I have to do, but I don't know if that's I know true. What I... <laughs> You're going to purchase the new Anakin Obi? Yes. Yeah, I've already pre-ordered it. <laughs> pre-ordered several copies. Physical, digital, audible. What's up, boys? Listening while I'm getting my workout in. I'm with Theory. I want no spoilers. I'm trying to go into the show without any bias. Much love, boys. Hell yeah, man. What up, Sajid? Go in as here. clean as you can. Theory, I honestly appreciate your faith in Disney and respect your opinions. But if you, th I dude, I don't have faith in Disney Star Wars. But if you think they aren't using Rebel for identity politics to steal the show, big mistake, bro. Love from Boston. I don't know. I just don't want to feel like anytime they hire someone who is not white, it's for identity politics. I don't. I just don't want to fall into that judgment. Until I actually see how they use that character. And then I'll be like, okay. Now I see. Mm -hmm. Like. Yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't like woke stuff just as much as the next guy. But. I just. I don't want to fall into that like rabbit hole. Because I feel like that's that could lead me somewhere that maybe I don't want to go. But I will 
totally be open to judging that based on how they use the character and tell the story. I'm not just going to dismiss it, but um, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. The reason why Dooku left the order was because he couldn't put his archives in Jakos. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Jesus. Dang. Endgame Cap versus Revenge of the Sith Anakin. Cap has no shield or hammer. <laughs> He's going to get murdered then. Oh, Anakin has no saber or force abilities? Well, you might as well go watch bum fights. What is this? Except maybe bring strength bar with caps? Great Goose, I don't understand it. You want Cap that's not Cap, and you want Anakin that's not Anakin to fight? <laughs> Anakin has no saber or force abilities? <laughs> yeah, dude, what is this question? What? So he's just a human? There's a two-minute clip of Anna Darmas saying her own name and theory. I get it. I simply get it. Much love two points. Okay, right on. Go check that out. Yeah, she's um yeah. she's a looker. How do you guys feel about people cheering during movies? In my opinion, it enhances my own experience, but I know what other people I know that other people don't like that. Um yeah, it can be very fun. It was fun in Spider-Man. People loved that movie, bro. And the cheers were great. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm typically quiet during movies. Um, I remember when Vader came on screen in Rogue One, I was kind of going crazy and I got shushed. What? Yeah. Wow. You should have said, yeah. "I'm like, do you know who I am?" Like, who am I? Your saber so, and fucking YouTuber. <laughs> Talk yeah. <to> yourself. <laughs> yeah. And they better shut the fuck up. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No, I was I was like, what? No. And, and there are other people, and he's just like, shh. And I'm Dang. like. Feels like really over aggressive like, shit. Dude, it's goddamn Vader. Come on. I did not expect yeah. this. I feel like if you go to a theater, you sort of relinquish your rights to have the experience be exactly what you want it to be. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. No more shaving your head bets, please. See? See? Shave your beard and eyebrows. Next. <laughs> nope. Did you see the youngling helmet in the trailer? No, I did not. Actually. Did, not. did not. Did not, man. I don't know about that. Our boy Kenobi is back. It's true, he is. Much love and respect from Calgary boys. Can't wait for Kenobi, Cobra Kai season five, and Mando Thanks, season Richard. three. Yes, I absolutely believe Mando season three is gonna be straight fire, dude. Oh, I hope so, man. Yeah, I think it's gonna be fire. Yeah. To go back to your uh, cheering thing in the movies, that's why I don't go to movies anymore. It's, it's because, um, yeah. like, the cheering, like, okay, but people who laugh during serious moments because they're scared or whatever. Yep, yep. People who constantly talk or they're on their phones, I just refuse to go to movies, and it's sad because that was my favorite thing to do. But people just don't have respect. They don't have etiquette anymore. They definitely and, don't. And, movies, and there's a lot of, like, phones or kids and shit like me that. insane. I just yeah, can't enjoy it anymore. I just, I don't know. I just, I just get angry. Instead of yeah. going there and chilling out, so I would much prefer to watch it at home. But That's I do like I, the I theater experience, in, in my own theater, you know. Yeah. But yeah, I, I wish they would give you the option to do both because I'd probably like watch it first streaming to avoid the crowds, and then I would go to the theater when it died down a little bit because I like the theater. But yeah. I'm really craving that theater popcorn right now, man. That shit's good. Yeah, like I'm at the point where like I just it, it it's like to for me to go to a movie theater to watch a movie i really want to watch if it's something i don't care about like okay i'm still gonna get annoyed though yeah but like i have to freaking rent out the entire theater to myself now if if i want to really go for something like if if kenobi was coming out in theaters i feel like star wars movies are different though people don't really talk much yeah yeah i, I haven't really had that problem in star wars movies I did uh, with Rise. I Except did. for Revenge of the Sith when the stupid little kid next to me. I was like 14, 15, and this kid next to me would shut the hell up. So irritating. I just remember that. Did you cry, chop him? He must have been like 10. He was like five years younger than me. I just wanted to... We were both minors. You could have got away with it. Dude, he was so annoying. I remember Anakin was burning up, and he's like, wow, so graphical. And I'm like, I'm going <laughs> to. So graphical? It's about to be. It's about to be in real life. It's going to be you in a second. Yeah. 
It's so graphical. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, like, shut the hell up and watch the this movie. This kid, like, young Sheldon or some shit? Like, what? Yeah, the hell? I don't know, dude. Graphical? I don't know, bro. I love these and always watch the replays too. Thank you for thank you both for amazing content. Hype for Kenobi and your reactions to Kenobi as well. Let's go. I'm very, very hyped for the watch parties, man. It's gonna very be hyped. fire. Very hyped. I love it when we all come together. Yep. If leaks are true, theory grow theory grows out his hair. <laughs> what if I just don't shave until Kenobi's over? Yeah. I kind of that kid was me, says hair. Preston Smith. <laughs> Well, then I should have punched you in the mouth. Yeah, and put you in a freaking trash can, bro. <laughs> How do you feel about Thrawn? I'm debating reading. Well, reading is a good skill to have. You should probably learn. <laughs> As for Thrawn. <laughs> the leak is really not bad if done well. Spoilers out of context are unneeded anxiety. Please see and judge in real time. I don't like seeing you upset. Well, I'm sorry to let you down. I don't want to be upset, bro. You know, that's not my thing. So I'm trying. For Josh, why does Theory let you read supers if half the time he straight up doesn't pay attention and reads it out loud himself? It doesn't happen all the time. It happens a, a little bit here and there. But uh, I don't yeah. let him do anything. We uh, we share them. So we yeah. he reads them and I'll read them. Sometimes I'm reading chat here on this. Man, fuck you. I do what I want. <laughs> yeah, chat. Ryan. You don't tell me what to do. I do what I want. If I want him to read it 50 times and then I'll read it after, I'll do that. <laughs> I know Anakin would have insane power if he wasn't turned to a hot dog, but is what Lucas said about Anakin's power no longer canon because of Disney? Hmm. No, dude. I don't I don't buy into that. I think whatever Lucas said is the canon forever. True. Yeah, and I don't think that actually changes. I don't think that change even happened under Disney. Like, Anakin... Oh, I, I, I don't understand this question. He's asking if a hypothetical no longer is real because of Disney. I don't know, man. I don't know, Gregory. I don't know how to answer that. Josh, I just watched your video this morning on the leaks, and I keep thinking we'll get a bunch of other content that's worth focusing on. So maybe let's go with in with an open mind happy monday guys yes i'm certainly gonna try jennifer for sure i don't like uh being a debbie downer about things um i wasn't necessarily in love with that video um but it was real you know it was <laughs> it was it was real so uh yeah i'm gonna try i'm gonna try yeah <laughs> magma cheesecake what the Dude, and the pictures are ridiculous too. Jeez. Harry Potter question is Snape the third most powerful wizard in Harry Potter? I wouldn't say so. I mean, I don't really know enough about it to know. So. But, yeah. I would say probably Albus Dumbledore, then Tom Riddle and Voldemort. Mm -hmm. and Harry. No, Harry's not that powerful, actually. He's not? No. He's like very like medium. Hmm. Um You're going to have to go into Harry Potter theory and uh, ask that question. Yeah. Make a vid about it. Hey, make a vid about it. Finally managed to watch Nerd Theory live. Got a new job, uh, so not too much time to catch the streams. I'll probably be back on shift when you guys read this. Thanks for everything you do for us, Theory and Josh. May the force be with you. High ground. Chat saying Grindelwald. Yeah. Could be, but uh... maybe when he was Johnny Depp. Yeah. Now, not so much. Yeah. Pickles here, there, and everywhere. What? Yes, I have said that in a song before. Okay. Don't get the hate for the leak. It's a bit weird, yeah, but the leak is also fairly vague as to what goes down. Can't believe Luke and Ahsoka kiss, though. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a great profile picture you got, too. <laughs> That's a great picture of me. Took a blinker. I uh, got a proposal for Theory. If Kenobi turns yeah. out to be mid Nobi, Theory going to wear Luke Soka merch and display a Luke Soka poster during Nerd Theory. Much love. We don't want to. Who makes those rules? Like, yeah, no, <laughs> such that's a weird not, thing. That's like, not happening. Hey, if you hate the show, maybe we should make You're going to have to do this and this and this. <sighs> that's not happening. But thanks for being a member, bro. Yeah, thanks for being a member. Jumping off that dip. Wait. <laughs> 
<laughs> Jumping off that, did Palps have any certain views on Dooku if you ever delved that deep in the dark side? Hmm. I don't really know if he talks much about Tyrannus. No, Tyrannus was just a tool. His death was a necessary loss. Yeah, that's all he cares about, man. He just uses people. Soon I will have a new apprentice. One for younger and more woke. The idea of woke is stupid. How is casting POC woke? POC. Oh, man, I hate a person of color. I I just, I really dislike these kind of questions and these kind of arguments because everybody's already dug in, bro. It's like Brad T. I'm not going to get you to understand uh the the criticisms were that side you know what i mean like so why even ask it you know um yeah leak isn't even that huge please just talk about it we beg at least can theory leave the room so we can discuss for a few minutes please just go on josh joe yeah 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 did you guys both i didn't see bald josh equals good yeah, it seems like everybody really wants that. The yeah, question man. why you don't like Obi Wan series is why you don't like Disney Star Wars, which is just it keeps holding on to the Skywalker era with all new projects. I don't. Well, if that's how you feel about it, that's fine. That's not how I feel about it. Hmm. Loving you and sounding more like Alec Guinness. Yeah, I think that's kind of cool. It's an job. interesting choice for sure. Reva is Mace's daughter. Hundred percent confirmed. Josh, is the Beyonder stronger than Thanos? Yes. Also, just watched Multiverse of Madness and I enjoyed it very much, but luckily didn't bring my kid along. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, yeah, Beyonder's way stronger. And the Beyonders, <sighs> like the, the ones from this book that I just showed, way stronger. Theory, you're Wait. a high quality bra, and Anna would be lucky to have you. Oh, that'd be amazing. Twould be. Watch Ricky Worley, how to watch Star Wars best videos on YouTube. Josh, David Goggins would disapprove the inner, <laughs> put your hair on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, guess what? David Goggins, also not really a thing he can do, can he? he also, also, bald. also a baldy. So you tell David Goggins to go shove it. He can go run 16 ultra marathons, and I'll still have more hair than him. Too shameless. I'll go six round, though. Hey man, you know that's the thing with YouTubers. No, you're your own publicist, your own marketer, your own like, like talent, your own everything, your own writer, yeah. like editor. You're not. That's the thing with YouTube, man. You know you don't have somebody marketing your stuff. It's just you, and if you're not going to do it, then no one will. True. So if we quote theory to, or if we get quote theory to 300k, can we talk about the leaks, please, bro? Let's dive into this. We will dive into it. It's just not the time. Three thousand k. When we talk about the leak, uh, no. Can't do it. No. Oh, can't do it. Wait, are we over there? Oh, refresh. Let me refresh. Can't hey, one thousand eight subscribers. Thanks, guys. Dope. One thousand eighty. Sick, 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 sick. Just seeing Hayden and you and again is exciting. Been watching you guys for a long time from the shadows. Dang. Uh, excited for Kenobi. It's such a magical time to be a nerd. Love you, boys. It is a magical time to be a nerd. Shadows from the shadows. Yeah. We love you too, man. Yeah. There's no redeeming the way she makes spaghetti. It's true. It's pretty Ooh. brutal. She's talking about Wanda. Oh. Uh, tell me why death from Bill and Ted looks like the Grand Inquisitor. What up, Kalsi? Uh yeah, it's weird, huh? Hopefully it looks better in the show. It's Everyone is the hardest PG thirteen sense movement. Yeah, it's pretty, yeah. it's pretty brutal. I mean, I think that there was definitely stuff they cut, obviously, and in that one scene, like some of those deaths, they kind of cut away from. But it's brutal, dude. It's brutal. Reva would floor Wanda. <laughs> yeah, for sure, dude. Reva, of course, Reva's the truth, hundred <laughs> percent. We need a Dash Rendar series that follows the smuggling adventures. We'd love to see his YT yeah. 2400 in action. Possible crossover with Mando or Han cameo. That would be sick, dude. That would be sick. View image of pole used in Mandalorian for the Mandarin. new shiny ship. Mandarin for new shiny ship versus pole used in garbage compactor in A New Hope. They are the same. Also, Luke might mm. go back to cloners. 
so he could find DNA to breed Ahsoka. Oh no! Damn. Okay. I don't know. Is the Jamie. leak 100 real? I would say it's 99. It's not, not. Not then. You should be shaving that head, bro. What? You should be shaving that head if you're that nope. positive. If you're that sure about it. Nope. Seems like it's a less than 70. percent What do you think the legacy of Disney Plus shows will be? Uh, M and S, Marvel and Star Wars. Uh, probably, dude. Yeah, I mean that's, that's kind that's of what we running. got. Yeah, you know. I did not watch the gallery. No, I will watch it. What are your thoughts on Filoni's Qui Gon Luke ideas? Oh damn, really? What? Really love the first Darth Bane book. Also, would love to see you dive into Thrawn books. Love you too, and excellent content you both put out. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Very nice. Very very nice. Hmm. Hmm. It's a cold, chill world, brother. Stay strong, theory. Always. 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 Zachary here. I listen to you both every week while I work illustrating books. Your work ethic is inspiring for my own content on YouTube. Check it out when you both can. Cheers. <laughs> I just imagine that's what Zachary sounds like. Are you talking like it's a review? Dude, that's what he sounds like. You ever watch his channel? It's hot. Popping off. I'm torn. If George Lucas had a time machine, who would he sell Star Wars to? Also, love you guys. Mm. Probably himself. I don't think he would sell. Well, God, business, Disney's Disney, Disney, Disney. Oh my God, what's wrong? They're having a stroke. <laughs> it, they're buying everyone. So I mean, they yeah. bought Fox. They, they, you know. Yeah. Base theory. <clears throat> Some people do think diversity is woke. Hmm. Hmm. It's not about Reva being black or a woman that's problematic. It's more about creating shallow characters from nowhere, giving them way too much influence on the franchise, in my honest opinion. Love you, boys. Yeah, I, I'm down with that. Yeah, that's that's a really well... That's I'm a good way that. to put it, for sure. Yep. I'm down with that. But here's the problem with that, okay? So, like, what he just said makes total and complete sense, right? Yeah. But the idea that maybe the studio is doing it with a black woman specifically to try to be diverse, is that woke? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's the thing, right? I think it's... If their criteria was like, okay, this is what we need. We need an actor that plays like this to play this character. But the criteria is they can only be black. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah, then that, in my opinion, I mean, that's like... But, like what, yeah, like, what is the tell me the reason you know i think that's what people mostly refer to when they use that word woke i will say though to take it like even just one step further it doesn't inherently bother me if it's still good you I know what i mean it doesn't bother me in that sense but i just feel like they're using yeah they people. are no they are they're literally it's, just using people that's like yeah it's weird it's for it's, their own thing for their own yeah. purpose and i just you off topic of kenobi but you two should line up a split screen high five we did that last week we've done that. we always do that we've done that before we always do that. yeah so we always do. hey man i've watched for a while now keep up the good work you're awesome i don't know why people seem to call you out at times but i'm pretty sure you're a chill dude right on um probably because i have a big channel now at this point and it's just some people want to do or huh? but i mean there's more love than any of that so i tend to focus on the better stuff now star wars is a universe with hundreds of different alien races what is wrong with having female and people of color characters i don't think there's anything wrong with that yeah, there's not anything wrong with that that's not what we were saying i think that there's a weird how, thing how, how did you how did you get that this is the everything. whole thing. Like, is that... like, like my question is no, no, like that that actually pisses me off is, is like that's literally the most opposite thing of what we were saying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why would you say that? Why would you try to spin that narrative? That's disgusting. Why would you I don't understand that? Because I think I mean un unless people... you're making a, a statement, which is that's fine, but if you are mm -hmm. you insinuating that that's what we think? Because we've literally I think said he is insinuating opposite. that's what we think, but I will also say to give a fair shake is just that 
he's he's definitely not the only person i think there's a lot of people that are so you know honestly in some ways programmed to hear what we just said remove all of the nuance from it and just make platitudes back that basically are like almost like a straw man of something that we didn't even say and yeah of course the straw man is horrible but that's not what we did that's well, not what we said yeah, you know what on, i mean that's on them man i'm not but I'm i honestly not think a lot of people a lot of people do that a lot of fix what someone else can't figure out or what someone else has an agenda to um spin with things i say that's not my problem you know it's mm -hmm. someone else's issue the dark hold was the villain let's see this scalp the book was the villain really yeah i'm just saying i don't think she was the villain man at the end she redeems herself you know i'm a man of my word i would do it i know what an antagonist is she was the antagonist I went to film school theory, you know? Oh, Joshua says it wasn't towards you bitches. Okay. The bitches not too. <laughs> Vader redeems himself for Luke. Wanda redeems herself for her kids. Ergo, she's not the villain. Oh, so Vader's not the villain either? Oh, my God. Uh... Well, see, the thing I like with Vader is that there are at least, like, <laughs> six movies. Or, oh, okay, three just made my point real movies me. where he's, like... Okay, let's say three real movies, full movies where he's the villain. And then mm -hmm. the sixth one he turns. That's better than like start out the villain in one movie and then end redeeming yourself. It's just kind of pointless. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like if they had several versions of like several multiverse of madness, like volume two. Wait, like, man, and then... Are you talking about the movie you haven't seen and making a judgment on the character that you whose arc you haven't seen? Yes. Okay. Just making sure. <laughs> just, just wanted to make sure. Cough, Ray, cough, cough. It will be woke if they make this new Inquisitor the main focus and just does anything with ease, regardless of color. I don't think it's the same thing as what's going on with Ray. Okay, chat, let me ask you a question. If Ray was black, do you think people would say that it's woke? If Reva was white, would people say it's woke? This is where well, it gets interesting. This is where, this is where this is these are the debates I actually enjoy. Well, because I think that so here's the thing is making the next like here's the thing. Making the mm. hero of the next Star Wars trilogy a female. Do you think that's do you think that's a woke decision? No. Because this is so here's the thing is like I would actually argue it's it is slightly woke, but also like perfectly understandable and acceptable. It doesn't inherently make me hate the it. The last two were about men. Like I don't I don't I don't mind if this one's about women. No, no, I don't mind either, but you gotta think about what it means. About it women, means though. it means that they literally sat there and said, We want this character to be female. They didn't say like this sort of okay, George, as though. we well, for sure. But that's what I'm saying is like it's not this this idea of like pure organic storytelling or whatever. Uh, sometimes you, that doesn't even happen for some of the greatest storytellers. Like, let me ask you this. Tarantino makes a lot of stories about women. Yeah. Why do you think that is? I think because he likes to tell a compelling story, perhaps, of someone who you may not think is a badass character who turns out to be extremely heroic and strong and badass hmm yeah i don't know by the way i don't know if i've actually ever heard him actually answer this but i would say i think that he has a love of femme fatales uh i think that he loves uh sexy beautiful strong women uh who yeah who doesn't right and i think that he actually finds writing female characters in some of the settings that he likes super compelling you know what i mean i can see I that because i feel like with men the, like we already have this preconceived notion of like the the jacked do, do, like the 80s 90s mm -hmm. men like, a, like it's, it's the typical action hero yes but in those times women weren't portrayed that way so if you have a movie now that's portraying women like those men and it makes sense and it's dope and it's written well and it's not just you know uh to pander to a certain audience or pander to women or whatever then i think it can be 
just as good, if not better, than um, the movies where the men are the stars. Yeah, like I Kill agree. Kill Bill, for example. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. It's super compelling. So, I guess like here's the thing. Right. Like, think back to Ridley and Alien. Yep. Do you think that making Ridley the main character and the sole survivor of the film? Do you think that like why do you think Cameron did that? I don't know why he did that. Do you think he did it to, because he wanted the female character? Or do you think that he did it because in his mind, he just had this idea of this awesome female character that would be the one that made it? I don't know. I would have to ask him, but I, I feel like it's not far-fetched to think that, I mean, a, a woman or a man could survive. I mean, I don't think, you know, women are these like frail beings that they were portrayed to be perhaps in the fifties or whatever. I think they're mm -hmm. very capable. Um, I got to be careful with what I say now because I know YouTube will like shut your shit down if you say anything um, about biology or anything like that. So I'm treading softly. Um, maybe we should just move on. Yeah, I mean, if you want to move on, we can move on. My point. I'd is love to discuss this. I would love to discuss, but there are certain look, rules and regulations on this. I guess, like the that. point that I was trying to make is that it it doesn't necessarily like. It's almost weird to say like, oh, I don't like it when it's forced or I don't like it when, you know, it, it feels like it's a part of this agenda. Like for me, something yeah. could be forced at one point and still be executed really, really well. Like there's shows that I think have a lot of like woke elements, like, for instance, uh, Jessica Jones. Right. It has a lot of like what you would call woke stuff. Right. It's a bunch of strong female characters. There's a lot. Of, it's fantastic. The first season is it's fantastic. Buffy. Um, Buffy. I love like, Buffy. There, there are shows that I think dive into those sort of things and are still just executed in a really, really brilliant way. And so, like, one of the reasons that I hate all the sort of like culture war uh, discourse on both sides is that it just it misses like the trees for the forest. That's not really what it should be about. It should be about like, was this a good movie? Did it serve the story? Were the characters compelling? Was it interesting? Did we feel like we went on an adventure? Those are really the questions. Like mm -hmm. taking everything through this lens of like either completely denying that, you know, sort of things are going on and getting super triggered by anybody that brings it up or saying that anything that broaches a liberal ideology is absolutely horrible. Like these are just really poor ways to engage in the content wandavision or rather dr strange and i'm not going to get into spoilers with you but i find the discourse around multiverse of madness fascinating because a lot of very maybe woke people dislike the movie because they feel like it projects wanda really? in a way that's kind of sexist yeah and then there's a lot of uh anti-woke people i don't oh. think it does but people do uh then there's a lot of anti-woke people that hate it because the women are strong and powerful. And so I just see a ton of people bringing in their own lensing and their own uh, preconceived notions and basically a bunch of culture war bullshit to mm -hmm. a film and uh, viewing it through a lens. And it's just, to me, it feels so weird. It's ironic that the movie is basically being targeted by two groups of folks that I don't think really enjoy things at a pure level anymore because their minds have been literally poisoned. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. I like the movie because I think it's executed well. I think that Wanda is a little bit one dimensional, but it serves the story, which is ultimately the most important aspect of it. You know, do you like when uh, there are stories with the female lead? I do. I would. Here's the thing: like, I think that question in it of itself is the problem because yeah. it has like there's that is that's an erroneous question. Like, well, let me let me rephrase it or uh, enhance what I mean. Um, do you like when there is a strong female in the movie? I don't necessarily care. I I, I really don't. Like, uh, I like straight babes. You know what I mean? Like, I like, like, 80s style, totally, like, airhead, funny, like, kind of bimbo chicks. And forgive me, I know that probably sounds sexist, but, like, I'm old. I like that kind of shit. I love super compelling, interesting characters I'm that right have... I'm right there with you, so... Don't... But, like, that's what I'm saying. It's like, I like all together. of it. I like all of it. I don't care. Like, I don't see... Here's the thing. I'm not the type of dude... That's going to sit here and say, I love a, a, a strong female character. I like strong characters. If one of them happens to be strong female character and it's a really strong character, then yeah, I like it. But I don't like it on a basis of it being a strong female character. You know what I mean? Like Ripley's good because Ripley's awesome. 
You know what I mean? Like uh, Beatrix is great because Beatrix is awesome. Wanda's great because Wanda is awesome. It has nothing to do with, you know what I mean? And by the way, that's just my opinion. If you are out there and you are like, but I love it when I see more women in it. I love representation. That's great. I acknowledge you. And I acknowledge there are a ton of people that feel that same way. That's not how I enjoy things. Mm. You know what I mean? It's just, it's what it is. Yeah. You know, that's a good answer. It's all right. Probably piss some people off, but. Well, yeah, we don't care about that. We're just talking. We just mm -hmm. speak our mind. People are going to get pissed off. Anyways, I feel like as long as the story, as you said, as long as the story makes sense and it's a compelling argument and it shows a good character arc, I don't necessarily care. When I get, yeah, again, I'm so limited. I, I can't really say much because it's just. What do you mean? Well, I on think... this platform, you can't really say certain things. I know the things I can or can't say. So it's like, I'd love to, be able to discuss this on like some other platform. That'd be cool. Yeah, fair. I don't think we're engaging in anything unless there's like a specific. Well, there's somewhere I want to go it. with it. Yeah, there's somewhere I want to go with it that I, I can't. Right. Yeah. Now, better to play it safe. But um, yeah, I guess I could just say that I acknowledge that it's a it's a complex world and that there are people that see these things differently. But, uh, you know, so long as I'm around, uh, I just I'm going to be honest with how I feel about these well, things. What, yeah, one thing I do like is as I get like when I was younger, I was like, I wanted to see the dudes kick ass because I was a young boy and I was going to grow into a man. And now that I'm older and I'm growing, I've pretty much grown into the man that I would like to be or that I always wanted to be, um, save a few things that I want to improve on. I do enjoy stories with a strong female lead that makes sense because I know that one day I'd like to have a daughter and I want her to be able to like not feel like some damsel in distress as much as I want to save the damsel in distress myself and be that like macho dude. Mm -hmm. I would like for her to see women take the lead. That actually makes sense. Not like Ray who just gets everything handed to her, but women who actually struggle and, and really have a hard time through their journey and eventually evolve into this really beautiful character. And I'm not talking physically. So that's definitely where I'm at now. So for me, yeah, I like it when I see a cool female lead, you know, mm -hmm. it's dope. Like what was that movie I was watching a few weeks ago? It was, um, uh, with Gene Hackman, Sharon Stone, Johnny Depp. Unf was it Johnny Depp? No, it was, uh, Russell Crowe. I think it was, mm, it was like a cowboy movie. Yeah. I the name already. Mm -hmm. I think it was Unforgiven, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, Kill Bill, like, all those movies, like, the, I'm cool with it, man. It works for me, you know, yeah. Alien. Mm -hmm. So I feel like people put a lot of emphasis on sexes and race. And, you know, as I said before, we are literally one alien invasion away from abolishing all of that segregation. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think that the it's just that the outrage is more satisfying for folks, you know, yeah. uh, nuance is not as fun. It's not as boring. It's not as yeah. it's not as cool to get upset and triggered about quick it in the dead. Yeah. Oh, quick, quick in the dead. That's a good one. That's okay. a good one. That was the one. I was um, Thanks, chat. But yeah, it's just for me, man, I, I just I try to like understand where a lot of these folks are at because I think it is a large portion of people that view things through those lenses but also just like i'm just always going to be real about it i'm not going to necessarily try to chastise people but i will continue to point out that i just don't think that some of this stuff is pure i think it's coming from a place of like serious delusion you know what mm -hmm. i mean um and there's there's ways to like get to the bottom of it and maybe like talk it out or whatever but like i'm i'm frankly more interested in like just getting hyped up and nerdy about stuff you know what i mean like i honestly think that that's just way more of what I would want my life to be like filled with. Um, it's a reason like I don't talk about a lot of that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Like I'm very open about it and I'm very thoughtful about it, but I don't care to like go there. Like I'm not trying to convince anybody of shit. You know, I, I just no, I'm I'll not trying to be political. I just I'll just say my piece on what I think about movies and what I think about Star Wars and the rest of it. I just, you know, talk to my friends like you, like behind closed doors, because I just feel yeah. like that's it's it's open dialogue is not really a thing anymore um it just it doesn't feel like how it felt uh let's say in the 90s or the 2000s or you know 
it's like everyone's offended now by everything. And if we were on another platform, I would spill my guts and open my mind on exactly how I feel about everything. Mm -hmm. But I just don't think that's the right time right now. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy because it's all like, it's, it's a lot of that being offended, that outrage. And it's also like just really petty, like people literally looking for somebody to slip up or like looking for past dirt or this, that second, or that third. It's gross, dude. Well, everyone wants to see you fall, man. Everybody yeah, it's gross. Always wants to see you fall. Somehow it helps them in their situation, but that's, that's the life we live in now. So whatever. Mm-hmm. Anyways, remember when that one guy used to always say brainwash theory, lol, that used to crack me up. Love you guys um, both, but especially Josh. Thanks again. <laughs> oh, thanks, Moosty. Appreciate it. Your inspirational the leak is saddening. Fair. Fair. Have you seen a lot of people ask you about the gallery, man? Yeah, no, everyone's asking. After seeing it, some of their decisions made sense to me. That's cool. I'm glad you dug it. I mean, when they first get to the temple and start wrecking the clones, do you think they had an idea Anakin was part of it all? Boy, he's right there. Yeah, I thought he was right there, mostly, so. Or do you mean in the, uh, yeah, in the game? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. You channeled yes, but again, what was the point? Don't need to explain that to you. Your job is to come here if you want and watch and enjoy. And if you don't like the content, you can turn away. There are many other channels for you to choose from. I won't be butthurt about it. That's the beauty of uh, freedom of choice. If ever given the opportunity, even with all of your success on YouTube, would you take a job at Lucasfilm? What would you do change? Um, I would have to talk to them about that. But I mean, the fact that they don't even send me books early anymore, I, I'm pretty sure that's not really on the table. Yeah, um, they've made it quite clear they want nothing to do with me, and that's totally fine. I am here for the fans. I am here for myself, and that's it. Yep, and I definitely don't want a job. I'm good. Yeah. Yo, yep. Terry, any updates <laughs> on doing a pod with them PMD? No, no updates, man. No updates. That'd be cool, though. The leak alone doesn't bother me at all. There's a way I could hate it, but it'd require me to jump to conclusions. We'll wait and see how they handle it. Mm. Fair. Fair, 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 KP Music. Seems like they're going to demean another OG favorite. Why do they keep effing over fan favorite? I don't know if that's true, actually. I, I hope I don't rage, man. That'd suck. Yeah. Go from, like, one finale crying happy to, like, just... <sighs> Just like keys flying everywhere. Well, at least you had that grand uh, Boba Fett finale in between them, you know? <laughs> they want you to talk about the leak because they want theories take. Personally, I don't think it's real, but if it is well, you'll know why. Yep. Hmm. We shall see. Next, like a Star Wars stream soon. Sorry if you spoke on this already, but what do you think the real reason is for dropping episode one and two together for Kenobi? Probably to get people more invested. Yeah, I think so. I think they probably realized that it would test better with uh, two. two episodes. Yeah. Yeah, probably. I just realized Josh didn't shave his head. Miss Mean Wanda was the villain. Much love from New York. Yeah. Yeah, that's Spoilers. right. Spoilers. Your head's a spoiler. It is. I'm a walking spoiler. I should have shaved one half. Or wear a shower cap. Or just Wisconsin. wore like really crazy hats the whole time. A toque. Yeah. No one could tell. So you just pull it like, off. I like under it. Chrome dome. Yeah. yeah, right. I have five tattoos. My first was Boba Fett's helmet and with Anakin and Luke's sabers crossing behind it. Love you guys. May the force be. That's kind of cool. It's pretty sick. It's dope. It's pretty sick. I don't like leeks too much. They have a bitter taste and have a weird texture. Really not a veggie guy, to be honest. Me neither, man. Ten shares of Disney stock. Says Theory loses his lunch when he heard the leaks. Thanks, boys. Uh, we'll see. Loses his lunch or like a puke? Wouldn't that be crazy if you vomited on stream? I don't think that would happen. So, boys, uh, LT listener, FT super chatter, Long time listener, first time first super time chatter. chatter. Would you want to see Johnny Depp as a version of Hod or Hondo, Hondo or any other character? If so, who? Yeah, I think Hondo would be great. Yeah, it'd be funny. It'd be, it'd be like a funny. like a Jack Sparrow spinoff. Yeah, it'd be fun. 
He's like that. We want Baldy um, Josh. Love from Scotland. We want Baldy Josh. No. That was racist. <laughs> Opinion of Taylor Gray as Ezra in live action. Yeah, I'd love it, man. I, I Look, I know everybody's hot about that story, which, by the way, like I didn't say this on Twitter, but I'll say it to y'all right now. It is so crazy to me how quick the PR machine and the articles and the junkets will get out there to defend stories about Ezra stepping down. And yet nobody is doing shit to try to actually either help Ezra or to get them off of this project. It's crazy, man. You're talking like, about Miller? No, yeah. Like nobody's doing nothing. And then one story comes out saying that Warner Brothers is considering replacing him. And the like the whole like like all these hollywood powers like the fucking trades all these different reporters everybody's like talking about this sharing all about, this isn't true this isn't true it's like who is defending this guy and why like it's crazy who's protecting is there anything y'all can say you actually do like about seven to nine anything they did good anything that you could move forwards with in the future movies even a certain characters uh well i like kylo i think he's really cool cool but even him i feel like they handled poorly so, yeah, anything you can move forward with movies. I mean, Kylo, I, I, I like Poe, even though he gets treated dirty. Like, dude, everybody gets treated dirty, but the characters aren't bad. Like, Except Poe's not bad. No, nah, she gets done probably the dirtiest, to be honest. Like, they give her, from a story perspective, they give her these kid gloves. They don't, like, there's no development there. Like, how's an audience supposed to become endeared to that character? Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, if you were to play a video game of the sequels, you'd play as Ray because you just don't die. And you're, like, a super powerful but that would be the worst video game ever. Nobody would enjoy it's that. It's like you're playing with cheats. Yeah, but that's what I mean. It's like, I guess what I mean is like, I think it's bad writing because it sucks. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Such a <laughs> poor argument, but yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, it's bad because it sucks. <laughs> no, yeah. yeah, yeah I'm yeah. with you. Yeah. Um, you can watch a movie and say it sucks. It's, that is a valid True. argument. True. True. Is this all Lucas' fault for giving D the franchise? Probably. Uh, he should maybe. have had something a little more in the contract. Yeah, George, you got a swindle, dog. Yeah. Uh, Josh, I want to get into Marvel Comics, but I have no clue where to start. Any suggestions? Where do I go from there? I mean, dude, there's a ton of different comics. I would say if you want to get into Marvel, there's a bunch of big events that happened, like Civil War, Secret Invasion, Avengers vs. X-Men, uh, Dark Avengers and Siege. So maybe look at all of the big events that have happened in Marvel and uh, maybe read through those in chronological order. That would be fun. So that's that's a place to start. Hey, Theory and Josh. I love you guys. We love you too, man. I'm graduating in uni this week. Hey, congratulations, man. That's a lot of hard work. I wish you great success. Love the beard. You should definitely keep it. What are your thoughts about Top Gun Maverick, if any? I know you guys like martial arts. Ever done uh, jujitsu? Yeah, I think it meant be Gracie. Yeah. Okay. Maybe Gracie's jiu-jitsu. Yeah. Uh no, I've never really studied jujitsu myself. Uh, and I would say that like when I was like sparring and fighting, like I was definitely more of a striker and my grapple game was not good. So no, I never I never really got into jujitsu. Did you ever do jujitsu or wrestling? I did MMA for about six months. That was about it. It's not much. Mm -hmm. They had like a little. Well, when I was growing up, my friend was really into BJJ, and so mm. we would wrestle, and he would like kick my ass. But no, I mean that was it. Yeah, I've always been interested in the art, but like I did like more like Muay Thai stuff, like a lot of like clinch work, like elbows, knees, and stuff like that. So that was kind of sort of my bread and butter. Mm. But um, yeah, no, not a lot of wrestling, not a lot of grappling. Mm. A lot of people don't like the practice for MK, and it's also six episodes. Is Kenobi going to suffer the same fate, or can six episodes be done right? Six episodes can definitely be done right. What's I think it's Moon Knight, and he's talking about the pacing. Oh, uh, and I think that show like drags and drags and drags, and then shoves a lot into its ending. So I think that uh, Kenobi will do hopefully better than that. That's my answer. Hopefully. Hey, guys, question. Are you covering Celebration Live all weekend or wait until following Monday? Oh, dude, all weekend. All weekend. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to probably do at least some streaming and probably watch out and do some videos as well. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, the episodes are only 30 minutes? Get out of here, Mike. No, are you said crazy? what if. Oh, what if. Okay. Yeah, that would be disappointing. It would be very disappointing. You guys need to have drunk 3PO on a nerd theory. It would be absolutely amazing. 
Uh, yeah, I like Jay. Get him in here sometime. We've had Jay on before. Canadian bear. <laughs> That's like his thing. He's not Canadian. I don't know why he's like. Yeah, I mean, I don't. He's understand. from Florida, bro. It like drops like one degree from thirty, whatever, whatever, hundred degrees up there. It's like ninety nine. He's like, oh, it's so cold. Look, I don't get the Canadian bear thing. I just know that it's a thing. I get okay? it. I bought a mug. I think he's, I think he's posing. <laughs> you can only become a Canadian if you can stand the winters. That's Dang. It. And honestly, I, the winters in, in the, on the West Coast are nothing compared to the East Coast, so I can't even no. say anything. I lived in the Twin Cities for a couple of years, man. It was cold. That's up by Canada. Your guys' air would come down and freeze the hell out of us. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Do not underestimate the power of a pregnant lady who no longer recognizes the father or child. <laughs> yeah. Just don't underestimate the power of a pregnant lady in general. I know you guys don't like multiple timelines and stories, but I'm down with the world between worlds giving a space Jesus, Luke, at this point. Why not? Hmm. Sure. Uh, you'd rather not. I'm just excited for uh, space Jesus, <laughs> Reba. Reba, Reba. It's all about Reba now. Reba, 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 Reba. Uh, hope you all doing well. Made a 45-second meme video for May the 4th that I think both of you would appreciate it on my channel. Regardless, love you both. May the force be with you. Mm. Size secret. Oh, man. I can't click on your channel from here, bro. Sorry. We need a dash render series of foes. I read this one. I feel like we read this one. Yeah, I think you sent it twice. Hmm. Thanks, Kyle. Hey, guys. Great show as always. Theory just finished Darth Plagueis based on your recommendation. It was Fire the Rise of Darth Vader next. Nice. 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 Very cool. Theory is Watto sexual. <laughs> <laughs> nice, dude. I like that. Watto? More like Watto, but no. Watto, but no. I don't know. Roby Renobi. Roby Renobi. Dude, of course. What uh, are the chances we see a Luke Pod racing scene? Dude, is that Ahsoka making out with someone? Oh my god. No. <laughs> Yo. Oh no. My man went for it, dude. My man went for it. Does the Star Wars dude. universe have pleasure toys? This weapon is your life. MOM fell flat for me. Well, you've now fallen flat for me, which is rare. I usually give other Joshes a fair shake, but not was you. In B and N this morning, wearing a Star Wars shirt, cashier asked me to hold on, came back with a bag and said, Open it outside. It had brotherhood in it. So Star Wars fandom is in person. What? You're talking about theft. Wait, Barnes and Noble this morning wearing a Star Wars shirt, cashier asked me to hold on. Yeah, you're talking about came theft. back with a bag. This and... is how the Star Wars fandom is in person. It's called theft. I don't so understand. What saying is somebody I mean... stole from the glorious corporation of Barnes and Nobles and gave you a free book. Oh, stealing. Oh, well, maybe they paid money. For it. Maybe they bought it. Maybe they. Maybe they bought maybe... it afterwards, man. Maybe they did. Okay, I take it yeah. back. Pepperoni, right? You both make me so happy, bros. Right on, Philip. I don't know. Are you getting a pizza? Yeah, we got pizza. Of course, I love pizza. Is it pizza time? Uh, I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is either. Nope, there's that. Theory wants to be Anakin, just like to be Waters, just to be Water Slave. <laughs> yeah, how do you know? Blink of course, bro. Yeah, how do you know? Man? Blinker to the dome. You guys are crazy with your blinker. Theory, dome. why not nine eleven GT three four instead of Lambo? Um, I like Lambos more. Yo, what Yo. about my boy Childish Gambino? Amazing artist. I like Char Charles, uh, Childish Gambino. 100%. Yeah. The leak. Luke and Ahsoka have a baby. To... All right, these are just getting... Ow, ow. Hey, guys. I'm a huge fan of you both. Thank you for your great content. My son was born on May 25th, 2021. A New Hope's release date. I hope he is as big as a fan as I am. I love you guys. Keep it up. He might be, yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. You never know with kids. You never know. Hey, does that. anyone here in chat have kids who just don't like Star Wars at all? Probably. Probably. Could you imagine your kids are gonna like hate Marvel, hate Star Wars. I know, right? Hate Batman. 
Well, they're going to hate the adoption process, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've never met anyone from Star Wars. Anyone from Star Wars? And if so, who is the nicest? I met Carrie Fisher back in 2010. She was really uh, Ray Park. Ray Park was the nicest guy I've met by far. He like was just very down to earth. He like took time to ask me questions, and he like genuinely seemed interested in the things I was saying. And he would like ask me follow up questions to the stuff I was talking about, and it would like lead off to like a different conversation or like. Uh, then it went off to like food and then it went off to like training then it went off to like star wars and and it was just it was really cool um he like actually cares about his fans uh hayden and ian i couldn't spend time with them it was so fast i was lucky enough to actually get to talk with them i mean ian i got to ask him a question while he was signing something of mine that was it um but I just and, and Sam Witt, where I met on a uh, airplane, he was very gracious to take a photo with me. Um, other than that, uh, Billy, I met Billy D. Williams. It was again super quick. Um, what else did I meet? I mean, everyone I've interviewed has been extremely kind. Like Ashley Eckstein has been so sweet. Uh, James Arnold Taylor, so kind. Uh, just uh, Stephen Stanton, dude, like just very nice people. Yeah. Um, but in person, yeah, probably Ray Park. Yeah. <sighs> they destroy been... Obi Wan. No, not really actors. I've met more of the creative. So I met like Zahn, I met Filoni. Um, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Not really actors. Um, I met Peter. Molyhew, I believe was his name. The guy that was Chewy back in the day. Peter Mayhew? Uh, Mayhew, yeah. And then I met the guy that played Boba originally, the older gentleman that passed. Uh, Jeremy Bullock. Jeremy Bullock, yeah. So I yeah. met him. Um, but yeah, I didn't really like converse with them. I actually conversed yeah. a decent bit with Zahn and a decent bit with Dave, which was really, really cool. So Wow, man. We talked mm -hmm. to Dave. Oh yeah, Dave went to the same college as me. He came back. Oh, man. Yeah, he got an award via the college and came back and he worked with the students. He he yeah, it was cool, man. It was really cool. Oh, yeah, that would be nice to say hi to him one day. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder I thought, if he's I, ever like heard of the channel. I don't know. You know, I wanted to at one point I, there was a thing at celebration and I wanted to it's like get in line so and get the mic and be like so douchey. Oh, Dave, like, yo, remember when you came back to Edinburgh and shit? But uh, you know, yeah. I ne I never did, so. Yeah. Yeah. He's big time now. Big time now. He's always been big time to to us to fans, I think. Regardless, like now in the world, like he's got a big yeah uh, he's, title. He but. had an assistant back then too, for sure. He was dude, he was so nice, but then his assistant would be like, You've got to go. Because he would just sit there and talk to everybody. You know what I mean? Yo, yeah, what is it with these assistants, man? Like sometimes I'm like full on like, talking to job. people and they're just like that's the like, job. he's enjoying it. He's, he keeps he keeps yeah, asking. Yeah, but me that's the thing, is like he concept. doesn't he doesn't know time management. That's the thing. And they have obligations, you know. So yeah. You take this one. Movie Bros. Thoughts on Bloomhouse remake Stephen King's Firestarter with Zach Efron. I don't know. I'm not into horror at all. Uh yeah, I don't know. Can it earn money against Doctor Strange? It can definitely earn some money. I think people like horror. I don't think horror ever does really big numbers though. I mean, Doctor Strange did, but that's because it's Marvel. Um, and Movie Bros, absolutely. I actually wanted to do a Movie Bros, and maybe I still will, on Doctor Strange, actually, because I wanted to get, like, really nerdy, like, film nerdy about it. Because I talk about it on my channel, but, like, I kind of talk about, like, a lot of the hype and what it means. But uh, I might do, like, a video just being like, yo, this is why this movie's brilliant. Because I think it's brilliant. Mm. In what order does Yoda say Obi Wan Kenobi? <laughs> so Joshua was the one that asked that question earlier. Do you remember? Yes. And then he said it wasn't about you. He did. He did. He said, he said it wasn't about us. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know what order he says that. Robert's all here. Thanks, Andy. Josh and I have the same B day. Whoa, nice. I agree with him. Uh, 
I agree with a lot of him, except I hate leaks. It's been my dream to be in the film industry one day. Why did you not pursue film as a career after film school? Uh, what changed? Well, so making movies is really hard. And I actually loved the scripting process of movies probably the most because it was like a, like a finishing a script is like, finishing a task and then you sort of give it to either a director or like a studio kind of knowing that they'll probably change a bunch and it's whatever but you at least finished that first part you gave it its first identity and uh i fell in love with making comics because i felt like i could do so much more like if you're an indie filmmaker with no money you're super limited on what you can make right so instead i was like well i can make these really cool stories via comic books and i pay an artist that's way cheaper than like getting digital effects or doing all this other stuff so i really like fell into comics because i wanted to still tell stories but didn't want to make movies um so i guess that's kind of why <clears throat> and i didn't want to go to la either so that kind of kills a lot of that you don't need to go to la to be successful no, but if you want to be in the film industry, you should probably move probably to LA. Helps. Yeah, you should probably do it. It definitely helps. Odds Darth Sidious will make an appearance. Hmm. I I'd think say, he will. I'd say 30%. I don't think he will, but I'd really? love him to. Yeah. I'd say 75. Damn. Okay. Voice or something. Voice would be voice, I can see. What's up, boys? What's up, bro? So I would like to say sorry to Josh for doubting you on Wanda and Mando uh, and, and Mom. Also, I still think Kenobi will be an awesome show because of obi Any. Yeah, I, I think so. I'm, I'm sort of holding on to that hope about obi and Annie. So, yeah, I can get down. And it's all good, Mr. J. Westman. It's all good. To so accept his... Apology. I accept his apology. Look, that's the reason why it's dope, though, because many people doubted she would be the villain. Many people doubted Marvel would do that and go there. That's why it's awesome. Dude. <laughs> I will shave my head when Kathleen Kennedy puts out good Star Wars content, which will be never. <sighs> but what if... But she's the, the producer of, like, everything. So, yeah, so I mean, Mando Season 3 is going to be fire, and then you're going to have to shave your head, bitch. <laughs> she's going to be bald. I ain't letting that go either. You know I'm going to go after it. Chat's gonna go after it. Yep. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, well, guess I'll be the only one with hair in the house for a little <laughs> bit. Uh, the leak could be false. Remember, Tony Stark is Iron Man. Tony Stark is definitely Iron Man. Or Kira and Han showing up in Boba. Yeah, but see, this is a problem, David. People like you literally put all of that stuff into the same bucket. It's not true, brother. Making Star Wars never reported about Khan uh, and Kira and Tony Stark, which I assume you mean Tom Cruise david uh michael waldron literally just came out today and said yes at one point in the script he wanted uh tom cruise as iron man he asked feige about it and there were scheduling conflicts so that's why it didn't happen um so david was it's not that simple it? spoilers no Iron Man was not in it no i lost 500 Captain america sort of yeah he's seen the trailer but i don't really know what the hell that was just go into leaks come on guys we beg no, nah. you beg, Captain. You beg. You've been begging, brother. Nah. I don't think you saw my highlighted comic. Alan Merrick, Gillen Merrick for K Kenobi cameo or live action adaptation. Damn. But that'll never happen, man. That'll never happen. They'll never bring Gallen Merrick. No, that'd be cool, though. Galen Merrick. Any thoughts on the possibility that we could see legacy version of Luke and Jason Solo on the big screen? Probably not. Probably not, bro. Dr. Nah, Shane, man. No, I, man. Nah, they're not going to do that in Star Wars, nor should they. Bloodless to Darth Vader for Scarlet Witch? No, oh, wild, bro. You're wild. There's very few people that could stand up to the Scarlet Witch. And in her current form, if she was deep power, then maybe. I can. She obviously likes bald dudes. Dude, Vision's bald. She likes that. She murders... At least one bald dude in the movie. That's all I'll say. What's with you guys hating bald people? Like, it's just, <laughs> it's just like not cool. Yo, you wild dog. You're like you're nobody's, all bald. You know what? You're, 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 you're bald cyst. You're all oh bald cyst. Oh my cysts. god, yo, you wild. You're bald you're cyst. wild, bro. <laughs> hey, chat. Everyone, everyone, just scream at just Josh. He's bald cyst guy. Okay. I'm a bald cyst guy. Jeez. Solution oh, website man. for Star Wars nerds actively making fan films with what cities they're working in will help us come together and work together. 
for sure, brother. I'm just saying I'm not the guy, Elijah. I'm not the guy. <laughs> you know, like you're right. I don't have the power. I don't have the power. I don't have the willpower. Won't say what the spoiler is, but I like because ultimately it is more unforeseen fallout of Anakin Vader's behavior. Ooh. Fair take. Fair take. We'll see how. Hello, is very gentleman. Yeah, we'll see how it's executed. Yay. Bald cyst. Bald cyst. Guys, this is really messing me up. You're bald cyst, bro. Stop. It was a joke, but not anymore. Bald cyst. No. It's like racist, but bald cyst, but for bald people. Dude, I know, and I feel like awful. Bald people. Super late to the chat. I want to say it first and fan cast Tom Welling as Logan. You can totally do it. Tom Welling's cool, man. I, I, he's old. Logan? At point, though. Yeah, he's old, dog. Get some new boy in there. Get some Is new he old? Blood. Tom Welling? Tom, he's how? Like 40. I bet he's 50. Tom Welling? Shh. No way. <laughs> 45, bro. So we're literally we're literally both wrong. Both. Well, about half between oh, what we yeah. said. Yeah. So yeah, that's interesting. But hmm. yeah, he's old, dog. You see you want to see a picture of him? Okay. I shouldn't do this. I mean, he, looks still, he still looks great because now it's like implied that I think he looks bad. I think he looks great. Let's see. He's bald. <laughs> no, no, he's not. I know. I'm just kidding. All right. Here's Tom Wellington. What's wrong with him? Nothing. Nothing at all. It's a good looking guy. That's what he used to look like. Yeah. I mean, that's what he, lo that's what he looks like now. Yeah, he just got older. Yeah, he just got older. No big deal. Yeah. yeah it looks great. Bro, I wish I looked like that. What do you mean? Yeah, no, he looks great. Bro. Yeah, he's look, looking good. I'm striking some L's tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I am, dude. I've been in such a like spunky mood. I'm being such a little shit. I know it. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> my name goes Tom Riddle. Get out of your tongue. Oh shit. Go back in the book. Three, what if all of Vader's rage either comes from a giant portrait of Padme or a portrait of his arc enemy's hand? Love you Damn. guys. What about what about Padme made out of sand? Ooh. That's tough. Justin that's Theory, tough. you guys are the best. Much love. We love you too. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Hey Josh, I hope they make Anakin really angry and powerful and see flashbacks to the uh, of that fight. Yeah, I think that would be sick. For sure. I hope we see some mind-blowing stuff. Which is yeah. absolutely epic. Yeah. You all funny. <laughs> Thanks, bro. What if R2 went with Luke and Vader to the Emperor? Specifically, what if R2 had leaked Padme's death in front of Luke and Vader? What? Pad R2 is doing leaks now? <laughs> Damn, dude. You're right. These leakers are wrong, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <sick. laughs> Leaks Padme's death. It's like, yo, your mom's death leaked. <laughs> yo, shit. Dog. Click revealed. Here, the leak is a premonition of the Vespa. Oh, God. I totally forgot about them. The Vespa gang? <laughs> I yeah. wanted them. I wanted them. What's up, boys? My theater cheered during No Hail. It was so cool. Just saw MOM and loved it when Wanda did the thing. I was like, damn, they went there. Yes, indeed, Steve. They did go there. It was metal. When does it come to Disney Plus? Uh, I don't know. Maybe probably they'll a month. go 45-day window or something. Yeah, geez, you know, yeah, probably just go see it. You should. I liked it. Theory, what program did you use to make your vids when you first started the channel? Uh, My phone. Um, well, my phone to record the audio, and then I used um, iMovie. Yeah, yeah, just free stuff, man. Like whatever I had available. Nightfall, Anakin versus Windu. Who would win? Oh, Anakin. Anakin, bro. Hey, man. Sheesh. I know. I used to think the opposite, but like, kind of. But then when I asked Matthew Stover, he he let me know what's up. Interesting. And for those who don't know, Matthew Stover is the guy who wrote Revenge of the Sith novel. 
Bloodlust Invader vs. Wanda. We already got that one. Yeah. I say Vader. Josh says one. Mm -hmm. Hello, big question. Who had the clones ordered to made? What? Who had the clones ordered to made? sifo -Dyas? If the Jedi didn't know about them and Dooku Sith didn't know about them, then who was pushing sifo -Dyas buttons? Hmm. Uh... City. His own no, it was his own um it was his own uh, premonitions. Hmm. So he had premonitions and nightmares that a great war will happen and they will need an army. That's interesting. So do you think that was something planted in him by Palpatine or no? No, that was when he was young, when he was a kid. You, you can learn about this in Dooku Jedi Lost. Yeah. Okay, interesting. And then Sidious just takes advantage of that plan. It wasn't like Plagueis that did this either. Well, if we're going Legends, Legends is different. Okay, so in Legends about. it was Plagueis or no? I can't remember now. But Plagueis I... did have relations with the Wookiees. Good relations, I hear. Yeah. He had good relations with the Kaminoans. Yeah. yeah. Huh. I can't That's remember cool. what Legends was now. Hmm. This is the problem with the new canon. You kind of just actually like the new canon version better, I think. I'm sure someone in chat remembers. I mean, it all leads to Revan now, so. <laughs> Love you guys. Thanks for providing steady, solid Star Wars content. Question, what software do you guys run your shoot SMB7B for filters? So I have a cloud lifter and a alix aliasis uh multi eight mixer. What do you have yours? Right. Uh, cloud lifter and a uh just an interface. Yeah. Do you use a GoPro or a Go XLR? I don't think so. What, it, what is that? It's like a little mixer thing. It's got like buttons on it. I think. Oh, that know. thing. No, no, I do not. I do not. You have one though. No, I have a. I have. I have one of those Rode Procaster or whatever things, but I don't use it. Okay. Right on. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. <clears throat> Just, yeah. I don't know. Um, in Legends, Dooku did uh, choose Django though, so that's. I need to brush up on that. I don't remember. Mm, so it could he chose great. Django because he saw Django fighting when he when Dooku was still a Jedi. He saw Django right. fighting other Jedi, and he was like, "This huh. dude literally just killed a Jedi with his bare hands. Like, what the hell? If we're gonna make a clone template out of anybody, it's got to be this dude." So then, yeah. when he crossed over yeah. and was no longer a Jedi, he remembered Django. So that would have to be connected to the city, is then? That's the, the, yes. That's like yeah. yeah. Huh. Interesting, interesting. Yes, my lord. Yes, it is quite fascinating. What's up, Sandman? What's up, Salty Sandman? Sign my petition to make Gary ah! Stormtrooper canon. Okay, Brady, I'm on it. People forget that people of color characters were in the prequels, so Reva is not woke. Mm -hmm. Yep, I agree. Pro. Mace Windu's black. It's literally the most powerful Jedi. Yeah. William says, have any of you ever applied to work at... No, bro. Uh, also, you both should look up Friday Night Tights and see about joining their network. I'd love to see you both make great guest appearances on that. Uh, Fridays, I keep for me, bro. Like, Fridays, I check out and I chill. Um, but I know about Friday Night Tights. Uh, I've even watched a little bit of it here and there, so... Pros and cons of a YouTube channel that covers a variety of topics compared to a channel that focuses on one topic. Example, theory, CVRS, one topic, and Josh is varied. Yes, it's true. Because um, right. you just cover Star Wars, and I cover like a myriad of things. Although, to be honest, it might just be a Marvel channel. Soon. What's CVRS? Um, covers. Oh, covers just, one topic. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, yeah, I mean, I was thinking, you know, I actually thought if I just made a channel called Theory and I just upload every single one of my everything videos from all my channels onto there. 
Yeah, I think Cobra Kai, Star Wars, Harry Potter. Yeah, everything. So from what I see in like sort of my analytics, I do think it would be better for my channel if I just covered one thing. Like if I would put Star Wars and Marvel on separate channels, it would probably be better because the algorithm like is basically sending out your new videos to a bunch of people that just watch your videos. And every time I make a Star Wars video, when I'm in like the heat of a Marvel season, like they don't pop as much. And when I'm in the middle of a Star Wars season and I make a Marvel video, like they don't pop as much. But uh, I do like the ability to sort of shift around on them. But I think for straight growth, it would probably be better just to focus on one, if I'm being honest. I don't have experience with that. I, I just want to make them all separate just to um, just to know like more, just like, I don't know, like I put like one hat on, it's like my Star Wars hat, then I go to my Cobra Kai channel and put that out. I don't want to like mix them up. There are channels that make it work though. You know what I mean? So it's not yeah. impossible. It's just that I think- They're gonna make a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that you just gotta. I don't like. I don't particularly like that method because it just seems like you are mm, swaying with the wind. I mean, you know, do your thing, make your money, but I don't know. It's not my style. I don't like that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Uh... It's like anything that's relevant, you're going to be covering that for that little bit of time. It's it's not yes. like you're never covering Star Wars three six five. You're never covering Cobra Kai three six five. You're never covering game of thrones 365 it's only when it's trending or topical or marvel or whatever right that's when you cover it. and then that to me i'm just like yeah i would argue that's probably when the majority of people are also interested in those things though too yeah so, so that's the best time for know. them to make money and get views and i get it but mm -hmm. teach their own yeah uh, I just checked out the leak, and honestly, I like it. I think it's going to come down to Kenobi's effect on her. Uh, sure, sure. Something random. Like, you can totally feel that way, and that is cool, man. No worries. Should I should be hitting the gym for that shirt nicely. Well, I have been hitting the gym a little bit, for sure. Yeah, you trying look to bigger, catch, man. I'm trying to catch up to Theory, man. It's too jacked. He's lifting cars, practically. So, yeah. Hey, you look good, bro. Thanks. Um, the leak is Reva screams the force is female and sh force farts on Obi Wan. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I at least respect them for going bold. Damn, Damn. Damn. y'all really went for it. Like, you imagine? Yeah, that'd be the crazy. The force is female. Uh, the difference is how the representation fits the story slash lore. Having female LGBT plus uh, POC isn't the problem. The problem is if they fit. Uh, no one questions. No one questions Leia's role in the OT. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can I can see a little bit of what you're saying. I can see how some people would push back on that, but yeah, generally speaking, I think that's fair. Um, yeah. Making Star Wars said each episode is on 45 minutes. Hmm. Okay. Every child needs someone that looks like them in TV film to look to. It's very important. Yeah, I would argue every child also needs a good story and a good hero to look up to. I mean, that's like saying that's like saying um, anyone who's not white can't look up to Superman. Right. You know, like, yeah, I don't know that I, I like. I get that Skywalker representation is definitely important uh, for some people, for sure. And I think that there is something to be said for. Um, just how definitely like super white uh, a lot of like Hollywood and different stories have been throughout our past. But I don't know that I would philosophically agree that like somebody needs someone that looks like them to get meaning from the character. No, you don't. Yeah. I mean, it would be cool. I think it would definitely. But as long as it makes sense for the story. Yeah. Well, I mean, why not? Yeah, yeah. Like, Again, I mean, not, I think um, Mace Windu is epic, mm -hmm. and, but I mean, I'm not black. Does yeah. that mean I can't appreciate it? And it's like, no, I can still. He's human, like, and I think that's one thing a lot of people have an issue with is that they're looking too much at the surface. It's like at the at the end of the day, the way I see things is that we are literally all on this one Earth, and we are the same species, and we're humans. Like, we mm -hmm. all feel the same thing. We all have the same ability to think a certain way. Yeah, we can all reason. We can all speak. We can, like that's how I see things, not necessarily looks. 
Yeah, it gets into some really like weird philosophical territory because it's unlike like, Josh, who you know hates bald people. Yeah, I hate bald people. Look, I can see kind of both sides of this. I wouldn't necessarily like push back hard against that statement because I generally do think representation is good. For me, I think that representation becomes sort of a flavor uh, of life. Adding in different perspectives, different cultures, different ideas, thoughts is really really important. Um, that doesn't actually necessarily always tr like um, mean representation in sort of a paint by numbers sort of way, right? Like, I don't think those are necessarily the same thing. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. It's a t like those ideas, though, are like worth talking about. It's just that that's not really what I make content about. You know what I mean? <clears throat> I could care less, honestly. Yeah. Clarification. I have no problem against a female lead. Ahsoka and Trilla are in my top favorites. I have the same opinion if Ray was a guy. Oh, yeah. If Ray was a guy, she same. would just be a shitty male character. You yep. know what I mean? So, yeah, I agree. And I would be embarrassed because it would make dudes look bad. Yeah. I just hate how people are going to be labeled as either racist, sexist, post Obi-Wan Kenobi if you don't like Rev of the character or not liking the character equals or does not equal not like any actor actress stay up my kings yeah that's true mm -hmm. man mm -hmm. yeah there will be some people that feel that way um and maybe some people that even are super loud about it but uh i think there's a that's plenty fine. of reasonable people that uh would that's probably scary. just tell you like if it sucks it sucks you know what i mean like so yeah like us <laughs> yeah it, look if it sucks it <laughs> sucks if it's dope it's dope bro like i'll let you know yeah I will definitely let you know. I'll let you know. I'd say if the actress fits the role better than anyone else and brings the most to the character, then that is what is important. If she is white or black, should be irrelevant. It goes both ways, I guess. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Also has nothing to do with why I don't like it, though. You know what I mean? Susan from the lobby. Oh, my God, it's Susan. She says, we're getting the Ahsoka show, but nobody thinks her being the Star War, uh, the star is woke because it's well-written and it executed character from nerd ventures tower how about that susan with the hot take uh get back to work susan but also thank you i just watched a documentary on aliens and it was said that james cameron wrote ripley because he was raised by a single mom and that is why he wanted a strong female lead love the show guys so yeah. that's so interesting right like to me that's so cool because what it means is like from from a certain perspective james cameron did that in a sense that's woke like you have to be fair, like woke people or people that don't like woke stuff. Sometimes they're like not fair about this stuff because you technically what you're technically saying there is that he had an agenda of his own to create a strong female character because his mom and ultimately it's accepted as good just because it's good. It still has a lot of the trappings that I think a lot of people use to immediately dismiss female characters or to dismiss things that appear to push in ideology again i think that like the sort of both sides are, are pretty crazy about these sort of things you know if these new characters strengthen the original characters and it's fine but if it feels like a replacement well it's done in bad taste yeah i agree with that mm -hmm. what happened to the white vision original vision why didn't want to try to yeah, that's my question yeah uh i'm not sure I don't know how to answer that exactly i will just tell you i think that uh, it might have something to do with uh wonder man <clears throat> thanks bro he says love when you all have these conversations from time to time no pandering and keeping it honest and funny true it's never been about being woke regarding reva it's about her blowing into the tight continuity of folks whose lives <laughs> we know inside and out at the moment i know that i read that Get a little the yeah, yeah. yeah yeah i was, I was like, like whoa we're just going blowing what now like what Textual theory should visit them. Uh, cool. What's that? Sweet. So I made a channel called Tactical Theory. I just talk about my guns. I show my guns, oh, review my real? guns. I uh, oh, I didn't know about Tactical Theory. I made it a couple nights ago. I'm go to the range, shoot my guns, give you my takes on different firearms. And Did you shoot that one that you showed me? You have that on video? I've shot them all, yeah. Mm, I got to yep. check that out. Yeah. I didn't upload the video yet of me shooting it, but um, you want to check that out. When you shoot the thing, the whole range just goes quiet. Yeah, I believe it. Because it's just like, what the f what is that? 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I put a muzzle brake on it too, so it's even louder. Oh yeah, dude, that shit's crazy. It's My dad has like his ridiculous. odd six like choked up, really, really crazy. It's like one of the loudest guns I've ever experienced. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Thing pops. No, but it's like around you. There's like the air just moves. Mm-hmm. Literally, just mm-hmm. it's yeah, very powerful. Sure. It shoots a three oh eight. Anyways, thoughts on what John Fav said in Bobby Gallery at nine fifty eight? I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, what? You're asking us to pull up a specific moment? Come on now. Look at this bald Josh. Arrow to the left. Definitely sexy. Meh. Formerly. Eh. Previously. Josh. Grab that weed whacker and <laughs> and it just keeps after. Oh, okay. Uh, you'll thank me Let later. Everyone will love seen. it. Let that sheen be seen. Dang, Mandalore. You went all out on that super shot. Holy shit, bro. Pretty cool. They talked about improving Luke's face and using that deep fake YouTuber in the B.O.B. documentary. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cool. That is cool. Show that is cool. There. That is cool, bro. Shamook was in there. Uh, well, they brought, they talk about Shamook. Uh, yeah. Dope. Mm-hmm. Can't, Can't wait to watch, watch both of your movie. reactions to Kenobi. Yeah, yeah, me neither. Man. <laughs> really care about Miss Marvel because who is his voice? No, I don't really care about Miss Marvel. Um, probably won't be covering that show much, but uh, I think there'll be plenty of people that like Miss Marvel. But it seems like it's made for really young kids, man. Seth Lord says collecting guns is just an excuse to justify your p u s s i e n e s s well hey man, it's possible it but i mean we, we yeah like i guess him. i don't know what to tell you i guess so like he guns. says he says but he's a batman shill so what do i know there you go yeah well but yeah it doesn't batman doesn't really i guess batman's no he doesn't use guns at all yeah but he's also like ridiculously a hypocrite just because he doesn't use guns. He puts like some people in the hospital, permanently <laughs> deforms people. He's like, but I didn't use a gun though. You know, he's got a grapple hook, right? Yo, one of the sickest moments in comics though was during this crisis event where he pulls out this gun and he says to Dark Side, like, I don't use firearms, but for you, I'm going to make an exception because he made like this bullet that can kill him. Right. He shoots Dark Side. Shit was dope, bro. Watch you every lunch break theory. You to man. We are. I know we all love the originals and prequels, but which do you think had the better storyline slash writing? Keep keep helping us continue loving Star Wars. Which do you think had a better writing? Prequels or, mm-hmm. or OT? Probably OT. They both had good writing, but probably OT. I'd say they both have really good writing, yes. I would say the story of the... I think I OT flows really better. Good. The ending of OT is incredible. It I think can't really be beat. OT so. flows better. I think, I think there's a lot in 1 and 2 that just focuses too much on... Uh, that just slows it down a lot. That could be cut out and we could get some more like either action or more... Um, we don't need as much romance with Anakin yeah, and Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, they call, you know what they call her now? Chad May. Mm. You've seen her for Thor? She looks jacked. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She, looks good. she looks good. Hey, Theory, we love your fizz. What do you think of the new Avatar? I didn't see it. What? You didn't see the new Avatar trailer? Yeah. Looks sick, bro. Come on, now. Thank you for always posting great takes and content. Love the show, guys. Hey, thanks, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate thanks, that. Benjamin. Nice hair. Nice beard. Amen. Shave it for a silly bet. Can I get an amen? Josh, if someone told you there was a fight club like the movie, would you join? No, probably not th- at this stage in my life. But I will say there would be a, there was a time when I would have Josh is that. A, he's going to be a dad. He, I'm going to be a dad. I'm trying to put that pa- stuff past behind me. If you're not going to play the rest of Lego, just say, yeah, I'll play it. I've just been prioritizing going to the gun range and enjoying life. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Uh, Gallon Merrick Kenobi cameo or live action adaptation? Mm. Live action. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to go with that too. And also, that uh, artwork is sick. Naruto. Oh! Hey, brothers. I'm heading out to Cali next week from NY. It'll be my first time to Disney Star Wars theme park. Might even extend my trip to finally get to Celebration. I love mm. you both. Well, that sounds awesome, man. Sounds like you're going to have a good trip. Have fun, Enjoy. man. Have a great time. Enjoy, Enjoy your vacation. Enjoy it. That's what life's all about, man. Amen. Just chilling, experiencing. What do you think is TV shows on streaming? 
<coughs> being the new form of media for long-standing franchises. First Star Trek returning to the small screen in 2017, then Star Wars, now Marvel. Thoughts? Uh, I like it, but I also like movies too. Yeah. But, you know, the problem that I explained earlier with going to the movie theater with people just being disrespectful uh, bugs me, and I just don't like really going to the movies anymore for that reason. But I wish it was different. I'm sure it was yeah. not the case. Yeah, I kind of feel the same. I love streaming and I love like we're in like a really awesome era for television as well. And uh, I'm not sitting here telling you everything that Star Wars has done. It's certainly not everything that Marvel has done because I think the Star Wars shows are better. Um, mm -hmm. But nothing they've done is amazing, but there are still incredible shows out there. There's like Invincible. There's The Boys. There's Raised by Wolves. Like there's we're still in a really golden era for a lot of this stuff. And uh, streaming's great. I mean, Cobra Kai, dude, like we live in a world where Cobra Kai is a thing and it's yeah. awesome. So, yeah, streaming is great. It provides the avenue for these shows to exist. Just read that one, dude. Reva walked so Vader can run. Josh, tell theory the free comic book day story. So the TLDR of this story was there was basically a guy that saw uh basically like comic book stores and stuff like wasn't doing that great and he saw a bunch of people in line for this store across the street and it was because the ice cream store was giving away free ice cream uh and this dude just had the idea to do like an event where you do you know give away free comics uh once a year and uh, it became like a whole national thing free comic book day is freaking awesome by the way um you all should go to it did you go to yours did you go did you get this? Oh, I no. Judgment I Day? I no, I didn't know. What? Free comic book day? Chat, did you you guys know about free comic book day? <coughs> Raised by Wolves? Harris, what? How dare you? Raised by Wolves amazing, man. Would you and Josh do meet and greets if so where? Yeah. For sure, man. Yes, um, in a in a big thunderdome where you'd have to come in one at a time and fight both of us, but we have weapons and you yeah, do not. We have guns. Cool. I was gonna say with you know swords or bludgeoning weapons. No, if you can if you can beat us with our guns, then you you win. That's true. I I just don't think that's really that fair. I was trying to be fair. Life's not fair. Well, it's not fair, but <laughs> sledgehammers in a thunderdome or something would be. Jesus, bro! The guy's just like, hey, I want to meet you. We're talking about like what the f what's wrong with us. I don't know. We're fucked up. Uh, in episode two, Obi Wan absorbed Force lightning with his lightsaber, but in episode three, reflected it off Mace Windu's lightsaber onto Palpy. Why is this? Hmm. It's an interesting question. What do you think? Did Obi Wan just lack the ability to reflect the lightsaber, the electricity? Mm, no, that's a good question, actually. I would argue that the lightning was too powerful for the lightsaber to absorb and it bounced back. Mm. Whereas Dooku's lightning, while powerful, wasn't powerful enough to be reflected off with the lightsaber. Fair. So the energy of the lightsaber absorbed it, whereas um, Yoda ref deflected it. Sure, yeah. With his hand. That's true, yeah. Dooku ain't shit, basically. Also absorbed I mean, some of it, but yeah, that's because Yoda's Yoda. Dooku, your life is weak, bro. And also in the Return of the Jedi novel, Luke also deflected it. Just by instinct. Interesting. I didn't know that. But then he got roasted. Hmm. Yeah. So that's it's my kinda, theory. It's kind of cool. All right, scratch that. Full potential Anakin versus pull, full power Thor. Mm -hmm. That would actually be a good fight. That would be a really good fight. Mm -hmm. I say Anakin. Dude, Anakin, full power, full potential. Anakin beats fucking everybody. There's Nate, Neo, Thor, whatever. Do so you think Captain he Marvel that right? level where he can just do stuff like that? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, maybe. Do you think Circular could be reintroduced to canon? Because Sam Witwer said he would love to play him again in either a show. I'm sure he would say that, but I sadly don't think that he would. Um, I hope I'm wrong. I really do. I hope that they make the third installment someday and just mark it as legends. Yeah, sorry, Mike. Mike, I don't see it. And they can make a billion dollars. Hey, going going through the mall audiobook and recommendations on what to do next. Also, have either of you messed with knobs on your mics? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. I just don't touch it now. 
No, I think he means the other, like the hmm. the interface. Right. Yeah, but once you have it set, you don't really you don't touch it. Yeah, you leave that. Yeah, you leave that. Currently, unless most small audiobooks, what on to next? Um, all the books we always talk about, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like we're always dropping books. Always be dropping them books. Thoughts on the Ahsoka show and Filoni running it? I'm pumped. Cowboy Dave, man, let's go. I loved his episode in uh, season two. Try Dark Lord, The Rise of Darth Vader. True. Uh, the seventh was my BA. Love y'all. Why do you skip my first super chat? We probably didn't. We probably got to it. And you're this is you just a very this. old message. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's disappointing when you're inspired to speak your mind, but then feel muzzled because of the topic. And we all miss out. I was hoping to hear your thoughts, but I understand your caution. Much love. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. I don't, I don't want to lose my channel. You know, this, this is... Mm -hmm. This is all I have in life, you know, and I don't want to lose that. I put a lot of time and energy into my channel for six years now, and um, I would hate to lose it. So, yeah, for sure. It's a uh, strange times, strange world that we live in. But also, I mean, what do you want to do? You want to, you want to, man, if you want to be a martyr, I think you got to make sure you look good on wood, you know, because they will crucify you. Ah, dude, I'm not worried about that. I'm just worried about it's my just an expression. Being freaking wiped off because of some, something I may say or whatever. It's, I just don't want that to happen. Yeah. So that's okay. Fair. I cannot talk about it. Hey, Theory, I looked for your channel, Tactical Theory, and couldn't find a link. Nice Tavor. I watched Josh vid on the leak. So if you go to my Theories Arcade channel, my gaming channel, it's um the link is in the description of the video where I'm talking about my new hobby. Hmm. Sick. It's in the description? <laughs> nice. It's called Tactical Theory. Yeah. I think it's already yeah. got like a couple thousand subs. People really nice. took to it really fast. Yeah. Let me type it in. Tactical theory. Yeah, dude, it's the first one that comes up. I want to check. Show it. Check it out. Yeah. We just did a video 17 hours ago. You know what, Josh? I love theories baldness. Amen. Kate. I hope we see a what if series, but if not, I mean, that's what my channel's for. If Tom Cruise Iron Man shows up with the next five hey. MCU movies, Josh should get his money back at least half. Mm. No, man, a bet's a bet. Dude, yeah. I can't see someone doing that. Want to check that out. What, tactical <laughs> there? Yeah, dude. That, that thumbnail is amazing. My new hobby, that video. You like that? That is amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. This is so, like... <laughs> It's perfect, like what bro. like what like <laughs> so aggressive no it's just wild dude like it, it's like it combines like you're sort of like authentic you know almost boyish happiness with like the craziest murder <laughs> weapon i've ever seen it's not a dude people murder people not <laughs> no 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 i know but i'm just saying like that's the that's the juxtaposition oh, and i love it and honestly your other one with the pistol brilliant Brilliant. Hey, man. People Perfect love Star phase. Wars, and there are tons of blasters in Star Wars. I mean, true. True. Shooting, I'm just sharp like shooting is a sport. You know, target shooting is a sport. I think there's a lot of skill involved, and I think it's really fun learning uh, gun safety and learning um, just target practice. I think it's like not, I don't, I don't hunt, I don't do anything like that. Just target practice, going to the range. Yeah. Practicing gun safety and it's shooting fun. targets. I I would bet literally like most people that sit, you know don't like it or have like some aversion if they just like went to a range and shot like with friends and with professionals of course um like i think they'd really like it actually it's cool man it's fun it's fun it's super fun dude it's super fun there's a part of it that i think is still just like that just young troublemaking like i want to shoot the pop cans like dad said i shouldn't have the bb gun kind of thing going mm -hmm. on there but uh as long as everybody's responsible i, I think it's a really enjoyable time for everybody yes in the Kenobi trailer, if you pause the trailer when the Inquisitors are looking at the map, you can see a red shelf. On the red shelf, there are sabers and a youngling training Jedi helmet. Thoughts? Ooh. Wow, yeah, I thought I there were sabers that. there. I didn't notice that. That's interesting. Oh, dude, my beard's starting to get really itchy. Put some, do you have like oil? Do you have balm? No, no, I don't. What are you doing? You're doing it wrong. I know. Get some balm. I know. I, didn't, I haven't had a beard it's in balm. like freaking four or five years. Slather it up and then, you know, put some, put some on the face too. Put some on the face. You know, yeah. what's, do you what's recommend the face? 
I mean, I just use what do I use? Uh, it's like some it, 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 some of the money goes to like firemen or something. Yeah, just some some something like that. Sorry, the reason I asked is because a couple months ago on Sam Sam Whitworth's Twitch channel, I asked him if he'd love to return a star killer, and he said totally. Maybe star killer could be Inquisitor. Mm, they'd have to really nerf. I would him. love for that. Yeah, I'd love for that, but I I just don't see it happening. I don't see them doing it. Hey guys, out of curiosity, do you purposefully seek out spoilers? Wouldn't it be better to go in blind and experience a show movie fresh? Thanks. I think we just are different on this one, you know. Uh you you do not seek out spoilers and you don't um Yeah, you'd prefer to go in fresh. I do seek out spoilers and I don't care. So we sort of try to balance that between each other like um you know, I'll often like ask like theorists like, "Do you want to know about this or not?" And we've had, some and I'll be like, words. "Sure, vaguely," and he'll give me some like super vague explanation. I'll be like, "Okay, yeah, 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 yeah." So, yeah, it's just different strokes, different folks, man. Do you think the best would no? Mm. No, they. No, uh, I don't know. Ripley Scott did Alien. Cam did Aliens. Cameron did. Oh, fair. Yeah, Cameron did the second one. That's a great point. Jared did he Wolverine? do the third one? No, no, no. Who did the third one? Letter Kenny fans. Uh, I don't know what that is, bro. So I'm sorry. Tom Welling is a shiny golden god. I'm hanging with him at GalaxyCon next month. I have met and talked to him a few times. You want me to ask him about Star Wars and his favorite he would play? Uh, I think he's from Vancouver, isn't he? Mm, tell him I said that's hi. cool. Tell him I said hi. Don't tell him about the jokes. Don't tell him about the pictures. You just show him that clip and show him. No, 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 no. He's no, gonna no. like ignite his Superman powers and like, fly over to your house and be like, his "Eyes That'd be amazing." That'd be amazing. Actually. Would it though? He's gonna burn off all your hair and you're like, ah! <laughs> I still think it would be pretty amazing because I'd be like, dude, there's actual super people out there. Let's go. But then he would make you forget. So you'd just wake up and you'd be like, what happened? Then that's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that was you'd a- MIB flashy thing you, except no flashy thing. God. I think you will like the ending if the leak is true, says Cole. Hmm. See, I was ready by willing. Key was searched next week on a Monday. Good day to eight. What? Yeah, he's going through uh, chemo next. Oh week. shit, Rick, Nick! Right, I thought you meant Welling's going through chemo. I want theory on guitar and Josh to be just Josh. Let's fucking go. Let's go, yeah. dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want no, you to for stay sure, strong, man. man. Stay strong. Do your thing. Do your thing, Feel man. Power. Keep us updated. Feel the power. Uh, you should talk about it on our channel. I'm talking about what? The leaks, probably. Hell no. The Luke Soka comments are honestly disturbing. Not even sure why people would say such things. What do behind what we do behind closer closer of our business? Nice, Ahsoka. Well done. True. Yeah, we shouldn't make a thing of it. Pure fact that no one's talking about the American B scene when she kills her parents. Chungus. So a dude named Chungus with no profile picture thinks that the movie was mid just so you know theory <laughs> what some dude named chungus just saying it's hilarious how old are you guys and how did you meet i'm um, 32 i'm 45 and i look way better than tom willie i'll tell you that yeah we, uh, we met because of mark because when mark left rule of two uh, I still wanted to continue. He's like, you should, uh, you should continue. And I'm like, yeah, but who? He's like, and then he voted Josh in. Yeah, basically. And I'm like, like, who the fuck is this guy? Be, that was my, like, Mark's my our last words. hope. Yeah, Mark, you're our last words. hope. And Mark said, no. There is another. another. I'm like, who is this dude? He's like, yeah, just give him a shot. I'm like, okay. I came in like a wrecking ball. I had to be real chill at first, though, guys. I couldn't let him know how wild I was at first, you know? Had to kind of ease him into it. I would love to go back to those that first episode that we did together. I know, I know. I bet it was. I mean, I actually remember it being good, and I remember us having a few moments where we did really click, uh, which felt good. But uh, yeah, I mean, I was probably a little more awkward. We're you both know? so different. Yeah. 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 
What's, What's up, up fellas? fellas? Stay jacked. Also, do you guys think they'll make another trio of movies? If so, do they go back in time or continue the weakling sequels? Uh, I think they're going to continue. Jacked Pooh Bear. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I think they're going to continue. My advice would be to go way past it. I don't know. We'll see what they do. Sith Lord, what is your problem, man? He says, I'm a realist idiot, but I don't need a gun to handle your six foot five fat ass one on one. He's probably just arguing with somebody in chat or something. Oh, okay. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just saw I'm like, what? Yeah. Bro, I know, it's, right? it's target. <laughs> that practice. is a little wild. I don't even see that. That might be a hideaway one or something. Because I didn't see that pop up. Or maybe oh, no. I, I, I see that. I see them. I don't know, man. I don't know he's talking. Yeah. Maybe he's not talking to us. <laughs> I don't know. Remember looking at Star Wars websites with dial-up? Yeah. Dude, yeah. I remember, yeah. like, as the page loaded up. It was so cool, like, when pages, like, would finally load up. Damn. <laughs> yep. Love you, Theory. Thank you for stating how you feel and showing your emotions towards Star Wars. Stick to your guns, sup, and nerd. Whatever happened to Star Wars Reading Club YouTube? Um, I don't know what that is. You mean it's another channel? What happened to them? I did something happen to them. Do they not upload I anymore? I don't know. Maybe they oh, read shit. the Kenobi leaks and uh, man, they were around when I first started too. I don't know. The oh shit, their last video was five months ago. What? That's wild. Huh. I hope they're okay. And then their video app. Like before, that was eleven months ago. Wow, really? Hmm. Yeah, well, I hope they're well. Uh, I've never spoken to them. I don't think. Oh, we follow each other on Twitter a while ago, but yeah, yeah, they're they're OGs too. Um, hmm. My boys, Abby and Ryan, Star Wars HQ. I wonder how they're doing. Let's see. How are they doing? Oh yeah, no, they're still below them. They're still they're still going. Good. And spoken to them in a minute. What in tarnation? Let me tell you some here. Oh, I got to tell you. Right. Um, love you, Theory. Thank you for seeing how you feel and showing your emotions towards Star Wars. Stick to your guns. Sup, nerd. Whatever happened to Star Wars? Did I just read the same thing? Is that brain yeah. melting? What, how long? We, oh, four hours long. That's why. Yeah, yeah. Hitting that, hitting that We're mark. Four hours. We're four hours in. Hitting okay. the brain sushi. Yeah, About a month and two weeks till I start the Colorado Trail. Oh, that's fun. Uh, time will fly by watching Kenobi. Josh, when are we getting another Thor trailer? I've been more hyped uh, with that than I was with MOM. You know, I'm not actually sure, but I think you'll probably get some stuff soon. Uh, the whole thing for that is like, how is Christian Bale going to look? as gore because they've been just hiding that you know and some of the toy leaks were not that great so i, I want to see what he actually looks like on film though because gore is awesome in the comics and christian bale is awesome so thoughts on luke being featured or background character on kenobi might be cool to see him flying his t-16 or hanging with big star glider we love you guys that would be cool actually see him hanging with bigs what if we just whisper from the rest of the um what, rest of the show? We, what if we just it's what if we just whisper? Welcome back to Nerd Theory. Science, welcome back to Nerd Theory. Why do you sound like you're going to take a shit? I don't know. I can't even whisper, right? No, I love me some Kenobi leaks. Missed the entire stream, so gonna enjoy rewatching. Love you, boys. Nerd Adventure for life and a theory fan till I die. Theory you should look at Discord more. A lot of wholesomeness. That'd be nice if I looked at it more. Appreciate you, Matt. Appreciate Much you. love. Thank you, dude. What? I like caps. Says Until Star Wars rids itself of small universe syndrome, it is doomed, sorry to say, some truly fantastic events and comics could be adapted to live action. And to be honest with you, like that's why, like, and I don't want to like push it because obviously, like, I'm a big Feige simp or whatever. But like frankly, you know, with Michael Waldron and Feige together on Star Wars, like that's at least like something like really wildly new. And my hope would be that they could do something really fun with Star Wars that's not just more of what we've seen before. Like, don't get me wrong. I love Star Wars. I love the OT. I love the prequels. But at some point, Star Wars needs to move on. It needs to do its own thing. Like, it can't just be about those characters forever and those timelines and things like that forever. So we'll see. 
I'm hopeful that it could be cool. Just watch your video on the leak, Josh. And with respect, I think you're overreacting a bit. Love you both. Keep it up. Yeah, no, no worries, man. I think a lot of people think I'm overreacting, and that's cool too. I think when you probably he probably just read it and then he reacted right away. Um, yeah, I tried. I actually read it on Friday, but I I so okay. So I heard about it on Friday. I didn't read it fully. I got triggered, but I was like, screw that. I just want to enjoy Doctor Strange right now. And then I read everything in detail Saturday morning and I got super triggered and then I recorded a video. So, yeah. Also, Josh does that. He just, like he, he's a funny guy. Like he sometimes he's not serious. He just gets funny. Like overly. Yeah, I went, I went a little hard in that one. I think I was a little too like really legitimately upset in it and i should have oh. been a little more funny <laughs> yeah 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 i should have oh, I should have oh, probably been a little more funny oh, okay all right uh it's funny to some people i bet it's funny to some people no i don't think so problem is characters will have to be well written not just there just for the sake of inclusivity and woke representation matters when it's done right i mean i can get down with that i can get down with that for sure man i think we all want well written stuff so <laughs> yeah who doesn't evening dudes at the end of the day we're going to get some old school kenobi versus anakin action so that's worth it alone stay up yes i agree let's stay up let's stay positive Garth Rebo. kenobi can't, can't wait, wait for a book of revenue oh jack right back to it what's up jack great goose thanks great goose do you think maul would have ever found out kenobi was as without as would help Probs not. What's that, boys? Long time mm. viewer for Super. Are you seeing any of these ranters in chat claiming Ahsoka ruining Star Wars? Some BS. Really? I didn't see that. Yeah, that's wild. Dude. Three for Ahsoka's life. great. Ahsoka's hot. What? Yeah, Ahsoka's so hot right now. Pump for the content on your gun channel. Welcome to the two two A pew pew world. Yeah, you guys. Do you guys have? You don't have a. You don't have two A up there, obviously. But do you guys a? have Second Amendment. Do you have a oh, second amendment? Oh no, we don't yeah. <laughs> you don't have something like that. <laughs> no, I, uh, yeah, I don't think so, man. I think, um, yeah, it feels like, yeah, I, hmm. Batmobile got guns. Just saying that's true. That's true. That's true. Theory and Josh, do you guys believe in life similar to our own on planets outside of our solar system? Yes. Yeah, I think it's very possible. The the thing that's crazy to contemplate though is like you think about the span of civilizations, and it's not like like we could literally find out that there's life on a planet, and by the time we'd get there, they would be gone. You know, because it's a timing thing too. It's not just the fact that they're out there. Do I think they're out there for sure? Will we ever meet them? That's a different question. Probably eventually. Maybe. Would you protect Luke besides Obi? Who you think could protect Luke oh, besides yeah. Obi? Ahsoka. Ahsoka could do it. Or maybe Reva. Uh fair. I'm not knowledgeable with guns, but I'm a hunter and love guns. Wait. Love the video. Can't wait to see what the range. Awesome, man. Right Thank on. Thank you, dude. Yeah, so people would like it, so people don't. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Hail Friends Theory and Josh, former GTA president, is making a real life player, Ready Player One. Would both of your avatars be Star Wars characters if you get it? Mm, I don't know. I might have to go with like Dr. Doom or Iron Man, to be honest. I'd probably go with Spawn. Ooh, nice choice, dude. Mm. Spawn is awesome. What a yeah. fun character. Yes. Uh, I'll fight you guys with your guns. I'll be able to shoot a t or I able. Yeah, he's actually like a Marine or whatever. Uh, or at least he looks like he's in the service. Uh, able to shoot a target from 300 meters. Wonder who will win now. Hey, man. Uh, I, well, first I, of all, you don't get your guns. That I'm was very cool. new to shooting, and I've already shot at 200 meters very easily. Yeah, and also, you don't get your guns, bro. And we should actually do a paintball thing. Wouldn't that be sick, dude, to do like an, a Star wars theme big paintball match? Have you ever done paintball? Yes. Dude, paintball is amazing, man. Paintball is an absolute blast. You don't want to do it? Captain Rex. Yeah, sure. Captain Rex or Commander what? Cody. What? You don't seem pumped at all. No, I was, I was trying to think. I was thinking, like, do if you have a big-ass scope, does that count? <laughs> What in shooting 300 meters, or... 200, 300 meters? Does that count? 
Or does it have to be like iron sights? Is that what you're talking about? Iron sights at 300 meters? Yeah, that's like impossible. Well, it's not impossible, but... Yeah. You wouldn't even know if you hit it. It's like... Yeah. So I think people are saying that we should absolutely organize a Star Wars themed paintball match. Seems to be a lot of people that love... How would we play? We don't live in the same place. Yeah. No, we'd have to make it somewhere like region? and all of us would have to go oh that could be kind of fun the nerd theory legion that'd be fun who would win an all-out battle star wars or marvel <laughs> probably marvel dude i don't know yeah there's like a lot of god like so many like god weirdos in marvel yeah yeah i think rex would beat cody I think so too. Rex is that man. I didn't watch it yet. I watched. It. I thought it was cool. Didn't quite answer my question earlier, but it's all good. Took my last exam today, and now I can focus on Kenobi. Keep up the good content. May the force be. Oh, I'm. I'm sorry we didn't answer it. I don't remember what it was, but yeah, sorry. Didn't read my first suit, but um, we, no, we did. read it. We, we read, read it, Tom. You guys hey, got Tom. patience. Yeah, you may be the most powerful, but you're not the brightest, eh, Tom? Yeah, no, Tom. Captain Underpants still a bit thick, wanna. yeah. Don't at me. Okay, fine. The bear. Jeez. Yeah, right. Sure That's so mean. You can really got me heated. Oh my god, it hurts me. You're overreacting, bro. Theory, love that you're a gun guru now. Sometimes you got to cap a piglet for the honey. I'm not, a, I'm not a gun guru. I don't know shit. I just kind of learn it as I go. But I really enjoy it. And I want to learn. Do you see the new Avatar 2 trailer? I did. I thought it was sick. Greetings from Antarctica. It's pretty cold. Such a shame when one dies and Reva gets killed by Vader. She shouldn't have figured about Luke. Wanda dies? Oh, yeah. This guy is playing silly games. With Eclipse coming out, what other works would you like to see in the world of Star Wars? What other worlds of Star Wars? In the world. <sighs> okay, I want works? Coruscant, dude. I want Coruscant. No, no, no. What other works would you like to see in the world of Star Wars? What other works? Oh. Yeah, we're both, get, we're both reaching that. Yeah, I can't read. I, I don't know what he means by that, though. Like, what other works? What does that mean? Like, what other titles? Like, what other projects? I mean, how will I know what they're, what they're <laughs> called if I don't know? Like, no, sabotage. Like, like, no, like, like a Mandalorian. No, I want to see. There's like this new Star Wars franchise, franchise that's coming out called Watu Bang in 407. And you just go out and you bang different Watos. Oh, my God, dude. Dude, sign up for XCAD. You'd be the only Star Wars content creator that will screw. What is that? I don't know. Didn't you guys tell somebody about that or something? I don't know. I don't know. And you guys think we'll see Luke in the Kenobi show dream about the halls of the Jedi Temple echoing with... Oh! Damn! Yeah, it sounds just like that. Lid one in there. You guys need to come to South Florida if you like guns. We shoot skeet on the leave and hunt hogs. We'll get you guys on a big one. I'm good. Good. How but... wild are those hogs, bro? Tell me right now, Nick. How big are these hogs? probably rip you apart. Dude, yeah, you probably gotta, you probably at least gotta have a forty-five to put those things down. I'd say twelve gauge. Yeah, at least, yeah, for sure. Because if those things are as big as I think they are, and they're probably mean too, I don't know if you want to hunt hogs. To be honest, three fifty-seven Magnum. <laughs> a couple of those. A couple, couple shots Nine. of that would put it down. That's for sure. Uh, Just found your tactical theory channel. It's cool to see another fellow Canadian gun enthusiast. Could a Jedi or Sith stop a bullet since blaster bolts seem a little too... Oh, yeah, absolutely. Hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah. 100%. That's like Goku stopping a bullet. Yeah. Wouldn't even be hard. <laughs> I want to see Malgus on screen. Probably my second favorite after Vader. Would this ever be possible? They should go back. Yeah, it depends on what timeline they hit, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it could work. It could work. Malgus is cool. Thanks for bringing in much needed joy to my finals week. Well, thank you, Adam, for hey. sending that super chat, sending the support and the positive energy. Good luck on your finals, man. Hope you have a great one. Yep. 
Theory, would you do more vids on Ben Solo? I can. He spelled Swolo wrong. I'm the only, by the way, and we shoot Iron Sights and CCO, aka Red. Okay, yeah, so he'd, he'd pwn us, dude. Yeah, 100%. I yeah. bet he's pretty good at Call of Duty, too. I don't think there's the same um, um, transfer there if you're in the army and you're good at COD. I know some guys that are very, very elite uh, army men. They're not but, good at uh, COD? No. Huh. I don't know. I guess I just always assumed there'd be a, a crossover a there transfer. for sure. Yeah. yeah. Come on. I don't have 500 to put on a whole... Wait, what did he say? Was wait, it what did he say? Was that another one? Was it a new one? Oh, I, didn't, I didn't see what it was. To put a whole quote here. I'm talking about what he says, the cool topic. Boba Gallery. 958. Make sure we get it out later. Okay, mm -hmm. right on, Slim Shady. Are you the real Slim Shady, though? No. Josh is 34. His grad... High school grad 2006. 2006. on Facebook. Haha, <laughs> love you. Dude, I haven't even seen my own Facebook. That's wild. <clears throat> is good up to five or six is good up to 500 yards i have a video montage on my channel welcome to the umpteenth expensive hobby dude tell me about it any questions i would love to help love you guys yeah it's I've very expensive yeah. yes i've learned that where, where the, the damn, damn lambo fits there it... i just oh, been enjoying it you know oh you got it oh yeah nice yeah where's the vids bro what the fuck Josh, just watched Multiverse Madness for the second time today and definitely liked it more than the first viewing. That's sick. Yeah, I think it did shock people. I think it was a weird movie for some people, for sure. I get it. It's very, like, it's very horror-inspired. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, I like it. I don't even like horror that much, to be honest with you. I enjoy it. Don't want to start a friendship ending battle right now. I will. Who wins in a fight? Revenge is this Anakin or... Multiverse of Madness, Wanda. Well, he hasn't seen it yet, Baron oh, well, Zemo. Wanda. But yeah, it's Wanda. Come on now. I mean, Revenge of the Sith, Anakin. If it was full power, Anakin, I mean, yeah. Obviously. Yeah. So there's jump scares? Yep. No. <laughs> EDP is the Sith Lord? Man, that was funny the way you said nope. What now? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty wild. Celebration meetup, favorite moment for sequels. We Maybe won't be at celebration. Year. Maybe next year. Maybe we'll be yeah. at there next year, and we'll yeah. make you guys fight us one on two with <laughs> lightsabers, dude. I just want to hug. Just wanna Me hug too. You. After we whoop that ass. Josh is just like cruising for a bruising, man. A little bit. I just get riled up, you know? I just get a little riled up sometimes. Totally you know? agree with you. Ray Park was so nice. Even gave me and my family a free photo because we told him we were in martial arts. Yeah, he's a really cool guy. <clears throat> yeah. Why are you so emotionless? Um, because I have, <laughs> what a zero, weird I have zero emotions. Why are you so emotionless? Bro? Emotions are not for sharing, so what? I just don't want to share nice. anything. Nice. How high are your expectations for the Kenobi show? Well, no. Not as high as I'll have to be to enjoy it. Are you going to vape? No, I don't vape. Josh trained by a Jedi. Theory trained by a Sith. Who would win between you guys? Be a good fight. Be epic. I don't know, bro. Ask me to fight my homie. It doesn't work. I'd fight alongside him. Yeah, that'd fight be sick him. too. I understand people who don't like Mundo. Why can't I figure M M Multiverse of Madness? Mm -hmm. Can you just say Doctor Strange too. Yeah, you just say that. Yeah, I mean, look, people people cannot like stuff. You know, it's fine. I just I love it. So like for me, like I like defending it against like the criticisms, but also like I'll tell you this. One of the most legitimate reasons to not like the movie is if you just don't like horror or you don't like uh, Sam Raimi style. Like, if you don't like Sam Raimi style, then yeah, maybe there's like a lot in that movie you're not going to like, you know. But as somebody who likes Sam Raimi style and I like uh, genre and uh, some of the other th stuff that the movie does, I loved it, man. I really did. So.
Guys, I'm on vacation in London. And I met Ian McKellen at his pub. He then invited me into his house, showed me the Magneto helmet, and gave me a coin from The Hobbit. Shut the hell up. That's wild, bro. Why you gotta lie to us like this? Yeah, that's an incredible story. Pixar, it didn't happen. If that happened, that'd be incredible. Imagine he has the pics to back it up. It'd be incredible. You guys I haven't see seen the clip, no. Canadian beer. No. I want to see it, though. Lightsaber duel. EDP, no balls. Here's hey. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice, dude. Nice, bro. Comfortably nice. No. You, guys, uh, you guys excited for the July 4th drop? You ready for it's that? Be, I'm a, super ready for that. Ready for that? I'm ready. I said what I said, and I said it. Dude, it's going to look hot. And I meant it. It's going to look fresh, bro. It's going to look good. Yeah. I'm a goddamn American. Yeah. One day. I'll have a crib there in your land. Yeah. I am a real American. Mm. Fight for your right to enemy. My mm. mom's never liked Star Wars, but I watched the prequels with her recently, and she was bawling when she found Anakin's Vader. Love the bits. Oh, that's cool. Wow, that's wild. That's such a rare reaction to have. Just because, like, so many people know that, obviously, you know? If you're on events, if Anakin's sitting on the light side, I'll make a video. Yeah. I don't like Multiverse of Madness as a... Doc Strange film, but for sure. Wanda, it's perfect. That's interesting. A lot I, I've heard that said, and I actually think that they they put the focus pretty much on Steven. Like, the way that I view that movie, okay. it's... I think so. I think it's, like, solely about Steven. There are... The other characters in my opinion, all kind of just serve to like be mirrors for him or like kind of motivations for him. It's actually one of the criticisms that people on the other side have about those characters. So I actually think it does a really good job of focusing on uh, Dr. Strange. Cause even when it's focusing on like a different version of him, it's still focusing about him because we're seeing the difference between that character and our Steven. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. Marcus says, love listening to you guys. Uh, for me, you are Star Wars. Wow, that's nice to say. What are your thoughts on the scene, our long-awaited meeting? When I left you, you I was, I was the learner. learner. No, 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 I'm the master. master. Uh -oh. Is Vader still learning in Kenobi? Mm -hmm. Probably, bro. He's probably still got a lot to learn. Yep. I think Kenobi's... I think he... Yeah, I think Kenobi's going to teach him a thing at the end of the show. Yep. Mm -hmm. Multiverse was whack. Strange felt like a side character, and America was so bland. Pacing felt like the rise of Skywalker. Yeah, I just like cool kid. That feels like a stupid talking point that has no substance whatsoever. Like I just don't see that. Like people are saying that, I don't see the evidence for it. You know what I mean? Like I think that there. And again, it's just so funny because there are people on the opposite side that are like they made the women one dimensional. It's like y'all are so crazy, bro. You just pair it. Cool kid. You're not even cool, bro. Jesus. Shut up. Jesus, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bro. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, cool kid. I'm sorry. You'll be fine. Poor You'll guy fine. has. He, that's that's it. That's what he thinks of it. But yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Is it though? Jesus. I don't know. What? Damn. Sorry, cool kid. Look. But for real, for real, if you was cool, you wouldn't put that out there, man. Oh, Jesus. You know what I mean? You were the least cool motherfucker I've ever seen in my life. Do you think it would be cool if we saw Hayden as Anakin again in a flashback or possibly any other character? Yes. Yes. Not as another character. But flashback. I asked you for me tonight. Love y'all. We love you too, Captain Rex. Love you. Uh, Book of Boba Fett should take a leaf out of Mom's book with Chrysant and brutally killing the mods when he raised Jabba's balance. Uh, wait, what? Is that what happens? I kind of would have been sick, to be honest. Uh, no, now, now that I know that that could happen, I hate the movie. Wait, Owen says to Obi, like, you trained his father. Does Owen know that Anakin became... Yeah, I do. 
Yeah. I think so, yeah. yeah or at so. this time in the galaxy, do people think Annie died? I think, mm -hmm. yeah, people think Annie died, but Owen knows the truth. True. They recheck your instant DMs and sent the pics. Nice. Wait, what pics are these? Don't look! Get out of here if he actually has proof. That'd be ridiculous, dude. It's probably some shitty photoshops. Nerd, I'm using that next time on someone. Hand motion and all. You're just a parrot. Shut up. Nice, man. It's, it's so difficult to find. Um... This dude send you salacious pictures. And by that, I mean salacious crumb. Yeah, I don't know. There's, there's nothing, man. So I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to go through. I can't find anything. I can't find anything. Come just laugh at that chat. They're so wild, bro. They are so wild. Um. Hey, I'm cool. No, hey, Josh. I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> See? <laughs> yeah, right. Cool yeah, right, cool, cool kid. You I'm like, on to you. More like cool kid. Okay, look. You know what? You I take cool. it back. I take it back. always. Cool. So cool, man. You're so you're so fucking cool. And maybe yeah, I was jealous. Still, man. Nerd, I'm using that next time on someone I emotion all you just parrot shut up. <laughs> Thinking of the Obi trailer end, he's alone to watch Anakin be put together as Vader, and that's where he realizes he's more machine now than man. Breaks his heart, wishes he was gone and didn't suffer. Ooh. Ouch. Yep. I think that's fair. Boys, Boys, thanks for keeping the stream going. Just came off a moment of windfall insight and finished my last paper for this semester. The force was strong. The force was with strong, but this one, my man, my man, my man, John, you got it. Wait, but if Obi Wan beats Vader, like, how does he just not let him? How does he not kill him this time? I'm Figure not it. sure. Does that make I'm sense? not sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it makes sense. I, I'm not sure. Hey, love you guys. Is the leak confirmed? It cannot be confirmed until we see it. Until we Josh, see it. Josh believes in it so much that he won't bet that he'll shave his head if it's not real. No. No. Between KOTOR and High Republic, which would you prefer to see brought to life as either Disney Plus show or a future film? I'd say KOTOR, big time. But that's just because I don't... I haven't experienced uh, the High Republic. I haven't found a good entry point. Your time will come. My worthy apprentice. I mean, for the High Republic, though? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Insta is Sam RG12, if that helps. See why I don't look, look through you guys' stuff? Because it's just possible to find. Yeah, that's on you. Cool kid is driving. Yeah, there's crazy. Like, nothing there, man. So I'm not looking for it anymore. Yeah. Uh, cool kid says, Josh just wishes he was cool. As cool as me. <laughs> I do. I do. I wish no, I was, dude, I wish I was that cool, man. Under your skin, man. This, this fucking cool kid. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, that's the end of it. Just shave the top of the head. Leave the size. Well. That's the end of this stream ah! and 18 <clears throat> minutes. Thank you guys for chilling with us. We had a great chat. Thank you for uh, subscribing to Quote Theory and Tactical Theory. Hey, did Tactical Theory subs go up? I don't know yet. I'll find it after. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, seriously, though, we love you guys and we, we are really happy to do the show and um, we're happy that it's popular with you and we have a nice little group here. So, um, Hell yeah. 
we're excited for Kenobi to come out and give our take on it and do the watch parties and all that stuff. And yeah, uh, I'm gonna go play some. I'm gonna go eat and then play some COD with my boys. Nice. If you're you in like here. New stuff? Do they do some new stuff to it? No, I don't like it. No, I, I keep playing <gasps> Insurgents. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So if you guys want to see that, go on Theories Arcade. Thanks so much for all you do. Your videos are great. You inspired me to make a channel. Brom Yum. If you want to shout out. Hey, shout out. Yeah. Shout out. Brom Yum. Shout out. Yep, dub. Yep, yep. Yep, dub. And uh, subscribe to Josh's channel at the Den of Nerds. Okay, we will see you guys later. Love you all. And and you're sounding like a separatist.